Block 2. Yep. I remember back then I can see that they are having fun preparing the birthday presents after we got home. I looked down. I wonder what happened that day when I die. I was even looking forward to that day. Echo. Echo look at me. Can I ask a question? Echo. I tilted my head to the side while looking at Echo. Yes. What is it? Liana. What date is your birthday at? Echo. Oh it's at the 1st of September. Liana. Oh I guess different worlds different month I guess. Echo. Echo then put his hand on his chin while thinking. I look at him. Echo then got up and grabbed a chair somewhere and put it right beside me. He then sits down again facing me. He then took out something behind his vest. I don't know if this is good or not but. Echo. Echo then showed me the star hairpin on his hand. Do you mind accepting this as a birthday present from me? It's lonely right? Not having to celebrate your birthday. Echo. I was shocked. You um you don't need to and it's that the birthday gives that you want to give to your daughter? Liana. Yes, but, Echo. Echo then slowly looks at the hairpin. I don't think my daughter even really mind if I even gave her birthday presents to someone she always likes helping people out and even tries cheering them on when they're sad so I don't mind if you take it, Echo. I slowly smile at Echo. Thanks I'm happy but I don't think I need it right now what about giving it to me after we get out of here? Liana Echo sighted at my answer, but he slowly knobs and out the hairpin back on his pocket behind his vest. He then slowly put his hand on top of my hand and rub it gently. It feels really nice. Well I don't know if it's too late or not but, Echo. Echo look at me as I look at him. Happy birthday kid, Echo. Happy birthday ha. Huh? Tears slowly run down my face. Hey, hey please don't cry now I'm bad at dealing with this kind of thing, Echo. He said that while still patting my head, when I was reincarnated here I was almost all alone, maybe with system, I'm not but still, it makes me lonely that system doesn't really have any personality and can only answer some of my questions. I meet Echo on a wimp but I look at Echo and smile. Maybe it's not too bad at all that I meet someone I can talk to in this world, he he he, Liana. We both then have fun talking in this little room while the sun falls in the distance and the crystal started to light up. I then see something on the crystals in the distance on the window. Clink clink clink. What I see is particles of small glowing light started to pour up to the sky from the red crystals everywhere in the city. Pretty. Liana. Ek also looks at the window in the distance. Ah to think I see mana crystal burst like this. Echo. Mana crystal burst. Liana, Echo Nob while still looking at the distance, it's very rare but when a mana crystal has too much magic power it will make small particles of mana come out from the crystal and fly to the sky making a pretty spectacular sight to see while also speeding its mana all over the place making the place very rich and filled with life well, that was from a book I read never would have thought that I will see it happening in this place, Echo, Echo slowly looks up to the sky and I also look up. The particles fly up to the sky making it look like stars. It's amazing. Liana, Mom, Dad, Luca, Myra, I wonder what all of you are doing right now. I missed you guys. I wish we can see this together. I keep watching as the crystals light up the sky with little light as the day end. It may not be as great as a birthday gift. But I look at the sky. Then to Echo. Thank you. Liana, Echo looks at me and then rubs my head this time roughly while laughing. You don't need to say, anything kid it's the least I can do to you we still have something to do now, Echo. I smile happily at what he said as I look at the view from the window. Liana, I still want to hurry up and find a way home to where everyone is. But, maybe I should also enjoy my time in this world too. Little did I know that something big will happen and will change my life forever. 31. Chapter 38 Bad Feeling. Liana Poff. Grumble. Grumble. Pow. Grumble. Grumble. Still, in the room, I look outside and saw heavy rain falling from the sky, lightning falling everywhere in the city. It's been two days since we're still here. This is the final day. Echo already got a message that a helicopter is en route here. We are now preparing to get going to the skyscrapers near us. It is a lie if I'm not nervous. I look at Echo beside me as he put his hand on the doorknob. He looks at me. Ready? Echo. I knob and we move out to the open heavy rain that was falling through the city. I fix my jacket zipper and put on the hood of my jacket to cover my face. Grumble. Grumble. I can feel the distant sounds from here. The rumbling sounds won't stop coming at all. Pooh. I saw a lightning strike near us. 
It hit the red crystal and coated it with electricity. The electricity turns red as is coated the crystal near us. I stop my pace and look at it. Hey, kid we don't have a lot of time you know. Echo. Echo shouted me since the rainfall is making a lot of noise. Why yes. Liana. I kept following Echo to the skyscrapers. The whole city is dark from the dark clouds that were in the sky. I can't see a lot even if I have my skill. It's very cold here. My jacket isn't meant to be used in rainy weather. As we keep outpaced we arrive at one of the skyscrapers. The gigantic red crystal is covering the bottom part of the skyscraper while it was being coiled with electricity. I can see electricity flowing everywhere. But Echo just keeps moving not minding the danger of getting hit by it. Liana. I take a deep breath and run to him as well. As I move to Echo I feel something. Buzz 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 buzz. I slow down my steps. The sound keeps ringing in my head. It's the sound of what a radio makes. D buzz bust buzz. Question mark Liana. I look around and saw a glow inside the crystal. Until Echo shout at me. Hey, kid. Echo. I flinch. I look at Echo he was on a gate leading to the inside of the skyscraper. I look at the crystal again. And the glow was gone. I was confused but I then move to Echo and we move inside the skyscraper. The inside is of course dark. Echo and I turn on our flashlight as we walk inside slowly. Echo seems to know the way in this place. Echo. Echo stop on track. I stop and look at him. It's too quiet. Echo. I look around and knob. It's very quiet. Nothing to see. There are no droids at all. Even the place is not in erect. We keep moving inside until we came into a hallway leading to the other side of the skyscraper. I can see the gate leading out. Echo moves to it and looks at me. Liana, what am I feeling? I can feel something bad is going to happen if we open the door. Well let's move. Echo. I knob and Echo open the door and we move out. As we move outside what I saw was an open plain field. I can see the plain has a big man-made hill in the middle with stairs leading to the top. The plain was surrounded by the three skyscrapers. The rain is still pouring heavily here and I can hear the thundering sounds in the distance. Then I can hear something in the distance. It's getting louder and louder. Gata. 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 I look at where the sound is and saw a helicopter coming in. Echo and I move up to the middle of the plane. Echo said that the pickup point is in the middle and at the top of the stairs. The chopper slowly makes its way to us. I was happy that we can get out of here. Until. P.I. Something glowing from the sky. Then. Piang. I saw a laser beam shooting from the sky and. Boom. Packing. It hit the back of the helicopter as it was coming to us. The helicopter is falling towards us. I was stunned but Echo quickly raised his hand and started running. He ran to me grabs me by the hand and jumps out from the place we are in and we are now rolling down the stairs. Boom. Packung parking. Packing. 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 Boom. The helicopter crashed down to the ground on top of the stairs before it did a flip on the ground. And then came crashing onto the bottom part of one of the skyscrapers. I can hear a big explosion as it hit it, exclamation mark Liana. I then realized what happened. Echo slowly got up and look at the crash site. I also look at it. Woong. Then I slowly look up to the sky. What I saw frightened me. It slowly falls to the ground in the middle of the two skyscrapers in front of us. Boom, boom. Dust came flying everywhere. As the dust faded by the rain what I saw is two giant legs in the distance. I slowly look up and saw Wong. A gigantic robot half the size of the skyscrapers itself. With a giant sword on its back. Its head looking at us. I can hear something from the distance. Clang clang clang. I saw a lot of droids moving around the plane surrounding us at the edge of the plane. From light to heavy and ting. Mesh. Everywhere. I can only see droids and mesh. Echo slowly took out his gun and I slowly got up. Well well well. What do we have here? We heard a sound coming from the top of the stairs it's a sound of a grown man but it feels eerie. Echo looks there. You, Echo. Step. 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 I can hear footsteps from the stairs. I slowly look there and saw someone slowly moving down from the stairs. It's wearing a lab coat and I can see that its entire body was covered in a bodysuit that has a cross shape in the front he stretches his hand wide open as he looks at us. The most noticeable part is. That it was wearing a mask with a no sign. Ha 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 ha. Never thought I see you here again. So you are the one that has been messing with my mission huh? I can see a no sign mask glowing red on his face with a small triangle shaped mouth at the bottom pointing down looking like he is smiling. 
I can already feel him smiling like a maniac inside his mask even if his face is covered with that mask from here, it makes me shiver. I already know who he is from Echo, he looks at us with his gigantic robot behind him. Well, I see a new face here, my name is O and shall we play a game? Oh, grumble. Grumble O said that while laughing like a maniac as thunderstruck down behind his gigantic robot, his O sign on his mask glows red with trails leading to the left with its gigantic robot eyes glow red behind him as he happily watches us from the top of the stairs while he started gripping his hand tightly. Wash basasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasas
I guess it's time to wrap this up shall we? Oh, I can see a transparent dome shaped ball covering O looks like a force field. All the rain stops and bounces back at the end of the force field making the rain unable to even hit O. I can see the ground shaking below him suddenly. Then I saw everything around O started floating, then started to form into something. But before I can make out what he is trying to do, bang, 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 exclamation mark Liana, one of the mesh started shooting at us. I and Echo quickly evade the shoot and all the shots hit behind us. As that happened all the mesh started shooting at us. Bang, 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 patches, 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 bullets and missiles firing at us. We won't be able to evade it we're also very tired now, but I didn't come unprepared for this, I was trying to think about something while also evading all of the droids attacks before and I come up with an idea but I don't know if it works but. Air shield. Huh? Liana. Whoosh. Air started to cover us both and then, I saw the bullets and missiles hitting my air shield then it started turning and started flying everywhere around the place. Boom. 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 Some hit the mesh and some hit other places. The other mesh keeps shooting but seems to be not working. TCH annoying. Oh, I can hear O whispering that. He then makes a signal and then the mesh stops shooting and runs towards us. My air shield is only good for incoming projectiles. It's weak against direct attack. One of the mesh came close and swing its hand on me. I evade it making my air shield stop as I roll out of the incoming attack. Smack. As the robot hand hit the ground another one came behind me and swing its arm at me. Ha. Huh. Echo. Sadly the mesh was quite late and Echo jumped to the back of the mesh and then repeatedly stabbed the back of the mesh with his knife. Stab. Buzz. Stab. Buzz. Stab. Buzz. Tying. Patches. 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 The mesh started shooting its missiles in random directions. Some of it hit the ground while some hit some of the mesh near it. There's around 10 mesh all around us right now. Thanks to the mesh shooting its missiles randomly around three falls to the ground with the others started talking distance. I change my gun into my SSG and run towards the back of the mesh. Echo jumps down from behind the mesh and I can see the missile joints of the mesh. I aim at the joint of the missile pod and pull the trigger. Bang. Packing. Packing. The missile pod falls to the ground and Echo grabs it. He rolls a couple of times before their names the missile pod at the mesh. Patches. Packing. Buzz. Buzz. Boom. The missile hit right in the head of the mesh and it explodes into million peaches and then falls to the ground. I then run to Echo's side and regroup. There's around six mesh left. We are dead tired and I'm so low on mana. I will start losing power from my body if I keep using my magic. My eyes are also a little blurry. Pathetic must I always be the one to fix this problem. Oh. I look at O and then my body stops moving. The wind died out and then the rain stopped pouring. Warning skill intimidations high was used. Please activate fear resistance. I saw O walking slowly to us. Sinister aura was covering him. I also saw rubbles floating all around him and started forming into a shape. He looks at me and giggles and it felt like his face is starting into my soul and it feels like someone is grabbing my body in place. I can't move at all. Warning skill intimidations high was used. Please activate fear resistance. I then see five spikes forms and the size is around a metal pipe size. He looks at us and giggles again. He raises his hand toward us and flick. He flicks his finger and all the spikes fire at us. If aid. Echo. I snap out but I was too late to evade. Stab. Packing. Uh. Liana. Kid. Echo. One of the spikes hit my right leg and I fall to the ground. I look at my leg I saw the spike impaled my leg to the ground. It went right through my leg. I froze as I look at my leg. Warning user in critical condition. Bleeding detected. I keep looking at my leg and not at the screen that just popped up. Blood started to pour out heavily on my leg. My breathing started to worsen. Warning user in critical condition. Bleeding detected. I slowly look in front and see O's creepy mask looking at me with a smiling face. It's so scary that I lost all of my resistance on the ground. Ha 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 ha. That face. I like it. More give me more. Oh. Oh then stretch his hand wide and then I saw everything near him rapidly form into spikes. It started multiplying. Again. And again. And again. They just keep multiplying. I keep looking at him as the bleeding in my feet won't stop coming out. Warning user in critical condition. Bleeding detected. 
I'm having trouble breathing, and I can't seem to think as I keep looking at my bleeding leg. Oh slowly move to us. Every step he makes looks like a thinking time boom. Warning user in mental disorder. Unable to. Another screen pops up but I was too busy looking at the blood that keeps pouring out I didn't even know that my eyes started to lose color. Warning user in mental hash buzz. Disorder. Dash. My face started to pale as I look at the bloody spike stuck on my leg. My sweets started running down my face. Warning us hash and meant hash hashtag buzz. Dis hash hashtag uh. Unhash hashtag buzz. Dash. The screen started to buzz out. I slowly look in front and saw so many spikes floating around. Oh, what hash ning hash hashtag buzz exclamation mark hash in m hash hashtag tal dis hash hashtag buzz. Hashtag dare. Dash. Then all of the spikes stop as O raises his right hand up then slowly moves his hand at me. I stare at him. Blood keeps popping out of my feet and now making a small pool of blood below my feet. Warning hashtag buzz exclamation mark hash hashtag buzz exclamation mark hash. Dash. He stretches his right hand to the front facing me. My breathing became heavy and my eyes started to lose focus. Warning. Flick. He flicks his hand and all the spikes fly towards me. I close my eyes as the spikes fly towards me. It feels like time slowly slows down as imagine myself getting impaled by all of the spikes. So this is how it ends huh? I reincarnated to this world learning about the world me Teko doing my best trying to survive. So that I can just die again by him when we are finally going out of this place huh? Tears started forming in my eyes. I then wait for the spikes to hit. Stab. 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 Liana. But. I. I didn't feel anything hitting me. I slowly open my eyes and look in front. And what I saw is. Echo. Liana. Echo. With spikes all over his body as he shields me from all of the spikes that were aimed at me. 24. Chapter 40 Helpless Silent Rage. Liana Poff cough. Cough. Echo. Blood was dripping everywhere. Echo was right in front of me covered in blood. There are a lot of spikes everywhere in his body. Almost all of them went straight through his body. He then slowly fells down to the ground. R. Liana. I slowly moved to him. Didn't even mind my bleeding feet. I forcefully took the spike out from the ground on my feet as I walked to where Echo was. The spike was still impaled on my feet as I walked slowly to Echo. I can't even feel any pain. I then sit down beside Echo. Cough. Cough. Kid. Echo. I put my hand in the middle of his body. Heal. Liana. I said that but nothing happens. Heal. Liana. I keep repeating that word over and over again I keep repeating that. Tears started running down non-stop from my face. Heal heal heal. Heal. Please work please work. Heal. Liana. I won't stop. No. I can't stop. Please. Without warning, Echo put his hand on my hand. I slowly look at Echo while grabbing his hand. Crack. His helmet crack. He just looks at me. Don't kid cough. Echo. Echo. Please. Just let me heal you. Heal. 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 Ag. Liana. Kid. Echo. I stop and look at Echo. Crack. Crack. The helmet he is wearing cracks reveling half of his face. I can see his black eye looking at me. Please get out of here. Echo. Get out of here? You telling me to leave you? You're joking right No, No way I don't want to leave you. Liana. My tears keep falling to the ground as I look at Echo. I then hear footsteps moving closer. My mitre thinking you jumped to your death to save this pathetic being. Oh. I tightened my hand that was gripping Echo's hand. I slowly look at her. Won't forgive. Liana. Hey Tilda. Repeat that. I can't hear you. Oh. I won't forgive you. Liana, I dash my way to O. I grip my hand into a fist and swing it at his face. Wah. Oh, but O easily grabbed my fist with his left hand. PFT, what a weak punch. Oh, O then tightened his right hand into a fist and swing it to me. His hand hit my belly. Smack. UHG. Liana, and I was sent flying towards the ground beside Echo. As I hit the ground, I roll a couple of times before stopping. I then slowly got up again and looped at O. Woo a tough one, eh? Oh. I slowly moved towards O until, kid. Cough. 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 Echo. Echo shout at me. I look and saw Echo coughing blood out of his mouth. No. I run towards Echo. No. Echo. 
Liana, Echo keeps coughing blood. No no no. Please, system, please do something. Liana, I said that but. System didn't respond. System please help. Liana, system didn't even respond. My body started to feel heavy. System, why aren't you responding? Please respond. Warning. User in mental disorder. That's not the answer I want to know. System please help me. Liana. Warning. User in mental disorder. System keeps repeating that line again and again. Why? PFT ha 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 ha. Why are you talking to yourself now? Oh. Oh just keeps laughing at me. He stops in track and just keeps watching me. I can also see the mesh keep watching me. It feels like I was alone and everything is a lie. System didn't even try to help me. And nobody here will also help me. Echo's body keeps getting colder. He is dying. Someone please. Liana. I said that word. But. Nobody came. Tears keep falling down my face. The rain starts pouring down as well. I can see a pole of blood on the ground. Echo then slowly raises his hand to my face and touches my cheek. I keep holding his hand on my cheek. Kidsri. Echo. What do you mean? What do you mean you are sorry? Hick. Echo please don't say anything. Liana. Sorry kid I was unable to fulfill my promise. Echo. No please don't say that. We're going to get out of here together. You hear me? Liana. Thrace core oof. No way I can do that kid. Echo. Echo made a smile. As his body keeps getting colder and colder every second. No. I don't want you to go. Please. Don't. Don't leave me. My tears kept falling down. Kid, Echo. I slowly look at Echo. I cough. No Liana, Echo. This is the first time he said my name. Stay strong cough. Don't let your feelings get to you, Echo. But. Liana. I said that as I watched Echo helpless in the ground, his eyes started to lose light. Then, his hand falls from my face and onto the red ground. Echo. Liana. He didn't respond. I shake his body. No answer. No Echo. Please, say something. Liana. Ah ha 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 this is hilarious so hilarious. Oh, oh keeps laughing, as I keep shaking echo. System sends a lot of screens in front of me blocking my view. Warning, user in mental disorder. Warning, user in mental disorder. Warning, user in mental disorder. The screen just keeps repeating the same text. Stop, as I keep shaking echo's lifeless body I felt something inside my body. I started to remember something from somewhere within my memory. Ah yes, there. It's her right? The stupid weak girl right? Ha ha ha. Who is talking? The sounds keep repeating in my head. Ah, I remember. This is the memory of her of before I got into Liana's body? I can see that she was being bullied by a lot of kids for some reason. Ha ha ha. Served you right? If only I never meet you. Hey guys let's teach her a lesson shall we? Try calling your parents now crybaby. The sounds keep repeating in my head, as I remember Liana crouching down as other people beat her up. The other people that saw Liana getting bullied just shut up and walk past her. Nobody tried to help her at all. She was all alone. My mind keeps getting colder and colder as I remember the memory of Liana getting bullied. Her memory feels like my memory. All of them are mixed. I can feel the pain she suffered and I can feel the feeling she had as she was bullied. Helplessness, despair, betrayal, sadness, anger and other mixed feelings were happening. She is just a kid. Nobody is even trying to help her. They all laughed at her, just like now. Feeling helpless. Can't even do anything. I can't even save Echo. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. System won't help me. I felt betrayed by System. Why didn't you help me System? I really am all alone now am I? Just like how Liana is without her parents helping her at all right? She just keeps taking the hits without trying to fight back while the others just laughed at her. Out of all the things I experienced. This is the first time I felt something raging inside me. Liana. System keeps popping out screens right in front of me while O keeps on laughing louder and louder. They keep repeating it. Over and over and over again and again and again. It feels like something is about to snap inside me. Warning. User in mental disorder. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, warning, user in mental disorder, shoot up, Liana, warning, user in mental disorder, ha 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 ha, oh, shut up, Liana, warning, user in mental, shut up, shut up, shut up, Liana, buzz, ing hash hashtag us buzz exclamation mark hash, I snap and screamed, my scream echoes all around the place, the screen started going statics, oh stop laughing and looked at me, he ha ha he, 
Liana, nobody, nobody will help me at all in this place. Everyone just stay and didn't do anything while Echo died right in front of me. I'm all alone now. I don't have anyone on my side here in this place. I feel like laughing because I can't even do anything and only watched as Echo took his final breath just like how Liana felt. I slowly got up. My body started to grow cold as the memory of Liana's pain keeps flooding my brain. I didn't even notice that my eyes started losing their light. Oh? Oh, wash, buzz, buzz. Red color flames started to emerge all around me. Red lightning also forms all around me. The red crystals all around the place started lighting up. I didn't even notice that my eyes started to change color to red, buzz, buzz. Grumble, grumble, thunder and raining sound all around the place. I slowly look at her, exclamation mark her. Red aura leaks all around me, as I keep looking at her. Warning, user enter berserker mode. Liana, warning, user enter berserker mode, my voice won't come out, I was filled with rage and I can't even scream, I don't care, I only know one thing, the one that killed Echo is right in front of me, warning, user enter berserker mode, grumble, grumble, tch, now this is unexpected, oh, oh signal all of the mesh, and all the mesh aims their guns at me, fire, oh, bang, 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 patches, patches, Patches. Patches. Bullets and missiles flying towards me. Boom. 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 Third person puff. Smoke came out from where Liana was. Oh just keep looking there. Ha. Waste of time. Oh. Oh turn around and started walking towards his gigantic robot until he felt something behind him. As that happened the rain suddenly stopped. Puaan. Piang, packing, Piang. Oh, turn around because he heard sounds, and when he looked behind him, he saw all of the mesh on the ground, all of the mark cut in half or broken, and in the middle of it is Liana with her hand glowing, bring red, making it hard to see her hands. Red crystal started to grow in a fast paced all around her. Red electricity coil everywhere around her. Her right eye is blocked by her hair, and only the left eye is visible. Her eye didn't have any light. Buzz. Buzz. Well this might get interesting now. Oh. Grumble. Grumble. Oh then turn his body and raised his hand. And everything around him started levitating up. He keeps looking at Liana. Her left eye is glowing red with little flames of red leaking out in the middle of her eye. Her face doesn't even show any facial expression it's just blank but tears kept running down her face as she looked at her. Grumble. Grumble. Buzz. Buzz. She dashes towards O. And O laughed as she approaches him. The fight between Liana and O starts with a laugh and a silent rage. 27. Chapter 41 Lightning and Gravity. Third person puff. In the middle of the three skyscrapers. Boom. An explosion appears in the middle. As he swings his hand. Smokes are flying everywhere as he looks around. Oh. O raise his right hand into the sky. You can run kid but you can't hide. Oh. And then he swings his right hand behind his back. Swing. Pakyang. The smoke behind him made a big clean cut on the smoke but it didn't hit anything. Then O noticed someone behind him. Glowing red eyes glow inside the smoke and it quickly dashes towards him from behind. You think I didn't notice you? Oh. O quickly swings his hand in that direction as another hand also swings in his direction. Swing. Swing. Pakyua Ash. Buzz. 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 Liana comes out from the smoke with her hand covered with red electricity. O managed to counter her attack with his hand and it made sparks fly as their hand collide with each other. Ha 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 ha. This is amazing. Oh, oh then form more spikes all around him. He then heavily swings his hand to the sky throwing Liana into the sky. He then stretches his hand to her and flick. All of the spikes then flew towards her. Liana, Liana stretches her hand to the front and then, buzz. Buzz. Pukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
Liana saw the spike but still run in front of her with high speed while starting to zigzag all around the place. She was run gunning towards O. ta 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 Bang. Ping. Pang. Stab. 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 O made a gravity shield all around him. The bullet hit the shield and it ricochets everywhere. The spike also stabs on the ground but all of them missed Liana as she kept running. The place is a mess. Liana then finally got up close to O and she moved her right hand and left hand into a cross and the light in her hand started to form something. Pewing the light form into a blade of light coiled in red electricity and she swings both of her hands at O shield. Swing crack. The shield cracks but didn't break it. Wow, for a kid. You like to struggle a lot huh? Oh. O oh then stretched his hand and grabbed Liana on the neck and swung her down to the ground with his force and made a small crater on the ground. Liana didn't budge at all from that and just kept swinging her light blade to O. Oh. The blade of light hit O's lab coat slicing it in place and also burning it. He then let go of Liana and jump a couple of feet away for her. He looks at his lab coat who is still burning. TCH even know it's my favorite, oh. Oh then took off his lab coat and throw it to the side. Then he started knuckle cracking his hands as he slowly approaches Liana that started to get up from the ground. His muscles started to grow, and then he swings his hand at Liana. Swing. Poo. Liana evades to the side and the swing made a slice on the ground floor. Smoke created from the sheer force was flowing, as O stares at Liana. You can't beat me you are just too weak. O oh. oh, then started swinging at Liana, and Liana started to evade the swings. Swing. 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 The last swing was even stronger than the other. Even when Liana evade she was taken by the force of the swing and flew back 20 steps from where she is. She just keeps getting up and looks at her. Blood started to drip from her head. Buzz. 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 Warning user in critical condition. Warning user in critical condition. Warning user in critical condition. She didn't care about the screen and she then slowly press her right hand to the ground. Electricity started to fly all around her as red crystal also started forming a circle around her. What is she doing now I wonder? Oh. Oh swing his hand at her with full force. Swing. The swing hit Liana and made a large explosion. Dust flies all around the place as O then lowers his hand while still looking at where his swing hit. Then red particles of light started appearing and flowing towards him. He didn't mind it and keeps looking while the red particles started forming behind him. Cling. 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 O then swing his hand behind him and another hand counters it. Peang. Spark. Spark. There he saw Liana with her light blade hitting his hand. Sparks started flying between those hand and Liana's light blade. Not bad. You almost got me there. Oh. The O raises other hand and flick. Then out of nowhere spikes from below Liana's feet. She felt it and jump on O's shoulder before kicking his face with her feet. O counter it by grabbing Liana's feet. Nice try but you can do better than that can you? Oh, oh then swing Liana away to the ground. Boom. As she hit the ground she bounces a couple of times before stopping. Smoke started flying, and Liana stayed in the ground not moving. Oh then slowly approach her. As he was finally beside Liana he grabs her head and raised it up. He then raises his other hand and spikes started appearing. Flick. He then flicks his hand the spikes swig at Liana. Stab. 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 It penetrated Liana. Ha. Finally managed to kill her. Oh. He was about to throw her until. Swing. Patches. Oh left hand started to squirt blood as a blade of light swung behind him. What? Oh. Buzz. Buzz. Oh it slowly looks behind him and there was Liana. Then the Liana in his hand started buzzing before it turns into particles of red light. You sneaky dog. Oh, oh then swing his right hand toward Liana but she was faster as she skillfully evades to the front and slashes at his chest. Slash, oh got hit and started to bleed on his chest. He then swings his hand to the front. Swing, poo. Liana evades it but still got knocked back a couple of feet across from where she is. She then hears laughing. He ha he ha 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 ha. Oh, oh it started laughing like a maniac as he then looks at Liana. He raises his right hand up to the sky. Grumble. 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 The ground started to shake. Then. Crack. Crack. 
crack. It started cracking. Oh look at Liana while laughing. No more games. Time for me to get serious. Oh. Then the ground burst up. And everything started levitating. Ha 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 ha. I'll tell you this kid. Nobody can escape my gravity field. Oh. Oh laughed sinisterly as everything started levitating as he looks at Liana. Then he swings his hand down. And everything falls. 24. Chapter 42 Breaking Point Third Person Poff Crash Crack As Olat everything falls the whole place crumbles the ground cracked and broken and a lot of things fall from the sky. He didn't care about anything and just destroyed everything. The gigantic robot behind him isn't even affected at all by what he was doing. Oh just laughed as everything was destroyed in his eyes. Liana is nowhere to be seen. Until O raises his hand and levitates everything again. He saw something jumping between the floating rubbles. He smiled. There he saw Liana jumping all around the place on his gravity field. Ha ha this kid really can't just stay down ha. Huh? Oh. Oh then stretch his hand on a nearby floating rubble the size of a boulder. And swing his hand at Liana. The boulder size rubble then flies towards her. Exclamation mark Liana. Liana then jumps to another rubble beside her and the boulder size rubble crash on the rubber that she was originally from before it falls to the ground and made a loud noise. She looks at her. Then Liana took out her SSG from her inventory. Then her body started to glow. Buzz. Buzz. Paling. Then she fades away leaving red electricity and red particles behind. Oh look around and then, bang, pung. A bullet hit the side of his shield. He looks there and sees a little crack on his shield. My my, oh. He then stretches his hand back and everything that was levitating slowly moves towards O. He then slowly clenches his fist. Crack. 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 Everything that is floating near him started to crack. Then he clenched his fist tight. Crack. Creak. Crang. Crash. Everything then was crushed into little piece. Then he swings his hand. Try evading this kid. Oh. Then every piece of rubble started flying everywhere. Drub. Crash. Crang. Crack. Ping. Patches. Drub. 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 As everything flew everywhere it hit everything in its path. This place is an open field but now it's a wreck. Liana got hit by some of them and was forced out of the open. She was busy reloading another bullet until O quickly moved towards her. She got hit on her shoulder by one of the pieces of the rubble, and two on her left arm. Her left arm is pretty much out of commission but she's still forcefully moving it. Her body is pretty much on breaking point but she can still keep going. The spike on her leg is still there too, but each wood in her body was crystallized by red crystal. The red crystals cover her wound but it makes it harder for her to move. Blood also stops coming out, but red particles of light started leaking out from her wood. Her eyes are still glowing red. I then started levitating everything near him again and throws it at Liana. She keeps getting hit a lot of times but... She still gets up from every attack O sends at her. TCH talked about sturdy. Oh, her SSG in her right hand is now broken. She let go of the SSG and changed it into her vector and aimed it at O. Ta 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 Ping. Pang. Pang. Crack. Every bullet hit his shield. Some got bounced but some made a small crack on his shield. She just won't give up her. Oh. Liana slowly walks towards where O is. O saw this and he made a spike near him and swing his hand to her. The spike flies straight toward her but she just moves her body to the side and avoids the spike then suddenly she disappeared. Question mark where did she? O crash. Then Liana suddenly was in front of him her hand hit his shield and break it then she aims her vector at him. Tatata. Drub. 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 Click. 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 Ga. O. Three bullets came out but then it stops. All the bullets hit O's body but, it seems like Liana runs out of bullets to shoot. O didn't waste time and swing his hand at her. Liana blocks his hand with his vector and break. Her vector breaks into peaches as it hit O's hand. Then O grabbed Liana by the neck with his right arm and raised her up. You son of A, O. Oh. But Liana quickly grabs his arm with the right hand and forcefully swings her left hand on his arm. Her left hand started to glow bright and then a blade of light coil in red electricity was formed and then swang, patches, O arm was chopped off by the blade of light and Liana falls to the ground. Ah, O, O took a couple of steps back, holding his chop off a right hand that was squirting blood everywhere on the ground. He looks at Liana with his O mask that clenches his right hand and swings it on Liana. Drub, cough, Liana. 
His left hand hit Liana in her stomach and she coughed blood she was about to fall to the ground slowly when O swings his left hand down on Liana's back and sends her crashing straight to the ground. Boom. The ground made a small crater as Liana was stuck down onto the hard ground. Oat started raising his feet and then forcefully trying to stomp Liana on the ground, but she moves to the side and his feet hit the ground next to Liana a couple of centimeters away from her face. Liana quickly got up and swing her left hand that was glowing at him but then O oh, grab a gun from out of nowhere it seems he have a preserved handgun on his back and then shoot at Liana. Boom. Patches. The bullet hit right in the joint of her left arm and the force of the bullet cut her left arm. Blood didn't come out but red particles came out. As her left arm started flying through the air she looks at Toe's wrist and then dash towards him and bite it with her teeth. Crunch. Pukians. Blood splatter out from where Liana bites him covering her face with blood. O raise his hand but Liana didn't let go of her bite at all she just look at O with her glowing red eyes. O then started swinging his arm all around the place. Liana still holds tight. Then he smashes his left hand on the ground with Liana on it. It made a small crater but she's still biting his arm. He then started swinging his hand on the ground around him. Making trails of small rubbles and smoke flying everywhere. Bomb. Stretch. Stretch. Bang. Boom. As Liana keeps getting ragdoll around while still biting O's left hand she grabs her gun with her right hand and aims it at O face. Click. Bang. Ping. O was this and swing his head to the side. The bullet graced his mask and made a small spark. O then keeps swinging Liana on the ground. Liana's body started to break down and she started losing her grip. O saw this and did a final push and swing his left hand forcefully. And Liana was sent flying to the sky and falls a couple of meters away from him. She started getting up again and started walking slowly to him. She started mumbling, you pay for this, Liana. Her red glowing eyes look at her. She then aims her gun at him. But then, ha, huh, you think you can beat me? Oh, oh laughed and look at Liana. His right hand was cut and his left hand was broken but then he raises his left hand. Crack, crack, and forcefully bend it back to place. He then raises his left hand to the sky. Tying, the gigantic robot behind him started to light up. You forgot that I also have this right? I never play fair you know exclamation mark tilde. Oh, then he swings his hand to the ground and the robot's eye started to light up. Liana looks in front then she pulled the trigger, click, but no bullet came, she drops the gun on the floor, her body can't move at all, she was so exhausted right now, she laughed silently as she looks at the gigantic robot, ha ha, even with this much I still fail, huh? Liana, then the light from the robot shines and fires a gigantic laser at her, pow, boom, op off, looking at the explosion I saw that girl was sent flying in the sky. It missed? I look behind me. You miss? Oh, I raise my voice. A-G-H. Let me handle IT. You guys are worthless. I'll drive it. Oh, that kid cut my right hand and broke my left hand like hell I'm going to let her survive. My body lights up and disappears and was sucked into my giant mesh. Liana Poff. You are ash. Smack. Growl. Pack. Smash. Liana. I didn't know what happened. Cough. Cough. Liana. I slowly open my eyes and see that I was sent flying away from where the skyscraper is. Lucky how the laser seems to have missed fire and sent me flying somewhere far. How am I still alive? I look at where the skyscraper is and I can see the gigantic robot in the distance getting up and slowly moving towards where I am. I can't move my body. Cough. 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 Liana. I was coughing blood out of my mouth. As I keep looking at the distance, I crash into a house somewhere in the city. Cling. 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 I heard sounds behind me. I force my head towards where the sound came from, and I saw a big giant red crystal. This place is. I slowly move my eyes around. This place is where I and Echo were before fighting the tank. Cling. 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 I slowly look at the big giant red crystal. My head started to go dizzy. Well, no matter. I look towards where the skyscraper is. The gigantic robot is slowly moving here. I'm really weak am I? Liana. Even with all my power. I'm still weak. I can't do anything at all. Ops that's my foot. Liana. Here I thought I got top skill. I always think I'm stronger but in reality. I'm just weak. I'm not strong. Not strong at all. Even when I try my best I still fail huh? Echo. Sorry I fail. 
I slowly close my eyes. I don't want to end like this. What is going to happen now? Am I going to die again? I whisper to myself. This sucks, Liana. You know what? Maybe dying a second time isn't so bad. Guess I give up. Liana, you really giving up just like that? Then I heard a voice out of nowhere. Then everything went dark. 26. Chapter 43 A Contract. Liana Poff. Liana. Where am I? I remember hearing someone's voice then everything went dark. Who was that? I slowly open my eyes, and I see darkness. I look around and everything is dark, no speck of light anywhere. But, I can see my body clearly, I then notice that my left hand was there, I then pinch my cheek. Ouch. Liana. Pain. So this is not a dream? Where am I? Well it took you long enough to wake up getting yourself here is a hard task well not like time is moving here. Who's there? Liana. I look around but didn't see anyone. So I wait a second. The voice kinda sounds like a girl. I then saw the room turn white. What? Liana. Then suddenly a girl appears in front of me. I was startled and by reflect I jump back. The girl was shocked but then smile with a cramped face at me. The girl has long blonde hair that reaches her waist, and she was wearing a white one piece. She is even taller than me. My length was only about where her chest is. Cough well anyway. Why don't we have a seat now? Then two chairs and a table came out of nowhere. The girl in front of me take one of the seats and wait for me to take one too. Liana, don't just stand there. I was cautious but for some reason she made me feel calm. I take a seat in front of her. We look at each other and just stared at each other. This is quite awkward. Sigh I wonder why Big Sis sends you here? What do you mean? Liana, the girl looks at me and smiles sadly. Well first things first my name is Elizabeth you must be Liana right? Elizabeth, how do you know my name? Liana, she looks the other way as I said that. What is she thinking? Well I know you from some you and he. Elizabeth, I have so many questions now. Okay, on to the main point now. Elizabeth. She then looks seriously at me. You'll give up that easily? After you manage to get to where you're finally at? Elizabeth. I don't know why but that makes me kinda angry. What do you know? Liana. Oh, I know everything about you even when you first got here in this world. Elizabeth. I was taken back from what she said. What do you mean? Liana. Well I'll show you. Elizabeth. She got off from her chair and the chair she is sitting on and the table disappear. Then she stretches her hand up, and then bubbles form all around us. I stare at the bubble and saw something. I saw something familiar. I stretched my hand and touched the bubble. Plop! Exclamation mark Liana. Suddenly a memory surface in my mind. Phew fim full thanks for the food. Well good that you are healthy. This is. I'm in the bed and I was talking to someone I'm familiar with. This is. The time I just woke up and talked to Echo. How did? I slowly look at Elizabeth. Who are you? Liana. She giggles and looks at me. My name is Elizabeth and I am known as the goddess of knowledge here in this world. You are Liana right? The one that was reincarnated here? Or should I say your memory resurface here? Elizabeth. She is a goddess. More things to know her. So why am I here? Liana. He he can't we just have a little chat? Elizabeth. She looks at me. I know what you just been true since you got here. Elizabeth, you don't know anything. Liana, sigh I wonder what he will say in this predicament. Elizabeth, he? Liana, she nods and looks at me. Who else of course? Elizabeth, Echo. Liana, she nods again. Echo, what does she mean about that? Does she know Echo? She put one of her hands on her cheek thinking about something. I and Echo have some history together with his wife. Elizabeth. I was shocked but I quickly regain my composure. Really? Liana. Well, it's just like that. I have some department to repay to him from when he helps me to. Elizabeth. Okay? Liana. Anyway, I did watch you every time from somewhere I think my voice also leaked that time. Liana. From what she said I then remembered something. Are you the voice I heard from that crystal? Liana. Oh, to think you figure that out. Elizabeth. She smiles while clapping her hands. Well back to the topic. Elizabeth. Her face then went serious again. Why did you want to give up fighting him? Elizabeth. I looked down thinking about the fight with O. I just can't beat him. Liana. Really? Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm weak after all. Liana. Sigh you're not weak I watched you every time you know you are strong for a girl. Elizabeth. I'm not. Liana. Yes, you are. Elizabeth. I'm not. Liana. 
I got up from the chair and look at Elizabeth angrily, then I look down again, I'm weak I can't do anything not even saving Echo System didn't help and I am all alone here I can't hick, Liana. My body started trembling, tears started to flow through my eyes as I was reminded of my helplessness from that time. Sai so why did Echo tell me to do this I'm bad at talking to people like this, Elizabeth. Elizabeth slowly approaches me and lower her face to my level and then she hug me in her embrace. She patted the back of my head, there there you did your best, Elizabeth. She told me I did my best, her words keep repeating in my head and my emotions started to overcome me, tears started running down my face. Hick hick sorry echo I'm sorry, Liana, I suddenly hug her. Maybe I'm a little childish but, I just can't take it anymore. You're a strong girl Leo and he knows you are too, Elizabeth. I look at Elizabeth, she just smiles at me. For a goddess, she is kind and nice, she was flower scent in her body and it makes me relax a bit. I slowly close my eyes, Jigaleko was not joking when he said you're kinda a crybaby, Elizabeth. Wait what? Liana. I quickly got out of her embrace and look at her. She then started laughing. Ha 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 ha. Well, is your mind clear now? Elizabeth. I was taken aback but I then looked down. Yes, Liana. And that say no to me. Elizabeth. Flick up. Liana. She then flicks my forehead with her slender hand making me shout with a cute sounding voice. Elizabeth, she stops and looks at me, cute, Elizabeth, and said that very world right in front of me, I'm not cute, Liana, she smiles brightly, and then started rubbing my head with her hand, H hey stop that, Liana, no, I can't, my resistance, woo oo you, Liana, pft, Elizabeth, Elizabeth happily keeps petting me, why, does it feel so good getting petted by someone, a dog just like what he said, Elizabeth, my eyes open wide as she said that. I'm not a dog. I'm a wolf. Liana. Yeah yeah tell that to the judge anyway. Elizabeth. She then stops petting me and slowly looks at me. Don't give up seriously Echo wouldn't want to see you like that would he? Elizabeth. Be but. Liana. When I was about to say that she stopped me by putting one of her fingers on my lips. That's why why not form a contact with me? Elizabeth. Eh? Liana. You know a contract. Elizabeth, ah him why? Liana, well, Elizabeth, she turns around and thinks for a moment. Then she turns around again to me and said, because you're interesting? Elizabeth, why did you say that with a question? Well, I'm bored here. Elizabeth, wait did you just read my mind? And what's with that answer? Liana, well I'm stuck in this place. I can't move around unless I make a contact with someone. Elizabeth, okay really? but true enough but still why? This is totally out of the blue. Hey, Elizabeth. Elizabeth looks at me with a serious face. Look here. If you go back out there you will die facing him from how you are now. If you have me I can help you you know. Elizabeth. In what way exactly? Liana. Oh well I can give you access to other memories letting you learn a lot of cool skills and tricks. I can also support you in battle by talking to you and answering your questions. Also at least you're not alone anymore since he left. Elizabeth. The last part I didn't hear it somehow. Well, what do you say? Elizabeth. I look at Elizabeth and think. I close my eyes. With my current setup there's no way I can beat him anyway. Might as well do it. I don't have anything to lose anymore anyway. Ah. And also. Elizabeth. I look at Elizabeth. This is a message from Eka. He said that you can use your absorption skill on his body. Elizabeth. Eh? What? Liana. Well he said that his skill would be really useful for you so he said feel free to use his body. Elizabeth. Liana. Echo. You seriously? I started to smile. Even when you said that you're sorry, you still try to do your best till the end huh? I then think about what I did and, then I look at Elizabeth. He also said to man up. I also agree. Didn't you say that you will stay strong till the end, so that you can go home? Elizabeth. When you say it that way, you kind remind me of Echo in some way. Yeah. I look up. I said to myself that I will be strong and shouldn't give up right? I giggled. Even before I was reincarnated here. I always try my best. I can't give up here right? I clench my hands. Then I look at Elizabeth. I accept the contract. Liana. Good. Now closed your eyes for a second. Elizabeth. I did what she said. She then moves towards me and kiss my left eye. Somehow my face started to go red from the feel of her lips kissing my left eye. 
then I can feel a shock from my left eye it kinda hurts a little but then it stops. I slowly opened my eyes and saw Elizabeth's face right in front of me. My face started to glow red again. Elizabeth looks at me and giggles. Then she stretches her hand at me and a screen pop out. Well, that's done now let's see your status what the hell is this? Elizabeth. What? Is something wrong with my status? Yes. Your stats are so weak. Elizabeth. Wait what? Your level is pretty high but why is your status so low? That doesn't make any sense. Elizabeth. And here I thought I was up, but in reality, I was weak. You should have more than two times or even more, with your current level, Elizabeth. Wait really? Well I can just fix it all up when you get out of here. Seriously I'm going to play with your status for a bit and sort things out. Might as well add some changes in your status to just a decent amount of course not making you to op but also not too weak he he he, Elizabeth. She looks at me with glittering eyes. You am um, please. Liana. I can't say anything to that. Seriously big sister system is a grandpa, Elizabeth. Big sister? Liana. A-R. Forget about that. Elizabeth. She then stretches her hand up to the sky. When you wake up you can see your status all nice and tidy. I might also make some new features too. While also kick system out of you, Elizabeth. Wait what? You are going to kick out system? Ah. Uh, Nothing about that. I'm just talking systems roll from you. I'm even more knowledgeable than that whining thing, Elizabeth. Liana. Well anyway. See you out there. Elizabeth. Wait I have more to talk to you, Liana. We can talk once you beat that thing. Also, don't use berserk mode again, Elizabeth. I sigh, but I nod. But what does she mean by that? I'm also giving you some of the memory I have about magic it will be useful to you I think, Elizabeth. Wait what? Ah well, when we form that contract I can see your memories and also give you some of my memory so don't ask I'll explain later, Elizabeth. I nob again with a questionable face. Also I will give you 50% of my power, Elizabeth. Eh? Liana, isn't that too much? Not like I'm complaining but well half of my power was scattered all around the city anyway and I can't get it back it turns into the red crystals you see everywhere I'm just going to manually send all of the powers to you that's all. I'll also heal some of your body parts and make it stronger. Anyway see you there. Elizabeth. W wait what do you mean by that? I still have so much. Liana. Then everything turns dark again. Elizabeth poff. Ha. Elizabeth. I drop to the floor as Leah disappears, I then put my right hand on my head as I was having a headache. Echo why must it have to be me? Elizabeth. Well you were the one that said you want to do it. I look behind and saw someone appearing in the distance near me, he was wearing police gear and without a helmet. I sigh and look up in the white sky. Seriously what is my big sister thinking about sending someone that nice to this world, Elizabeth? What's going on really? Why did big sister send a soul like Leah here of all places? The one behind me didn't say anything at all. Seriously this guy. Say something please this is our last moment seeing each other again. You always give me a headache echo can't you say something? Elizabeth. Shouldn't it be the other way around? And what can we even talk about now? Echo. Ha. Huh? Elizabeth. This guy. Anyway so you really are a goddess Heiko. Oh, come on. You just noticed now. Of all the time in the world? Elizabeth. Well there's no way I believe you are a goddess when you say it like that time being very confident of yourself Echo. Seriously. Elizabeth. I just can't believe this guy. I did another sigh. Anyway how come I never noticed you you said that you've been following me and the kid all the time? Echo. Well mainly I've been following you from the very start. Elizabeth. That's kinda creepy Echo. Please don't say it like that I can't do anything else since my body is gone you know you won't be able to sense or even see me and I don't regret about what I did back then. Elizabeth. Echo just looking at me sadly. That time you sacrifice yourself to save the both of us I kinda regret not staying with you that time Echo. PFD you of your own problem. She is your daughter in her stomach. And there's no way I'm letting you and her die. Even though she died at the end giving birth, Elizabeth. Both of us then stay silent for a moment. I guess Echo. Well can't do anything about that. The past is in the past anyway can't change that. I was happy anyway that I managed to save you too, Elizabeth. I got up from the ground and look at him. My best friend that I meet long ago. So you going to find her now right? Since you die Echo. You did say that when you are in death or the last couple of years, Elizabeth. Echo. 
He stays silent but still looks at me. I sigh. Seriously this guy, didn't change at all ever since we first meet, it makes me angry. Well, it can't be helped anyway good luck finding her, Elizabeth. I then turned back from him, and started walking away from him. Eli Echo, I stop and look behind, please take care of Liana and also, find my daughter in my stead Echo. I smile sadly at him. I clench my right hand. Drub. I walk to him and punch his chest with my right hand. Well, it's only a light punch anyway. I look at him, of course, I will. I can't let that child go alone out there in that chaotic world. And I have too many things to repay back to you from what you did to me a couple of years back. And also my big sister is a part of this so this also involved me taking care of her, Elizabeth. Echo softly smile, and then his body started to slowly turn to light. I look at him sadly. So this is really goodbye huh? Elizabeth, he just looks at me with a smile on his face. Well I can't say Echo. It's really fun knowing you you know Echo, Elizabeth. Yeah those years together were fun just the three of us Echo. I laughed sadly at him as he said that. Yep I will never forget the time the three of us made a party and adventure all around the world together. He he, Elizabeth. Well that's mainly your idea I just got dragged into this Echo. Well you also meet her on the way anyway, Elizabeth. He smiled at me. Then he turns back and waves his hand at me as he started moving away from me. I slowly raise my hand and wave back at him. As he then disappears into particles of light in the distance, I slowly lower my hand. Elizabeth, I kinda feel lonely with him and her gone from this world now. The years we spent together were fun, but I hope Echo can find her again out there. I slowly made a sad smile. Sigh what a sad life you have Echo but you didn't regret having it right? Still a strong-headed guy till the end huh, Elizabeth. I look up to the white sky, I wonder if we can see each other again someday. I then think about my big sister and narrow my eyes as I recall something. Big sister what are you up to now? Elizabeth, I didn't know what she is planning. But, I smile as I think about Leah. I like calling her that she is just too cute her fluffy hair and ears are fun to touch what about her tail? Wait stop. Now is not the time to be thinking about that. I slap my face with both my hands and shake it left and right and then look to the front. Well, I will find out in the future anyway about what my big sister is planning first things first. I need to change my clothes and fix what my big sister did to Leah. Elizabeth, my eyes started sparkling thinking about it. I'm looking forward to what you can do now Leah since I'm going to fix you up nicely. I smile brightly. Now on to my second adventure huh? Since my first contractor died, Elizabeth, I look back at where Echo disappears, and smile. Till we meet again someday old friend and let's have a nice chat with your wife you're so proud of once we see each other after I find and rescue your daughter. Elizabeth, even if you choose her I didn't mind that time, I'll save your daughter with Leah. I swear but it's going to take a very long time, hope she is okay with waiting a couple of years Leah is still too young to start. I then turned back and let my body turn to light and started disappearing out of here. As I slowly disappear I keep smiling and thinking about what will happen in the future now. I'm looking forward to working with you my little contractor, Elizabeth. 26. Chapter 44 Small Changes Huh? Third person poff. Inside the cockpit of the giant robot O was looking at a giant screen right in front of him inside the giant robot O was impatient looking at the distance where Liana falls down there he can see a big red glowing crystal that was growing in a fast pace the mesh he was in is still moving slowly there he was tapping his feet on the ground his right hand is gone and his left hand is touching a control panel the blood that was pouring out was already stopped when he got inside his giant robot all around Echo are droids sitting and typing on screens. Oh, oh keeps looking at the growing crystal in the distance it keeps growing large and large every second as his giant robot keeps moving step by step slowly there. Oh, then he saw something shining at the bottom of the crystal the screen then zooms in and he smiled. There you are your piece of crap. Oh, Liana Poff. HMHM? Liana A? Eh? I can't open my eyes I try to move my body but it seems to be stuck in place what's going on? Oh, you're up? Wait a second I'm just finishing the last bit of preparation Elizabeth. I can hear Elizabeth's voice in my head. Okay just a little more and done. Elizabeth. Bip. 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 Woo oonk. Wait why am I hearing beeping sounds? And something starting up? Okay activating hub screen now. Elizabeth. Wait what do you mean by? Liana. Okay. 
You can open your eyes now. Elizabeth, I slowly open my eyes and huh? W what? Liana, what I saw was a rectangular screen. It looks like what I see when I was playing and rebounds per game game it's and rebounds per game hub screen. There are HP and MP stats at the top left of the screen. On the right left is a circular map with a pointed dot. At the bottom right there seems to be a transparent rectangular empty spot that you used to see in FPS games where you can check your weapons and armor in place. And the last one on the top left below the HP and MP stats is. He 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 cool right? Elizabeth Elizabeth in a small screen with her blonde long hair down and yellow eyes wearing a blue guild style receptionist uniform with a small open area in her chest on a then blue uniform and little red mix with white ends and beneath her guild uniform she is wearing a white long hands shirt on her guild uniform it has a yellow one style ribbon attached with a triangle shape red glowing jewel in the top section between her necktie and chest and also two flaming color string tied on her left and right middle elbows side of the long shirt she is also wearing a blue beret attached with a light red ribbon shaped like a flower petals in the hat on top of her head and a black belt attaches to her hip. She is also wearing a long black skirt. It's a very fantasy-like style when I see it. It kinda suits her. I think I saw this type of uniform somewhere in an anime before. On her left hand, she was holding a book tied with a yellow string and a lock hanging on the string attached to the book I think I saw that kind of outfit model somewhere before. How do I look in this uniform? I based it on an outfit from somewhere in your memory and add a couple of things to it? Is it great on me? Elizabeth I it looks great on you. Liana, he he I'm happy. Since I am your guide I pick this outfit that might fit my description Elizabeth. Well sad that I can't see the full view of it Elizabeth gasped for a second as I think of that and grinned at me. If you want to see the full view I can materialize in front of you too. Only you can see me anyway unless I want others to see me Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth, please stop reading my mind. What do you mean? Liana. Well um let me try answering that later you should try getting out first. Elizabeth. Eh? Liana. I then noticed and look around me a lot of red crystals were stuck on my body I was pretty much in a crouched position and the crystals are covering my feet and left hand my right hand seems to be okay but, how do I get out? Liana Well absorb it what else? Elizabeth I look at Elizabeth that just made a thumb up sigh in her hand Also your body is in top shape now too Only mine a scar left like the one in your right cheek Elizabeth I then look at my left arm and see that Elizabeth was right my left arm is attached to my body but still submerged inside the crystal I take a deep breath so I just need to use my skill right? Liana Yes, now hurry up he is coming here You should hurry now Leo Elizabeth Okay I then touch the crystal and use my skill Ah, by the way, you won't be able to stop once you do it and it will hurt a lot for a second Elizabeth Eh? Liana her explanation came late and red particles started getting absorbed into my hands and pain. It feels like getting stabbed multiple times by a million needless. Ah. Liana. I bite my lips to endure pain until a couple of seconds later the pain started to fade and tears were in my eyes. Tell me sooner, Liana. Ah ha ha well. I forgot since it's so long since I was out anyway. As long as you absorb this one you will pretty much absorb every crystal in the city. So please endure pain for a moment until it's finished Elizabeth. I just woke up to find I endure pain as I slowly did I saw the red crystal start turning blue. Third person puff. Oh looks at where the crystal was and there he sees something. Oh, oh saw particles of blue light start moving and started gathering somewhere he stops the robot and turns the screen in every direction all the red crystals everywhere started turning blue and started producing particles of blue light it started to move to a point on the screen view and started forming a spectacular scene right in front of him then crack, 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 crash, crash 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 all the crystals crack and crash into the ground every crystal from small to big all turn blue and broke into millions of pieces all around him and then turn into blue particles and follow the other blue particles moving toward one point he looks there and then pewing 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 a red light started forming in the cockpit then a screen pops up in front of him warning mass amount of mana detected oh just look in front is the laser ready yet oh 80 percent 
Worthless, oh. Oh then said to the droids to do it faster as his giant to it started moving again toward Liana. Liana puff. Crack. 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 I can see cracks from the crystal all around me. I took a deep breath then. Crash. 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 I moved my left hand and right hand forcefully out of the crystal and then I forcefully got up from the crystals. The crystal started to grow weaker every second and so I easily break it and get out. We talked about force but I guess it's understandable Elizabeth. I smile at Elizabeth as she said that I look around and I can see a lot of blue particles all around me. I can't see anything except the blue particles but, grumble grumble grumble. I can feel something vibrating and shaking the ground it's moving and coming here he's coming huh? Buzz. 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 My right hand started to light up I look at my left hand and it looks just like before a delicate hand with no scratches at all I then look at my legs and I can see that it was healed too. Crash. 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 I can hear crashing sounds behind me I look back and the crystal was cracked down into millions of pieces and then turn into blue particles. Well that should do I'm giving you some knowledge that might help you fight him and I also see some more some things in your memory he 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 Elizabeth. Then I can feel something my head started heating up as knowledge of something flooded inside my head I close my eyes as I endure a headache then slowly open my eyes up I think I know what to do now I then started controlling my mana in place and started taking a deep breath and started focusing every blue particle started getting absorbed into my body making a light blue light all around me and then started fading away I can feel some energy forming inside of me I can feel that I became way more stronger than I used to be. Ah. Uh, don't be surprised when you look at your status. I made some small changes. Here it is. Elizabeth. Then a rectangular screen pops up on the bottom left corner of the screen. I read it. Name. Liana Gender. Female. Evolution in progress. Age. 6. Qu job class. Magic gunner. 20%. Greater than. Comma LVL. 435. Next LVL 40%. X status point. 0 remaining HP 8 billion 700 million 8 billion 700 million MP 180 million 180 million attack 350,000 2,000 defense 600,000 2,000 magic 1 million 600,000 6,000 dexity 800,000 intelligent 9,000 1,000 luck 500 skill X skill point 0 remaining magic element FR LVL 50, low, ER, LVL 40, low, WN, LVL 40, low, weight, LVL 45, low, lane, LVL 120, intimidate, V and DB, LVL 45, low, LT, LVL 5, low, doctor, LVL 5, low, VD, LVL 10, low, CR, LVL 1, low, skill class mastery, gun, VI. 80%, Intimidate, Sword, 3, 30%, Low, Mechanic, I, 50%, Low, Special Mastery, Belt, 40% Weapon CR, 0% Item CR, 0% Passive Skill, 6 Cents, Active, Auto Evasion, Active, Use Automatically, 1 Time Every Hour, Hidden Skill, Perfect Evasion, Slow Time for 5 Seconds Every Close Hit, Intimidate Active, Item Drain, Active, Hidden Status, Active, Automatically Lower Status View Memory View, Not Active, Berserk Mode, Not Active, Goddess Support, Always Active, Hub View, Always Active, Left Eye View, Titles, Reincarnator The Little Wolf Arc Knowledge Contract with God Goddess Blessings, Elizabeth, Goddess of Knowledge, Boss Breaker The One Who Never Give Up, PFFFF, Liana, Hey, Elizabeth, isn't this way way over the limit from my last status? Small changes my face. Now I believe I'm up. I'm going to stay and watch from the side while eating popcorn. Elizabeth. Oi I. Liana. Ha 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 ha. Joking. Joking. Maybe he 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 Elizabeth. Elizabeth laughed as I talk back at her seriously her personality doesn't seem right with that outfit and is she really joking or not? Because I can see popcorn showing at the edge of the screen and is that 3D glasses beside it? Well, can't argue with that now I look up front and narrow my eyes as the giant robot stop in place and its head started lighting up. 27. Chapter 45 Liana vs Giant Mesh. Oh, 
Part 1. Third person Poff O is now looking at Liana she was displayed on the screen in front of him. His mask has a scratch on the right side from where Liana shoots him. He just keeps looking at Liana with his only hand gripping tightly to the control panel. Finally show yourself huh? Oh. He then saw that she was fully healed. Hey? Oh. Patches. Clackick. His mask makes a small smoke and the bottom part of his mask started coming up and closing the triangle like mouth. Small smoke still coming out. Why am I both so excited and so mad right now? Oh. 100%. The laser finished charging. Oh keeps looking at Liana on the screen. Oh mask now looks like a smile with a closed mouth looking at Liana. Let's see how you will survive this kid. Oh. Then one of the droids on the seat in front of him presses a button. Liana poff. The light from the gigantic robot lit up brightly as it aimed at me. Liana. I wonder where O is. Ah. If it's him he is inside that giant mesh there Elizabeth. Ah thank you. Elizabeth. Liana. Don't mind but I would like you to call me Eli though since I'm more familiar with that Elizabeth. Okay, Eli, Liana, he he you're welcome but, I want you to evade that laser shoot of can Elizabeth. Um, can I ask why? Liana, it's because even though you just became op it doesn't mean you are invincible please avoid that Leah, that weapon can be lethal to you Elizabeth. Well, I can see that, I was shot by that laser and was lucky to survive. I saw a giant explosion of smoke flying up towards the sky when I fell before. I don't want to get hit by that thing again. Tying, the giant robot or mesh now, it's about to fire its laser. Well, sadly I may have come prepared now. My right hand lights up but now instead of red electricity, it's blue. I focus the energy and woonk buzz. 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 The electricity turns into a straight line and made a very light focus blade of light. Buzz buzz buzz. I smile and look in front. Wash. The wind is blowing in front. My jacket seems to be floating around the wind. R. Now that I noticed it I look at my clothes. My clothes are a little shredded. My left side of the jacket is pretty much no more. There are also some holes in my jacket. My shirt also has some rips in it my skirt too. There's also a lot of dust on my clothes too, I really need a new set of clothes, well can't do that now, guess I'll endure the shame a little. Elizabeth, Eli looks at me on the screen. What is it? Liana, oh, nothing to worry about just the fact that you have different colored eyes now Elizabeth. Wait what? Really? Yeah the left eye that I kissed is blue and your right eye is a little red. I don't know if it's a side effect from going berserk mode or because you're in the process of evolving Elizabeth. Now that she mentioned it, I was in the process of evolving. Am I? Well, we can think about that later. We got that to worry about first Elizabeth. Tying, the giant mesh seems to be charging its power at us. It's about to fire 20% of its power now Elizabeth. Eli said that as look at the giant mesh. Thanks now shall we? Liana. Yep, I will give you as much support as I can. Elizabeth. Well. I'm happy that I'm not alone again after losing Echo. I narrow my eyes as the mesh finished charging. There's also a move I learned from the knowledge Eli gave me. I lower my body into a running position. And ping. Poo. Ting. As the laser flight towards me. Time slowly slows down a bit and my mouth opens. Jet. Liana. Woo wash. My feet started lighting up and blue flames started rising below my feet. Then. Wash wash. Poo. I propel myself to the front and boom, the laser hit the place behind me and made a loud sound of an explosion, patches patches, whoa, hard. Liana, I then fall towards the ground and roll a couple of times before stabilizing myself in a crouching position as I slide on the street until I stop. H hey, that's a hard skill to master, you need a helping skill to help you to use that skill. Elizabeth, ha ha well. The skill jet huh. When I saw and learned that skill I was amazed. Just like what it said. I propelled myself to the front using wind magic as a force. Pretty much a very convenient magic but the thing is. That its force is as strong as a jet engine. So it's so strong that it's hard to control. So I don't do that again please use the ones that use the ground instead of the air fine now Leah. Well this is just a tip from me. You can still use it to dodge attacks Elizabeth. Okay, Eli. Liana. I then got up from the ground and look in front, the giant robot is taking out its gigantic sword on its back the sword is pretty long around one quarter of the length of the tower, 
itself. Then I can see something coming out from the chest of a giant mesh. Is that Kling Classic? Kling Classic? Kling Classic? Kling Classic? Kling Classic? Kling Classic? You have got to be kidding me, Liana. What I saw is six. Wait, no, twelve flak guns coming out from the giant robot chest. Six on each side, and it's rotating towards my direction. Well, might as well try your newfound skill while at it, Elizabeth. I sighed. Well, can I really? I know what to do, but I haven't tried it yet at all. Guess I'll try, Liana. But first, I got to get close to it. Then I saw all the flak guns already aiming at me. R, Liana. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I run to the front while also using another skill I get. Dash, Liana. My feet then speed up as I keep running to where the giant mesh is. Leah, I advised you to try doing the side quests first, like absorbing Echo Body and getting a weapon. Elizabeth. Eli said that while I was running and evading bullets and explosions. Yes, that might be our objective for now. I can't get close to it because of the flax that are firing at me. Eh? I then saw the giant mesh grabbing the sword that was strapped behind it. Clacking. Oh, this ain't good. The sword then started lighting up as it was drawn up. The giant mesh then raises its sword up high and swing. It swings its sword down to the ground and makes a slash of light aiming straight at me. Jet. Wash. Boom. 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 I use my skill and jump up to the right as the giant wave of light swings right past me and makes big explosions along the way to the very end. I slowly look behind me as I was still in the sky. What I saw was a clean cut on the ground miles away till the end of the city houses, buildings, and anything that it hit were gone. I sweat a little. I can also see Eli sweating on the screen. Yeah I don't think anyone can survive that slash Elizabeth. I nodded and fall onto the rooftop of a house. Boom. 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 Exclamation mark dash. Liana. I saw the flax firing at me and I quickly dash my way from rooftop to rooftop as bullets keep flying all around me. I run around the giant mesh while moving towards the skyscrapers. The giant mesh slowly turns towards me with its sword in hand then swing. It swings its sword vertically. Jet. Liana. Wash. I jump high in the sky as the wave of light passed below me. Boom. 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 Then I see the flax start firing at me while I'm still in the air. TCH. Liana. My hand then glow bright and made buzzing sounds. Buzz. 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 Swing. Boom. Swing. Boom. Swing. Boom. I made a blade of light from my glowing hand and swing it. Because of my active skill, I can sense where the bullets may hit me. All of the bullets that almost hit me were cut by my blade and made a small smoke. When it hit my blade of light some almost hit me and trigger my perfect evasion skill. I managed to evade and cut every bullet coming at me as I fall to the ground behind a building somewhere. I take this advantage while I can't see myself and use my skill. Dash. Liana, I dash to the front as the flak guns started firing at the building that I'm hiding. I then run forward towards the skyscrapers while hiding behind the buildings. Boom. 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 The giant mesh started firing its flax randomly. Some hit the road, some hit the buildings near me too. Boom. 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 I can see falling debris falling towards me. I easily evade them but that's a bad choice. Ting. I look at the giant robot and it's looking at me and was about to fire its laser beam again. Grap. Dash. Liana. I dash my way through the road and run as fast as I can. Poo. Tank. It's laser fire and hit behind me and its head started moving and fastly move the laser towards me. I keep running on the street as an explosion and smoke came from behind me. As the laser started to fade I looked behind and saw a big shape on the ground. The building that hit the laser got disintegrated. Seriously I am so lucky to survive that time. Then I saw the giant mesh crouching. What is it doing now? Bus 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 bush. I saw flames start lighting upon its back and feet. No way. Woong. Buuahash. The giant mesh started flying in the sky and then started falling towards me. Jet. Liana, wash, boom, I jump to the sky to evade it, and now the giant robot is in front of me with its sword in hand started swinging at me, 
I don't have a choice then, Jet. Liana, I dash towards its face as the light started pouring into my hand and makes a blade of light. I twirl around the air since it's hard to control in the air. The sword swing almost hit me, a couple of meters away from me but the heat from its sword was already hitting my skin. Swing. Poo. The flax started aiming at me but they are too late as I was already at the mesh head. I swing my blade on its V-shaped head. Swing. Patches. I made a clean straight line on its V-shaped head as I fly towards its back and stretch my hand to the front. My hand started emitting electricity and my hand started lighting up. Buzz. 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 Lightning. Liana. Poo. Boo. 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 Ouch. A flash of strong lightning strike forms from my hand and shoot towards the back of the giant robot. It made a big explosion. The shock wave hit me and knocked me back a little as I started to fall behind the giant mesh. The explosion makes the giant mesh take a couple of steps to the front as the explosion keeps happening on the back of it. I look at my hand. It's smoking. I better not use that too much. I think my body can't shoot another one of that since it costs so much energy and power to shoot. My body is still too small so I don't think I'm used to using powerful magic yet. Boom. 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 The giant mesh then slowly moves its head to the left and looks at me and it sends shivers down my spine as I look at its smoke started coming out from its body. Tink, the giant mesh turns its body to me and swings its sword at me as I was still in the air. Jet, Liana, swing. Poo, boom, 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 boom. I jump higher into the sky with my skill. Its flax started firing at me as I was still in the sky. I use my blade to destroy every bullet coming towards me while some fly past me and blow up behind me. I feel a little shockwave behind me but I think I'm okay but, the flak guns keep firing at me as I slowly descend towards the giant mesh. This is a problem. Leah use combination skill. Elizabeth. Combination skill. Oh. The blade of light in my hand then disappear and both of my hand light up. My left hand glows blue and my right hand glows orange. Water started coming out from my left hand and flame on my right hand. Then I pressed my hand together. Patches SSSSSSSSS. My hand started to shake as water and fire started fusing and started making smoke inside my hand. Then I raise my hand to the sky and I learned this combination in alchemy class it's pretty common anyway. I just need to focus it on one spot. My hand started lighting up and smoke started leaking out. Heat blast. Liana. I then open my hands towards the giant mesh then. Bu you you ash. A giant wave of smoke with a temperature around a million degree shot right at the giant mesh. Tying. Buzz. 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 Burn. 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 The giant mesh started stepping back from the shot. It was a combination that I can only think of for now. It may not be very effective but, boom, 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 it can destroy any electrical parts if it is exposed to the smoke. I started seeing electricity and fire from the head where I made a straight slash, I can say that its vision is now broken a little. Tying, swing, poo, swing, pow, the giant mesh started swinging its sword randomly, its flak guns were stopped by the steam I created, it will not move for a while now. It should take a while until it regains everything again. I then fall down to the ground. And then I look towards the skyscrapers. I'll use this time to get there before the giant mesh finishes fixing itself. I then use dash and run towards the skyscrapers. Op off. The screen started buzzing as that little kid shoots smokes at us. You son of a. Oh. I look in front of the buzzing screen and the move my controller. My mesh started to get harder to move. I look at the droids in front of me. My mask glows brightly. Get this thing fixed now. Oh. Every droid there then quickly started fixing my mesh. Buzz. 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 Pitches. Pitches. The inside of the cockpit is buzzing and has some sparks leaking out from the walls. That kid really messed my mesh up. I then started swinging around the control panel on my hand. I was so mad that she is still alive. I am so mad that she broke my mesh that I love so much. I am so mad that she is still messing with my plan until now. But, I look at the buzzing screen. He he, oh, I have never seen someone struggle this much in my whole life. So I'm excited to kill you. 19. Chapter 46 Liana vs Giant Mesh. Oh, Part 2. Liana Poff. Step step step. Arriving at the skyscraper in front of me my steps can be heard in every direction. Silence. No sounds. 
I also can't hear the giant mesh too. Seems like it stops to fix itself up. I walk towards the skyscraper entrance. The place is pretty much wrecked everywhere. Broken metal and concrete all around the place. I look at the sky. It was still dark and cloudy. But at least the rain stopped. Leah, I mark the destination on the map for you Elizabeth. I look at the map on the screen from my left eye and I saw two dots on the map. One yellow and one blue. The yellow one seems to be a small circle while the blue is an even bigger circle than the yellow one. The yellow was pretty much in the middle of the blue circle. Are many explanation Eli? Liana. Oh, I mark the place where I think the only lead to where our objective is the blue mark is where I think your weapon might be. This comes from the memory you have the yellow circle is I think where Echo's body is Elizabeth. Okay, works enough just like in a game I play. You don't have any pinpoints to where our target is, it is just a place where you have to search everywhere, guess I better start by searching where Echo is since it is, even more, smaller than the other one, I then move to the entry point of the skyscraper, the skyscraper seems to be pretty beat up without the crystals, it looks like it's about to collapse if an earthquake struck again I can see cracks and holes in the wall of the skyscraper. Liana. Oh don't worry Leah. I will tell you if something happened Elizabeth. Yeah thanks, Eli. Liana. I then move inside the almost collapsing skyscraper. Creek. Step 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 step. Seriously why is it so quiet all? I'm questioning the mood here. Well, at least noting happens as I walk inside. It's still quiet until the end. I saw the door leading to the outside. I'm at a big hall somewhere at the end of the other side of the skyscraper I'm in. This place is a wreck it looks like a storm just went past here. Broken glass, furniture, and concrete were scattered all around the floor. At least it didn't block the door. I moved to the door leading outside and opened it. What I saw outside is the same field that I as Echo came to before. Well, it was a field when I was last here. Now it is like the aftermath of a war zone. Craters and broken metal and concrete are all around the place. I can see that the ground is muddy from the rain before. I follow the coordinates of the map Eli gave me and saw something in my sight. Liana. Memory is reminded as I slowly move forward. Step splash splash splash. I hit the wet ground but I don't mind and kept moving forward. Splash splash step step step. I was right in front of it. I slowly sat down beside it and I look what's in front of me. There lies Echo Body. I smile sadly as I remember the time together. As I grab his cold hand from the ground, I look at his face from the broken helmet. I saw his face sleeping peacefully with his eyes closed. I smile sadly. Leo Elizabeth. I look at Eli that was on the screen. It's not your fault don't be sad I can bet Echo didn't want to see you sad. So wipe that tear from your eyes Elizabeth. As Eli said that I then noticed I have some tears in my eyes, I quickly brush it off with my jacket, and smile softly. Thank you, Eli I don't know what I will do if you didn't come to me that time. Liana. Eli smiles and shakes his hand at me. Don't worry about it now you should start doing it as I don't know when will they move again Elizabeth. I nodded and look at Echo's body in front of me. I gently put his hand down to the ground and look at him as I put out my hands in front of his body. Echo, Liana, I said to his lifeless body, it's amazing how he didn't even get hit by that laser or even anything at all after what happened. Sorry I wasn't strong enough to save you if I haven't met you that time. I don't know what will happen to me, Liana. I looked towards him as my eyes started becoming teary again. I looked at Eli on the screen. She also looks very sad right now but she shakes his head and looks at me. Leah you can just think of activating the skill in your mind if you can't say it at all you don't need to say the skill name every time you are going to use your move since you are stronger now. Elizabeth. I look at Eli and then I slowly nod. Yeah, it's kinda childish when she said it like that but. Hee <laughs> hee Eli, I don't think it's a bad idea to do that you know, so I might as well take your advice for now. Liana. I look at Echo then my hands started glowing. I'm sorry that I can't save you Echo. Liana. His body started to glow. It is not like last time. Echo's body slowly started turning into light particles. I look at him with tears in my eyes. Thank you for everything up till now. Liana. The light started getting absorbed into my hand. I promise that I will find your daughter Echo I promise you. Hick. Liana. His body started turning into little particles and started to flew towards the sky. Some of it was absorbed into my hand but the view in front of me is very emotional for me. 
his body slowly disappeared, turning into particles of light and started floating towards the dark cloudy sky. As the light faded and Echo's body was no more as the last bit of light flew towards the sky, disappearing from my view, and then I saw one, just one small light slowly falling from the sky, I stretched my hand up and catch the little light in my hands, I slowly open it, the light was warm, and it slowly disappears into sparkling particles and was absorbed into my hand. I clenched my hands and lower my head to the ground, tears falling towards the ground. Eli looks at me. I shake my head. Leah? Elizabeth? I slowly got up from the ground, and wiped my tears. I then saw something sparkling on the ground. I slowly crouched down and pick it up. What I picked up is the star hairpin that Echo has. I clenched it in my hand and hug it on my chest as I look up to the sky. Then I saw Eli's surprised face on the screen. You I always wondered if that hairpin he has have some hidden power inside it but it really does Elizabeth. <clears throat> what do you mean Eli? Liana, well that crystal in that hairpin isn't just a regular mana crystal it's a resonance crystal Elizabeth. Resonance crystal? Liana. Just like what it was named it's a crystal that specializes in resonance it's a very rare crystal in this world only a small fraction of people have it these crystals can strengthen itself as it keeps getting energy just say it like it's something with the same concept of level any weapon that is this crystal on can go stronger and stronger as long as you use it a lot of times Elizabeth. Eh? Echo how did you get this hairpin? And where did you get this from? I wonder where you got Echo skill now Leah it's on your status now feel free to use it Elizabeth. Eli seems to be thinking about something but she changed the subject when I was about to say what's wrong. I was about to call her out again until I saw something flashing somewhere in my view. I look there and saw something shining on the ground. I slowly walk towards it and grab it. It was. This is my gun. Liana. What I am holding is the gun that I always use. I then see if it's still working by reloading it. Clacking. Stretch. Click. And surprisingly, it still works after getting tossed around the place. I slowly look at it until crack. 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 I heard a loud crack behind me. I look behind and saw the skyscraper wall cracking. I pale. Then boom. Crash. Boom. 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 Grumble. 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 Ting. A giant mesh smashed right through the skyscraper and is stretching its hand towards me. Skill active. Elizabeth. Grumble. Grumble. Boom. Suddenly my body moves on its own. When Eli said that, I ducked to the ground as that giant hand missed me by a breeze and the giant mesh ran past me and crashed into another skyscraper in the distance. Well there goes auto evasion now you are on your own for one hour Lee Elizabeth. Wow. I guess that's something. Tying. The giant mesh slowly looks at me with its sword still in his hand. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I flinch at a sound I heard. The sound came from behind me. I slowly looked behind and saw the skyscraper start falling towards me. I quickly looked in front and saw the giant mesh start running towards me. I look behind and the skyscraper is starting to fall. I bite my lips and narrow my eyes getting crushed by a building or running towards a mesh running at you at high speed. Well you have your answer. Elizabeth. Yep. Dash. Liana. I ran towards the giant mesh. The giant mesh then laid its sword onto the ground and grumble. 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 Its sword light up while still on the ground as it dragged it and started to swing it at me. Stree. E e e e e e e e e e Boom. 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 Not good. Liana. Leah uses stealth. Elizabeth. I nod. Stealth. Liana. My body then turned transparent, dash, Liana, and I dash to the front and evade the sword before it hit me by moving to the side. Swing. Boom. I look behind me and saw the falling skyscraper cut in half by the swing. It made a clean straight cut on the skyscraper from below towards the end as it falls towards the ground. Boom. Tying. Buzz. 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 The skyscraper falls to the ground and made a large amount of smoke along the way. I was close to the feet of the giant mesh as it started moving so I dash to the side away from the giant mesh, my body is still transparent, the mesh started looking below and around the place, seems like it didn't see me, I heard some buzzing sound from the mesh, clack it, ha 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 ha, come out, come out wherever you are kid, I then heard a loud radio voice from the giant mesh, it's definitely his voice. I keep looking at the giant mesh in front of me. I grip my gun in my hand and take a deep breath. 
Click buzz. Buzz. My gun started lighting up with electricity. Now, what to do? I think of a plan to use as I was still invisible and out of sight. 24. Chapter 47 The Anniversus Giant Mesh. Oh, part 3. Liana Poff. Clackick. Looking at the giant mesh in front of me trying to find me. While I aim my gun right in front of me where the giant mesh is. I steadied myself while controlling my breathing. I picked a part that might have low armor and can be penetrated by the shot. Still quite hard to find since its whole body is packed with condensed armor. Liu aim for the legs. Elizabeth. I follow Eli's words and aim for the leg. My main target is the joint of the leg. I pick its right leg joint with my gun. Buzz. Buzz. Electricity started coming out of my gun. It slowly lights up and. Change bullet type reload lightning bullet. Liana. Buzz. 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 Energy started gathering on the barrel of my gun and then. Fire. Liana. A long and straight line was shoot from my gun and hit straight on the joint. I was only knocked back two feet backward. Well. That's some improvement from the knockback. I look in front and saw smokes coming out of its joint. The giant mesh falls in a kneeling position because of the shot. Suddenly my stealth skill turns off. Revealing myself in the open. Ah. Echo didn't lie about that skill. Turning off when I attack. I started to sweat. I found you. Oh. The giant mesh then swung its sword towards me without even looking back as it started getting up from the ground. You are. Liana. Swing. Boosh. Pa. Crash. I duck and evade the sword. The giant sword swung right past my head almost touching my ears. The sword made a big shape slash on the ground behind me. As the sword swung towards the sky, it accidentally hit a skyscraper to my left. The giant mesh started to forcefully pull out the sword from the skyscraper. Crack. 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 Tink. The skyscraper is about to fall down. I looked at the giant mesh and saw its head start to glow. Tink. Not again? Liana, I then started running to my right. Ting, poo, tank. The laser shot right at me and made a big explosion behind me. I can feel the shock wave hitting my back as I keep running. The giant mesh then started moving its head and the laser following it. As it turns its head, the laser keeps moving towards me. I look up front. Dash, Liana, I dash my way to the front, but the laser is faster. I then try another way by zigzagging my way. I evade the laser multiple times but it's still not stopping. I look at the giant mesh. I saw the flak guns moving towards me. Oh come on. Liana. Boom. 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 I then keep zigzagging my way with the help of my evasion skill. Liu aims at its flaks. Elizabeth. I agree with Eli and charge my gun again. Buzz. 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 I aim my gun at one of its flaks while still running around and evading the laser and bullets. Reload bullet type lightning bullet. Liana. Click. Buzz. Buzz. My gun started lighting up. Fire. Liana. Pow. Boom. Tank. The bullet hit one of the flaks in the giant mesh's body and the giant mesh's body moved back a couple of steps and the laser shoot right up towards the sky. The giant mesh then moved its right hand up to the sky with its sword in hand and it started glowing and ready to swing towards me until, I saw the skyscraper beside it falls towards the giant mesh. Crack. 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 Broke. Boang. Crash. Crash. Tying. Wash. Poo. The giant mesh stumbled down in a crouching position as the skyscraper landed on its back as it was about to swing its sword. The sword slashes straight towards the ground on my left and made a giant explosion. With that, I run away from the giant mesh to keep my distance but then, you're not getting anywhere. Oh, I heard O shouting at me inside the giant mesh. The giant mesh then started getting up with the skyscraper behind its back. No way. Crack. 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 The skyscraper was ready to break into pieces, and my body started becoming quite heavy. Lea gravity field detected. Move back. Elizabeth. Wait seriously? I quickly move back from the giant mesh. The giant mesh then turned its body around smashing its left hand on a skyscraper behind it. The skyscraper then started breaking down into millions of peaches and smokes was formed from the dust. Boom. Boom. I can see the giant mesh body rotating around. And then the giant mesh forcefully broke the skyscraper into pieces and swing it at. Me? Millions of small and big chunks of the skyscraper fly towards me. 
I started to run away from the giant mesh, pieces of concrete and mental fell around me making giant clouds of dust all around. I closed my eyes so that dust wouldn't get into my eyes. I crouched down to avoid every falling bit of concrete and metal. After that, I started getting up after I looked around to see that no more pieces of the skyscraper were falling towards me. I look behind me and tying. Bush saw the giant mesh right in front of me started to swing its leg down onto my head. Jet. Liana. Wash. Pow. I propelled myself low on the ground behind me evading the leg that just touched the ground where I'm at. Boo -oo -oo. Crash. Ouch. Liana. I crash into the hard ground while evading that. I quickly got up and saw the giant mesh looking at me. PSSH. Nice job evading that kid you always amaze me. Oh. Thanks for the compliment. Liana. As I stare at it I look around the place and saw I was right behind the last skyscraper. I quickly look in front and saw the giant mesh started putting its sword on the ground. Ding. I heard a ding sound as a screen popped into my vision. Evolution available. Are you ready to evolve? What? Liana. Ah. I think you can evolve now Leah just say yes and it will start Elizabeth. I nod and was about to say it until. Tang. Boom. Drag. The giant mesh started dragging its sword towards me. I look behind and there is the skyscraper. I look in front of me and the sword is coming closer and closer by the second. Jet. Liana. Whoosh. Pow. Boo -oo -oo. I jump up high. And the sword smashes below me. I look below me and the sword keeps going up towards me. Boom. Boom. Drag. Jet. Liana. Wash. Poo -oo -oo. I then quickly propelled myself beside the skyscraper wall as the sword keeps following me. Just die already. Oh, Leah evolve now. Elizabeth. I bit my lower lips and close my eyes, slowly open them to look at the screen. Evolution available. Are you ready to evolve? Yes. Liana. Ping. Confirm evolution start. Ark. Liana. It hurts. My body is burning up. Mainly my right eye. Cling. Cling. I saw glowing red particles of light forming all around me. The sword keeps coming closer and closer by the second. I can't move my body. I can only look at the moving sword. I didn't even know my right eye started glowing red brightly. My body started to light up as the sword about to hit me. Then everything turns white. Evolution complete. Ping. Registering. Ping. Evolution into the chaos series. Ping. Buzz. Buzz. Evolve into the legendary walking catastrophe Chaos Wolf. 22. Chapter 48 Liana vs Giant Mesh. Oh. Part 4. Third person Poff. Boom. Smirk finally. Oh. Oh looked at the screen in front of him. Clouds of smokes were flying everywhere on the screen where he hit Liana. Well, my job is done. Time to get you. Oh. Fip. 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 Huh? Oh, suddenly an alarm came off from the cockpit. Then the screen in front of him turned bright. Paling, slush, pain. A loud and sharp light came flashing. Oh didn't move an inch. He only heard ringing as the cockpit on his right side was covered in bright light. As the light faded away he slowly looked at what happened. He saw three slices on his cockpit on his right that extended from the right side of the wall till the end of the cockpit. Through these slices he could see the outside of the mesh. One of the slashes had hit his face and made a giant slice on his mask. The slice of the cockpit almost looks like a slash from a claw. Patches. Blood splattered from the wound on his face. The wind started coming in from the open wall of the cockpit. Wash. Patches. Patches. All of the droids on O's right side got destroyed by that slash. The only ones left are the droids on his left. Wah. Oh. It's a miracle his head didn't get cut off. He slowly turned around. Buzz buzz, he saw red electricity buzzing along with the entire slice of his cockpit, his giant mesh just got sliced open from its right shoulder down to the chest, he kept looking at the slash until a screen popped up in his view, what he saw on that screen was, Liana, with her right hand covered with red electricity and, a red, long, glowing claw formed on her right hand, her head slowly turned to the right with a surprised face from her red and blue eyes as she looked at the claw and him, buzz, Buzz. Crack. Oh hand was shaking while gripping hard on the control panel as he stared at the screen. Liana Poff. Looking back at what had happened, I was already behind the giant mesh. I don't know what had happened but I remembered gripping my right hand into a fist and that something started forming. I looked at my right hand, and I saw three blades of lights. No, 
claws might be the best way to describe it. There are also two other blades like spikes below the claws on the left and right side looking like small blades of light. The claw was covered with red electricity and was glowing brightly in my hand. It also had hook-like curves at the end of the claw with a red aura leaking at the end. Seriously what is this? It looks cool. Out of all the races you can evolve into, it has to be that race it's going to be problematic in the future Elizabeth. Eli looked at me with a scared expression. What's going on? Am um, are you okay Eli? Liana. I, I should be asking you that are you okay Leah? Elizabeth. I started moving my hands and legs and then nodded Eli. Yep I'm doing fine but what just happened? Liana, cough um well ah uh, Elizabeth. Eli did a fake cough but then stopped to think about what to say. I look back and saw the giant mesh. Whoa, Liana, what I saw was a claw mark on the right side of its shoulder towards its chest. Um did I do that? Liana, yes yes you did Elizabeth. I didn't know what happened and what's going on at all right now. I was surprised to see how I did that. I only remember just swinging my right arm at it. Buzz. Buzz. Wash. The wind started blowing from behind me as I turned and looked at the giant mesh with the giant claw mark on it. I saw the giant mesh head slowly turning and looking at me. PSSSH you'll pay for that oh. The giant mesh then started running towards me and swung its left hand at me. If it is like that then there's no other option. Buzz. Buzz. Dash. Liana. Bash. Whoa. Liana. My body feels light. It's way lighter than before. I dashed towards the giant mesh as it swung its left hand down at me. I prepare myself. And, I took a crouching position before the hand hit the ground and I jump onto its hand. Boom. Wah. Then I started slashing its hand with my claw. And I quickly ran up its hand while still swinging and slashing my claws all the way up its arm. Slash. 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 Tying. Slash. 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 I was halfway up its arm until I saw its remaining flax aiming at me. Boom. 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 While evading some bullets, I kept slashing its arm, and some bullets flying my way. Click. Buzz. Buzz. Boom. I did a force smash with my left hand and jumped up a couple of meters away from its hand, leaving a small crater behind on its hand. The flax keep shooting at me. Boom. Paling. Boom. Pang. Boom. Pan. Boom. With my right arm busy slashing bullets, I stretched my left arm with the gun at the flax. I did a front flip midair while still aiming. The barrel of my gun light up. Buzz. 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 I haven't said the phrase yet but for some reason, I have a feeling that I don't need to say it each time. Suddenly the light in my gun turned blue, and somehow time was a bit slower. Paling. 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 Buzz. Buzz. I saw something, a trail of blue small light coming from somewhere. Ping. Resonance detected. Suddenly a screen popped out in my vision. Before I was about to say something, Leah. Elizabeth. I snap out and look in front of me and saw a giant sword swinging at me. I twist my body around as the sword swung right past me. Still, midair I look at the giant mesh to see its giant head right in front of me about to shoot its laser. Woong. TCH. Liana, click. I aim my gun right at the head. Then pull the trigger as the laser fired at me. Poo, poo. We both fired our weapons together. I can feel the air heating up around the place as I shoot. Then I saw a flash of light when my shot hit the laser. Ting. You you are ash. The two energy hit each other and then energy started accumulating and. Boom. My field of vision turns bright. I can feel a shock wave of energy hitting me. And I was sent flying from there. Ark. Jet. Liana, I quickly use my skill to shoot myself up in the air before getting thrown away from there. What I saw right in front of me are clouds of smoke and small bright light falling and hitting everything all around me. Boom. 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 All the lights fall and explode as they hit the ground. Leah you okay? Elizabeth. I saw Elizabeth worried face on the screen. Why yeah I think I'm okay. Liana. I can still see clouds of smoke in front of me. Then I can see something slowly moving out from the smoke. Ting. The giant mesh slowly came out from the smoke with its head looking at me. I was still up in the sky slowly falling towards the ground. Suddenly the giant mesh raises its right hand with the sword to the sky. And then stabbed the sword into the ground in front of it making a crack on the ground. Then every light on the giant mesh suddenly changed color. 
the color changed from red to purple. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I can hear O's voice from here. He is laughing loudly. I'm done thinking I just need you to die yeah just need you to die oh. Then I can feel something coming. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Everything below me started shaking. Then, Pu, Peking, Puang, buildings, roads. Everything started levitating up to the sky. Um, Liana, he activated zero gravity Elizabeth, and then everything started flying towards me. Ooh, this ain't good. 26, Chapter 49 Liana vs Giant Mesh. Oh, Part 5, Liana Poff, Jet, Liana Pow, catapulting myself in the air, I quickly maneuvered around the place while avoiding everything that is coming my way. Whoa, Liana, I saw a building flying towards me. I did roll in the air and quickly landed myself on top of the roof of the building before propelling myself up to the sky again. I look around me, everything is floating, including myself. Well, this is not too bad I guess. Elizabeth. Eli kinda has a point I guess, it is somehow easier to maneuver with Jet when there is no gravity and I did also become stronger since I evolved. My body is very light and sturdy so it's pretty great. Plang. Paling. I heard a sound beside me. I turned my head and saw a chunk of rubble flying towards me. I swing my glowing claw at it. Swing. Patches. 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 The rubble was sliced into three pieces as it floated past and away from me. I look at where the giant mesh is. It was still there with its sword in the ground looking at me. It stretched its left hand that still had the marks I left. It still can move its left arm even when I kept on slashing it. Seriously what a sturdy mesh. It stretched its palm wide open at me and grumble, grumble. I can see a big shadow on top of me. I look up and saw a building falling. Jet. Liana. I propelled myself forward as the building falls behind me to the hard ground below me. Boom. The results I saw were a giant cloud of smoke coming up towards the sky. I then looked at the giant mesh, and I aimed my gun at it. Patches. Patches. Buzz. Buzz. Crack. <laughs> Liana. I look at my gun and saw a crack on the barrel all the way to the back of my gun. Oh now that's just great. Liana, there's no way I can shoot at it with my gun like this. I don't want to risk exploding my gun. Cling. Cling. I still hear that ringing sound. Where is it coming from? Leah why not try a so Leah? Elizabeth, before Eli finished what she was about to say I saw a giant chunk of a road flying towards me. Boom. I was smashed into the road and was now having a difficult time getting up because of the sudden crash and the weight from it. Leah behind. Elizabeth. I look behind me and saw another chunk of the road flying towards me. Ah, it's trying to crush me. I quickly got up even though it was hard to do as the chunk of the road kept getting closer and closer. Dash. Liana. I quickly ran towards the end of the road and jumped as the roads crashed into each other and turn into piles of debris upon impact. I crossed my hand in front of me to shield my face from the incoming debris. After that. I looked at the giant mesh and saw its remaining flax aiming at me. Boom. 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 Jet. Liana. I propelled myself to a nearby building as the incoming bullets flew towards me. Boom. 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 I used the building as a shield as bullets came flying towards the building I was at. I take a little breather as I think of a way to get closer to it. Leah, try using resonance with the broken gun you have and the hairpin Elizabeth. Resonance? Liana, I look at my broken gun in my left hand. Look now where is it? Liana, the glowing claw on my right hand fades away as I quickly open my inventory and look for the hairpin. Ah found it. Liana, I took it out and saw that the blue gem was glowing brightly. Cling. 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 So that's why I heard clinging noises. Liana, I look at the gem on the hairpin and my gun. So what am I supposed to do to use resonance, Eli? Liana, oh, you just need to put them close to each other and use your magic on it. It is quite hard as you can only use the element that you always use and you also have to use your imagination to transform the weapon into a new one provide you have the materials to make it Elizabeth. So it's like making a new weapon or upgrading it? Liana, it is a bit of both. But I wonder what kind of gun can even use the lightning element as power? I don't know anything about that I only know of swords that can use lightning element Elizabeth. Elizabeth looks dejected as she can't find a good answer for me. But I made the biggest smile I can do. He he he. Liana. Leah. Why do you look so happy? 
Elizabeth, I'm happy because I know one gun that uses electricity as power in FPS games that I love to use. Liana. Elizabeth. Seems like Elizabeth didn't know what I am talking about. Well, time to do it. I slowly about to put the two together until I'm Leah behind you. Elizabeth. I look behind me and saw the building turning bright orange. Color drained from my body. Zha, Liana. The building exploded right in front of me, knocking me back while spewing molten metal and concrete all around the place. I saw a laser piercing everything on its way right in front of me. I managed to evade it because of the blast from the building. Then I saw a small rock flying towards me. Smack. Paling. Ah. Liana. It knocks the hairpin out of my hand. I can see the hairpin flying away from me. Jet. Liana. I quickly dashed my way through the various bits of the rubble of the buildings as I try to grab the hairpin back. Boom. 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 Ark. Liana. I can see bullets flying towards me. And I have to evade left and right so that I won't get hit. Boom. 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 I can't regain control of the direction I am headed in. If this keeps up I will crash into something. I saw a giant sign of a building floating nearby. I propelled myself there. Step. I managed to put my feet on the sign and look around. Cling. 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 I saw the hairpin shining. It was way up in the sky. I narrow my eyes to lock on it so that I won't miss it. Dash. Liana. I quickly dash my way to the end of the sign and jump. I saw a lot of rubble and debris all around me, which I use as a stepping stone to jump towards where the hairpin is. Boom. 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 Tink. Woo. Ah. It's about to fire its laser again. I was very high up in the sky. I can see I'm getting closer and closer to the sea of clouds in the sky. Come on a couple of steps more. Liana. I keep jumping from debris to debris. The hairpin was a couple of meters away from me. I stretched my right hand up. Ark. Come on. Liana. Cling. 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 Woo. Just a little more. Grab. Got it. Liana. Poo. The gem on the hairpin glows brightly in my hand as I look to see the laser coming straight at me. My vision became bright and I close my eyes, as the laser hit me. It opens up a giant circle in the sea of clouds revealing a giant moon along with numerous stars in the sky that were only visible through that circle. 20. Chapter 50 Liana vs Giant Mesh Oh, Part 6 Third Person Poff Woong As the laser fades away O looks at the open sky on the screen. Patches Parches the cockpit is sparking and the droids inside are busy fixing everything. O kept looking at the sky. Oh, he saw something blinking on the screen. He looked closer to see a flashing light on the moon. Hey, oh. O looked at one of the droids. Zoom in, oh. One of the droids clicked a button and the screen started to zoom in. As the screen zoomed in, he looked at it and his grip on the control panel tightened. Crack. Crack. His mask's glow becomes dimmer as he looked at the screen. Impossible that's a direct hit, oh. He looked at the screen and saw Liana still alive. While up in the sky where Liana is. Cling. 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 Patches Parches. <laughs> Liana. Liana slowly opened her eyes after the laser hit her. She slowly looked around. Uck. Liana. Leah, are you okay? Elizabeth. Ouch yeah. I'm okay maybe. Liana. Seriously that shot just cut three quarters of your HP. Elizabeth. Liana looked at Eli with her eyes wide open as she said that. She then noticed blood dripping down her face while also seeing steams coming from her skin. Wait seriously? Ouch. Liana. Liana felt pain all around her body as she tries to move. Then. Cling. 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 She saw her hands glowing. Liana. Her gun and the hairpin are glowing. Leah I think it's time to try resonance while he is still charging up Elizabeth. Liana looked below her and saw the giant mesh looking at her. Seriously this guy really wants to kill me so much. Liana. Liana then closed her eyes and slowly opened them to look at the things she was holding in her hands. Yo's. Let's do this shall we? Liana. Liana smiled as the two things on her hands started shining brightly. Liana poff. Cling. 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 Particles of light started forming all around me. Gathering to be precise. I'm Leah. Do you have the materials you need to even make it? Elizabeth. I opened my inventory. As Eli said that. Yep I have all the materials I need. Liana. 
Then I took out everything from my inventory. Clack it, clathang, clang, pang. I took out every metal part I had in my inventory and threw them all around me. The parts slowly float in the air around me. Now what to do next? Liana, um put the two things together and the process should start. You also need to say a few words of confirmation before starting though Elizabeth. I nod and then slowly let the gun and hairpin touch each other in my hand. Then bright light formed. Ding. Resonance available. Are you ready to start the resonance process? I saw a screen popping up in my view. Yes. Ding. Do note that the resonance process cannot be undone when completed. Are you sure? You want to do it? I look at where the giant mesh is. Then look at the screen again. Yes. Liana. Ding. Please put your hands together and provide the materials needed to start the process. I then saw the metal parts around me started turning into particles of light. I slowly put my hands together. And then my hands started to brightly glow. Ding. Starting process blueprint needed. Um, Eli? Liana, just imagine it on your head and it should work Elizabeth. I close my eyes and imagine the blueprint of the weapon in my head. Ding. Blueprint confirmed beginning resonance. Cling. 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 Whoosh. Then a wave of light started gathering in my hands. It started getting brighter and brighter. Sing. Plang. Pang. Ping. I can see something forming. Metal started appearing and forming into something. Cling. Pang. Paling. Buzz. Buzz. Blue and red electricity started forming all around me and the light. Then every sound fades away for a second. Ting. Whoosh. A gust of wind flows around me covering my vision. Buzz. 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 Click. Cling. 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 My hand started to shake as I can feel a grip forming in my hand. I gripped it as hard as I can as electricity coiled all around my arms. I lift my arm to the sky. The thing on my arm started glowing brightly up in the open sky. Cling. 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 Wong. Passisisisisisi. Bush. Bush. Whoosh. Uck. Liana. I then swing my hand down hard as I close my eyes from the light. Boosh. As I swing my hand down the wind stop and I slowly open my eyes. Cling. 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 I looked at the weapon in my hand. Clang. Clackick. The handgun I had turned into a rifle. I'm gripping it with both of my hands. Patches. Patches. This is not a regular rifle. The rifle is not too small but also not too big for me. It's also very light. There's no magazine attachment at the bottom of the gun. Instead, there's a triangle size revolver cylinder at the top of the gun with a break action chamber mechanism. The only difference is that the cartridge is not a bullet but a giant dart. There's also a giant sword attached to the bottom part of the gun. With the metal stock hitting my left shoulder the gun is pretty long but not too long. Out of everything, the only major difference in the gun is the shape of a barrel. The shape isn't like any other guns. The gun barrel is very long and it looked just like a rail with two sides almost sticking together. There's also a row of teeth on each end of the barrel forming electricity to the other end of the other barrel. I saw a screen pop up in my view. I smile as I look at the gun I made. Yep everyone that loves sci-fi FPS might guess it. Say hello to my little friend. Buzz. Buzz. Patches. Patches. The railgun. He he he. You are. How did I forget that? Of course. The railgun. Elizabeth. Eli looked at me with sparkling eyes as I looked at the giant mesh below me. Eli is the concept of a railgun not in this world. Liana. Well I might notice some similar concept but I never see them use this kind of concept in my life so this is new to me Elizabeth. Well then, you will be amazed at how this thing will perform then. Liana. I aimed my railgun at the giant mesh. Now let's see how your armor can withstand a railgun blast that can almost penetrate any metal in my world. Third person puff. Tank. The giant mesh looked at Liana in the sky, with her railgun aiming at the giant mesh. Ha. Huh. You think that little gun can scratch me? Oh. Oh laughed at Liana that was in the sky as he controls his mesh. He then controlled the mesh's left arm and stretched it out towards Liana. Grumble. 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 Everything started moving towards where Liana is. Oh looked at the screen and saw that Liana is smiling at him. Liana puff. Cling. Paling. Buzz. Buzz. Clacking. As everything that was floating started flying towards me. I put the stock of the railgun on my right shoulder and slowly aimed my railgun at the giant mesh. Ding. Suddenly a screen popped up in my view. 
The screen looks like a gun scope, with a crosshair in the middle decorated by two circles on the crosshair. One is slowly changing size from small to big and then small again while the other didn't change at all. Is this a focus sight? Well, this will help. I then named it the giant mesh. The giant mesh was behind three buildings that were floating towards me. Buzz. 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 The railgun barrel light up as electricity started forming from its teeth. Ha! Huh? Liana taking a deep breath, testing railgun and fire. Liana, I pull the trigger. Ping. P -u -u Whoa. Liana, I was knocked back up higher in the sky as I fire the dart from my railgun. I forgot that railgun has a lot of recoils. Better strength myself before shooting it again. Don't want to fly far away because of the recoil. The bullet also made a giant shockwave behind me as it flew away. That's one strong bullet, but the bullet is pretty much a giant metal dart the size of a 50 caliber bullet. Picking switch. Pang. After I fired it I saw the triangle shaped cylinder turn to the right reloading another dart to the barrel. Boom. 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 I heard an explosion and looked below. I saw a straight line from the dart I shot. Everything that hit the dart made a big gigantic crater with blue lights pouring out from the cracks where the bullet hit. The bullet went straight through the building and pow. Boom. Tank. Boom. Grumble. 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 Boom. It hits the giant mesh left arm and sends it to the ground. It first hits the palm and went straight through it like butter. After that it hit the left shoulder and also went straight through it easily while also making a big explosion as it flew through its shoulder. As it exploded, the left arm of the mesh got detached and fell to the ground as the dart flew away from the mesh, making a giant explosion when it hit the ground behind the mesh. The giant mesh slowly looked at its left arm, huh? Oh, I can hear Rose's baffled voice. Then the giant mesh looked at me with its eyes glowing brightly. You. Oh. It was about to fire its laser again. I aimed at the giant mesh again and pulled the trigger as the laser shot too. Ting. I didn't forget to ready myself from the recoil. The laser and the dart hit each other, but instead of exploding the laser got slices from the dart. Bion. Patches. 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 The dart kept flying forwards even though it is still hitting the laser. Upon making contact with the dart. The laser turned into multiple smaller layers that flew everywhere. Pine. 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 Boom. 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 The dart kept coming closer and closer without stopping at all. The giant mesh quickly moved to the left but it was too late. The dart impacted on the right side of the giant mesh's face. Boom. Ting. Grumble. 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 Boom. It penetrated the right side of the giant mesh's face and turned it to a huge explosion, tearing off pretty much all of the right faces off its face as the mesh was pushed backward a couple of feet from the explosion. Patches. Patches. Boom. Tying. The color at the mesh turned from purple to red again while it's looking down. Picking. Switch. Pang. The cylinder turned again reloading another dart into the barrel of my railgun. I quickly fired it again. Ting. P as the bullet flew towards the giant mesh, the giant mesh quickly grabbed its sword from the ground and swung it at the dart. As it made contact a shock wave was formed and everything nearby started cracking. Swing. Pion. Crash. Crack. 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 Boom. It managed to deflect the bullet to the side, causing it to completely miss and explode behind the mesh. The aftermath of that was a giant cracks below the giant mesh's feet and its surrounding. Uck. Liana. Picking. Switch. Pang. Paling. Patches. I can see the cylinder rotate again. I think my railgun can only have three available shots in it so I need to reload it now. Clacking. Patches. I opened the breech of the cylinder and saw steam pouring out from the three holes in the cylinder. I narrowed my eyes as I looked at my right hand. I know how to make the ammunition. I just need to make it like the magic bullets. I stretched my right hand and saw three giant darts forming from my hand. I quickly put the darts in and closed the breach. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I saw everything started falling below me. Um, Liana, and then I started falling from the sky. You were? Liana, and now I am free falling in the sky. Clacking. Pang. Paling. I looked at my railgun as it slowly folded itself into a small sized handgun. Wait. It can turn into a handgun. Oh cool. 
I never thought it would work, I did try imagining it being able to disguise itself into a handgun, ting, boom, 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 I looked down below to see the giant mesh head looking at me, the mesh body is pretty much in critical condition, I saw fire and smoke coming out as it looks at me with its half glowing red V no it's just a, now, you're dead you're dead you hear me, oh, oh it seems like he's mad now, I can see its flax aiming at me, welp, let's go, Liana, with the railgun on my left hand and my right hand started forming the glowing claw again it's going to be fun now, I let myself fall from the sky as the mesh started firing its flax at me, 23, chapter 51 Liana vs giant mesh, oh, part final, Liana poff, boom, 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 pung, pang, boom, pang, ping, Liana, welp, falling from the sky isn't as bad as I thought, that is if no bullets are flying all around me, I saw a lot of explosions near me, I looked to the side and saw a building beside me, boom, boom, whoa, Liana, as I looked at a building it exploded right in front of me, I crossed my hands and closed my eyes as I passed through the smoke from the explosion, Wash. I looked behind me and saw complete mayhem, the building crumbled as it hit another building beside it, a car explodes as a result of getting hit by some bullets, and debris explodes into millions of pieces that hit everything near it, yep, definitely mayhem in the sky, I look in front again to see the giant mesh crouching, what is it doing now, Parthang, Parthang, I could see something opening on the mesh feet, Patches, 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 you have got to be kidding me, Liana, what came out of the opening were missiles picking. Buzz, buzz, I looked at my gun and it was sparking. Okay let's see what you got. Jet, Liana, wash, the bottom part of my feet lights up with blue flames and, poo, I propelled myself towards the incoming missiles. As I got close, I swung my feet to the front and aimed my gun at the missile in front of me. Buzz, buzz, I then pulled the trigger. Poo, boom, 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 boom. Boom, the power of the blast or dart isn't like the gun in railgun form but it is still able to penetrate anything in its path, I saw five missiles exploding in front of me as they were hit by the dart, afterwards, the dart went into a building leaving a crater as it impacted, the cylinder rotated as it reloaded another dart, puss puss, I looked to the side and found more missiles coming at me, I aim my gun there and pull the trigger, Poo, boom, Boom, you you are ash. The missiles exploded as the wind from somewhere flows past me. I looked to the other side and saw some missiles flying towards me in the distance. Buzz. Buzz. Clackick. As the cylinder finished rotating, I aimed my gun at it and pulled the trigger. Poo. Boom. Boom. The dart hit the missiles it explodes. I looked around and I saw no missiles for now. Wah ash. While the wind blew against me in my free fall. I steadied myself as I saw a building in front of me, placking, pure ash, I opened the breach and looked at the cylinder, the hole is even smaller than before, but that's natural since it folded into a handgun, now it's the size of a regular rifle bullet, I made more darts, put them in, and close the breach, clackick, buzz, buzz, well, now that is done, I aim my gun at the building in front of me and pull the trigger, Poo. the dart shot out and penetrated the building, leaving a hole and a crater behind, the hole is big enough for me to go through, I brace myself and enter the hole in the building, wah wash, wash, buzz, 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 I can hear sounds inside the building, like blue particles and electricity, well, the building seems quite big, anyway, um, Eli, you haven't been talking until now are you okay? Liana, um what am I supposed to say? you don't even need my help at all you pretty much just did everything yourself without me Elizabeth, Eli looked at me with a dejected face, okay, now I feel bad, I looked in front and see the end of the hole in the distance, looks like it's going to be hectic again, I looked at Eli, hey don't be like that Eli, can you help me with some coordinates to get to him, Liana, him, oh, yes, I can, leave it to me, Elizabeth, Eli put her hand in her chest with a happy face, well, that's more like it, I looked in front as I exited the hole, what greeted me was a wave of missiles and bullets flying my way, Eli, Liana, ah, use the debris over there as cavalier, you should be able to use it to your advantage, Elizabeth, I saw the debris and propelled myself there, pass, pass, as the missiles followed me, 
They hit the debris and exploded into millions of pieces which made a cloud of dust around me. I use that to my advantage and dash forward. Cling. 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 I looked at my right hand as the glowing claw formed on my right hand again. Tyne. My red right eye began to glow as the claw reattached a little further back. I stretched my right hand behind me and swung it forward. Swing. Puss. 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 The claw came out and flew like a boomerang. Wash 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 wash. Wash 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 wash. Wash 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 wash. Slice. Boom. Slice. Boom. Slice. Boom. Slice. Boom. Slice. Boom. The flying claws sliced the missiles into two and continued to slice more missiles, leaving behind a chain of explosions as it flew around the place. Woliana and Elizabeth. Okay, I didn't notice that the claws can do that, I just somehow knew and just did it. Well anyway, I looked at my right hand, the two small ones started moving to the front of my hand and, patches. Patches. Bahash, a laser sword came out, it is as wide as my palm and as long as my feet. Well, this is something. Boom. 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 I heard and saw an explosion somewhere in my view but it seems different. I looked over there and saw three red fireworks exploding in the distance. Ah Leah, I think that was the aftermath from the claws you shot out. Elizabeth. Oh, so it exploded after some time. I'll take a note about that. I looked in front again and saw a lot of bullets flying towards me. Wahang. I looked at my laser sword and swung it right as the bullets flew at me. Push. Push. Pewing. Pin. As the bullet made contact with the laser sword it melted into hot molten metal. Ping. Plang. Pang. Push. Plang. Pang. I evaded some bullets while I swung my laser sword around me. Some bullets nearly hit me, causing my skill to immediately activate. I used it time to slice more bullets that were coming at me. Leah more missiles coming your way. Elizabeth. I looked at the giant mesh and saw it firing more missiles again. Boom. Boom. Puss. Boom. 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 Pia us. Pia us. Pia us. I take a deep breath. Seems like I'm going to have to deal with the missiles the hard way. Jet. Liana. Whoa whoa whoa. What are you doing Leah? Elizabeth. I dash my way to the nearest missile. I move my legs to the front and tap. Gently put my feet at the nose of the missile and then bang. Pu you are us boo oo I kicked it to the side. The missile did a couple of spins before hitting a building in the distance and exploded. I looked around and saw another missile flying towards me. I turned my body to the side and swung my laser sword at it. Woo. Swing. Boo. -oo. The missile was cut in two and exploded behind me. Clackick. Buzz. Buzz. I moved my left hand and aimed my gun at the missiles in front of me and pulled the trigger. Boo. Boom. 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 The remaining missiles explode as I then propelled myself out of there and landed on a building near me. Step. I looked in front of me. Tink. The falling building was moving straight at where the giant mesh is. I take a running position. Gratak. Gratak. I saw its flax aiming at me. I grip my gun and stretch my laser sword to the front. Clackick. Clang. Packing. The gun started turning into its original railgun form. Step. Leah, you're seriously going to do that? Elizabeth, I look at Eli and smile. Eli just let out a deep breath at me. This is going to be hectic. I'm grabbing my popcorn. Elizabeth, play tag. Okay, let's just forget what Eli said at the end. I looked at the giant mesh and dash. Liana, bash, boom, 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 patches, patches, patches. I dash my way through the raining bullets and missiles. I did a zigzag and I did an acrobatics stunt. I'm pretty much just testing out my sturdy body and it's quite flexible. You oosh, whoops. Liana, pia us boom. I did a slide and evaded a missile coming towards me. I also used my time slowing skill so that I can quickly move to the edge of the building. Agh, die, 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 die. Already? Oh, boom, 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 tank. I saw the giant mesh stretch its right arm that still had the sword at a thrusting angle. Clackick. Buzz. Buzz. Patches. Patches. I looked at the gun and it just finished turning back into the railgun. I aim my railgun to the front, and swing my laser sword to the right. Buzz. 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 The crosshair appears on my screen and I started aiming, as I finally made it to the edge of the building. 
The building was right in front of a giant mesh. Tying. You you are ash. The mesh thrust its sword at me as I pulled the trigger. Click. Pyan. The dart hit the tip of the sword and then crack. Made a giant crack on the sword until it reaches the handle. It didn't break the sword but it still damaged it greatly. The giant mesh didn't care though and kept thrusting the sword at me. Clackick. Packing. Pang. As the sword kept coming closer and closer to me, the railgun on my hand turned into a handgun, and I swing my sword to the front into a thrusting position. Haha. <laughs> Liana. I took a deep breath, as the giant sword was a couple of feet in front of me and Pakyang. Swing. Pitch. Step. 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 I swing my laser sword to the left and the giant sword completely missed me and I am now running on the broad side of the giant sword while dragging my laser sword. Crack. Crash. 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 While also breaking the giant sword I kept running forward towards the giant mesh chest. Chi. Break. Creak. Crash. Halfway through and I saw the flax aiming at me like I would let you hit me. Dash. Liana. Chi. Boom. 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 Bang. Crack. Poo. Boom. Faster. Just a little faster. Running and running. I'm getting closer to the cockpit. Woong. Buzz. Buzz. The sword and gun in my hands started lighting up. I arrived at where the handle of the sword was. Crick. Crack. I then focused all my energy on my legs, making a big crack on the giant sword. I looked at where the cockpit did. And. Swing. Crash. I jump from where I was, leaving a broken sword behind me as I brought my laser sword to the front in a thrusting position. And. Jet. Liana. Poo. Propelled myself like an arrow straight through its chest where the cockpit is. Ha. Liana. Boo. -oo -oo. Checkmate. Third person poff. In the cockpit. Woo wee can't you just die already? Oh. Bewing. 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 Alarm sounded everywhere in the cockpit. Pip -pip 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 -pip. <laughs> Oh, oh looked at the screen and then, boo yuka Oh, oh was sent flying to the back of the cockpit as everything exploded in front of him. Boom. Boom. boo Patches. Pucking. Patches. Patches. Buzz. Buzz. Oh looked to the front. The smokes were blocking his view. Bewing. 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 He only saw the flashing red light in the smoke and a figure slowly getting up. Oh, oh stretched his left arm high and scraps of metal near him began to levitate. He then pointed his hand toward the figure and all the scrap flew towards the figure. Wash. 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 As the last piece of scrap flew, O's hand dropped to the ground as he silently stared at the figure in the smoke. Step 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 step. He can hear every step it made. Close and close until. Step step step. He finally saw it. The kid he wants dead is right in front of him. He ha 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 ha. Oh. What's so funny? Liana. Liana looked at her on the ground looking at her. Hi he I was just talking to myself to think me of all people was defeated by a kid of all things. Sha ha 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 ha. Cough. 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 Oh. Liana just stared at him. Well. You win kid. Ha ha I got nothing else. Oh. Liana. Clackick. Liana aimed her gun at O's face. Whoa spicy eh? Oh. Liana. He 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 well tell you what. I will answer any of your questions. How about that? Oh. Liana. Not a joke here. Oh. Oh raise his hand up. What happened to Aina? Liana. Aina. Who is that? Oh. Echo's daughter. Liana. Oh. That little girl? Well I don't know. Oh. What? Liana. I didn't know what happened to her and that was such a long time ago. I just sent that kid to my boss what they do to her isn't my problem I don't know what they did to her anyway. Maybe oh. Maybe she's already, oh. P -p 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 A-G-H son of A. Oh. Liana shot O's foot with her gun. The dart tore through O's foot and left a small hole either the floor. Blood pouring out from his open wound. Ha 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 well, I tried being nice kid. Oh, suddenly O's mask began to glow and bewing, 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 bewing. Alarms went off inside the cockpit. 
Liana looked around and then saw a red screen popping up behind her and there's a timer counting down on the screen. Pew you are you ing. Core self-destruct sequence activated. Pew you are you ing. Time remaining two minutes. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. You got to be joking? Liana. Liana looked at O again and saw a gun aiming at her. Now it's a standoff. Liana's gun was still aiming at O's head and O's gun was aiming at Liana's head. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. Ha 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 ha. Give it up kid. If I'm going down here then I'm dragging you with me. The explosion will destroy this city and everything around IT. There's no way you can survive kid. Oh. With everything as crazy as it possibly gets. Liana slowly narrowed her eyes. Then. He he he. Liana. What's so funny? Oh. Liana laughed a bit then looked at her. Ha ha hell it's just amazing that you go that far just to kill a little kid like me. Liana, she smiled at her. It's already overkilled enough attacking me with your giant mesh now you're sending a nuke at me? He he. Liana compared to the others this is the easiest way to finish things off right? Oh. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. One minute till detonation. Sixty. Fifty nine. Fifty eight. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. Pew you are you ing. Liana looked at O and then looked at Elizabeth in her view. Elizabeth also looked at Liana with a worried face. Are you sure you are going to do it? Elizabeth. Liana just keeps on smiling. Little did O know Liana was talking to Elizabeth about something behind his back. Well there's no way I'm going to die that easily anyway. Liana, you are not even cowering. Even knowing that we're going to die? Oh, he he if you think I'm going to die because you're sending a nuke at me. Think again, Liana. He ha 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 ha. Oh, oh laughed out loud as he looked at Liana with his gun still aiming at her head. Tell you what kid, I'm very amazed, oh. Liana looked at her. 30. 29. 28. You are the craziest kid I ever faced in my whole goddamn career, oh. Liana. Clackick. Clackick. Liana and O steadied themselves with guns pointing at each other's heads. The craziest kid but also the strongest kid I ever faced. I've never been so excited fighting someone till now you know, oh. Liana. We'll tell you what. There is someone even stronger than me out there kid, oh. <laughs> Liana. I was the top two on the whole team of ten it's amazing how a little kid like you even beat me but right now you're still too weak to face him, oh. Ten. Oh it's Nicker as he looked at Liana. Nine. Tell you what kid if you survive you're going to become a hero you know? Oh well I'll definitely survive but I don't think becoming a hero suits me. Liana. Ha 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 ha. Oh laughed out loud as he heard Liana confession with his questions. I wonder what will happen in the future with you around kid. Sadly I don't think I can see it well. Shall we end this with a bang? Oh. Liana and O looked at each other guns ready. Liana laughed a bit at O. He he well he can say you're right on one thing. Liana. <laughs> and what's that? Oh. Five. Liana smiled at O. Well after coming here. Liana. Four. I won't blame myself. Liana. Three. Kling. Two. The two of them looked at each other. Guns aiming. If I become a little crazy right? Liana. One. O slowly smile behind his mask. As Liana and O pulled their perspective trigger at the same time. 24. Chapter 52 Aftermath and what's to come. Third person poff. On the distance far, away from the city, a squadron of helicopters is moving. Pita 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 pata. Inside one of the helicopters, there was a man with a general suit looking out of the window. He looked at the pilot as the helicopter moved. How long till we get there? General, you am one more hour at, sir. Pilot, bullshit, can't this thing go any faster? General, W were trying sir. Pilot, the general sighed and looked out the window. It's been three hours since the last they sent a pickup chopper. The higher up keeps rejecting the request for more even though the commander was begging them to do it. Sigh, general. He was tasked for this mission by the commander himself to secure and rescue a soldier and a kid, he didn't know anything about them, but looking at the commander's eyes he knows he is being serious about this. So a task force was sent out without the higher up knowing. Um sir, pilot. Yes, pilot. General, we are picking up a massive amount of energy from city S yes, sir, pilot. What do you mean? General. He got off his seat and moved to where the pilot is. Suddenly he saw something flashing in the distance. Wah, General. Boom. 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 Boom.
A giant shockwave hit the whole helicopter squadron, shaking everything inside. Alarms rang inside the helicopter as they braced themselves inside as the shaking slowly stopped and all of them looked in the distance. Teeth as, pilot. All of them opened their eyes wide open as they looked at what happened in the distance where the city they are going is. What they saw was a giant mushroom-shaped cloud. The general clenched his fist as he looked at it. We're retreating, general. Huh? But sir, pilot, we're retreating. That's an order pilot. Send the others the message there's no way anyone can survive that, general. As he still looked at the distance he can only pray that the commander didn't throw a tantrum because of this. The whole squadron then turned back, away from where they were headed. And on another side far away from them. There's a giant vehicle on the ground facing where the giant mushrooms cloud is. Inside there were a lot of panics. W what? N no way. Commander Rowe died. A lot of scientists were looking out the window at the giant mushrooms cloud. There there's also a giant with a dark cloak covering his body. Question mark. Slowly a guy in a military outfit moved towards him. Commander, the figure in a cloak looked at him. It seems like things have become complicated. The guy looked at the distance where the mushrooms cloud was. The figure looked at it for a second. They then turned back and walked away from the window. Get us out of here, Commander. We can't continue as one of us just died without us knowing we lost a big portion of our power and I don't want to lose any more. The figure looked at the guy and the guy trembles as he looked at the figure. Then he lowered his head, as you command commander. Then the guy runs out leaving the figure behind. He slowly looked at the window again. Straight at where the mushrooms cloud is, patches steam came off from the figure. I wonder what happened over there. The figure then walked back away from the window and then the vehicle moved away from there. A couple of days later, news of the city was spread all around the continent. Words saying that it was a secret weapon. Others say that I was a punishment from the gods for the humans that invaded the land because it said that their strongest weapon was destroyed in that explosion. But nobody knows what really happened inside the city. The city was destroyed, leaving behind nothing but a place full of sand called the Fallen Dune City because of the place being desolate with no signs of life in what was once a city full of life. Other than that, news that the human army retreated back to their capital city came to light a couple of days later. Many were happy because of that and all the city celebrated as the news was spread wide through the continent, but there is still a small amount of military movement from the capital of the humans but nothing too big. People say that it is because they don't want to lose another one of their strongest weapons. Well, that's what the people in the city say. Everyone in the continent was closely keeping an eye on the human's capital city so there is no way anything will happen for now. A month later a grand funeral was taken place in the middle of the city where every race lived. A funeral about a great soldier risking his life and saving the continent. His name was written as, Echo the Hero. Sacrificing himself? saving and destroying the super weapon that attacks city s and making the human army retreat back to their city nobody knows if he was helped or not from what was written down because they can't find any evidence anywhere to this day he was called the hero by everybody and will be known throughout the years to come and a couple of days later in a small town somewhere inside a hotel in a small room someone with a hoodie on was packing everything into a small bag clackic rushing rushing. Um, that's everything right? The one talking was a girl and was looking around the room to check if she didn't forget anything. Eh? Seriously? Um, where did I put it? R. There it is. Girl. The girl slowly moved towards a table. She grabbed something there and looked at it for a second. It was a hairpin. Then she slowly moved her hand to her hair and click. She placed the hairpin on the left side of her hair. She smiled as she touched the hairpin. Well, time to get going. Girl. She grabbed her bag and ran towards the door. Clackick. She slowly opened the door and went out of the room. As she got out she saw a wide blue sky in her view. She sighed. Well guess I'll have to train now, girl. She looks up high in the sky. Her blue and red eyes shined as they reflected the sun. She slowly smiled thinking about what she experienced before. You you are ash. Suddenly a strong wind came making the hoodie fall off from her head, revealing her black hair and animal ears on top of her head. She sigh. Well, there goes that no Eli? Girl. Yes Leah? Elizabeth. Can you um, tell me where your place is? Liana. Liana scratched her face as she looked at Elizabeth on her screen. I'm um, sure. Elizabeth. 
Liana sighed again and shook her head left and right as Elizabeth said that. Then Liana moved out of the hotel while Elizabeth guided her to her place. Wherever it is, well I hope nothing bad will happen there, Liana. She looked up at the clear blue sky and then slowly looked at her hands, opening and closing them a couple of times. Liana, she recounted the time she pulled the trigger. She slowly looked up in the sky again. My first time killing someone I wonder why I am so calm about it. Liana. Leah. Elizabeth. Elizabeth looked at Liana with a worried face. Oh. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Shall we? I hope I can stay hidden till the end. Liana. Liana kept walking on the road to where her next destination was without minding what she was thinking. She just hopes that nobody knew that she was the one who made this big of a commotion. Well. Little did Liana know. She was being watched somewhere. Buzz. 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 Click. Ah. Seriously? It had to break now of all times? Somewhere in a dark place. A girl is looking at a static TV with a pale face. She had blonde long hair, green eyes, and wore a white one piece. She grabbed the TV, shaking it left and right but nothing changed. Or, oh, come on, I just made this yesterday too. Girl. She drops down on the ground as she stares at the station TV with a dejected face. Then suddenly in the distance, someone came towards the girl on the ground. Step 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 step. Master you still have a lot of work to do. So stop playing around. The girl looked at the one that said that to her. What she saw was a girl with dark hair and dark eyes wearing night like armor while holding a small red cable in her hand. Her face turned bright red as she pointed her finger at the girl wearing the night armor. So it was you. Girl. Now now stop whining it's time for you to work. Night. Girl. No, I still haven't watched everything that Leah did. Girl. Mind if I remind you that this is your fault for being lazy even though you have a lot of work to do sigh at least your little sister is better than you. Night girl. Hey, don't talk to me like that missy. I know that I am better than my little sister Eli. Girl. Cough says the girl who randomly reincarnated someone there for entertainment cough. Night girl. Hey. Girl. The girl sighed as the girl in night armor told her that with a smile. She looked at the static TV, and then she sighed. Well she always cracks me up you know? Her ideas are so fun to watch like seriously, shooting that guy in the face with a gun like that. Blowing his face off into chunks while evading the bullets he shot at her? Then she teleported herself up high in the sky as the explosion happens below her even though it was her first time using that move too. Then she controlled the wind around her to limit the shockwave and glided herself away from the explosion and then landed in a badass style on a hill far away from the city that just got nuked. Without looking back at all at the explosion behind her while making a smug face and a peace sign with her hand like she knows I'm there or something ah if she was a boy I might become a fan of her, girl. Smack, yeah yeah fang earl all you want, you have work to do, night girl. The girl wearing night armor chopped the top of the girl's head with her hand. She rubbed the place where she got hit with tears in her eyes and slowly got up while grumbling curse words at her. The night girl just smiled at her as she slowly walked towards a table with a stack of paper on it. Oh how I wish I was like Eli, girl. Sadly if you did that then world will be in chaos, night girl. I'll blame you for that well. I'm looking forward to what she can do in the future. This is just the beginning you know I can't wait to see what she will do next after her training. Girl. The girl looked at the girl wearing night armor with a smug grin and then took a paper from the pile and read it. The night girl just smiles at her then she looked at the static TV and then started walking there until she stepped on something. Step. She looked down and saw a remote on the ground by her feet. She grabbed it and aimed it at the TV, pausing to look at the girl that was dragging a chair from somewhere towards the table full of paper, and then she looked back at the static TV again. I don't know why you picked her but, she stared at the TV, I guess I'll leave everything to you now since you're the hero and I'm not, night girl. Click, poo. She clicked a button on the remote and the TV turned off. She gently put the remote on a nearby table and went to where the girl was. 21. Underscore. Ten years later somewhere. Clacking. Clack. Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> Click. You are ash. Clackic. Claytag. Claytag. PHS PHS SSSS. I repeat PHHHS we need help right now. PHS SSS. PHS. We won't last much longer if this keeps up. PHHS SSS PHHHS SSS please anyone answer this SOS call plastic. 
Beep 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 cling, buzz, buzz wash. I guess it's time for me to go now, 24 prologue, running track on the snow part 1, third person poff, somewhere in a snowy place, gatak, 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 hoonk, hoonk, a train is moving along the tracks in a thick forest, snow falls along the way as the train moved at high speeds towards its destination, inside one of the train cars, there are a lot of people packing up, cashing, gratak, Gratak. All of them are wearing gear from head to toe. Some wear heavy armor while some are wearing light armor. A guy moves into the middle of the place and then loudly shouted at everyone. Okay listen up everyone. All of them looked at the one in the middle. Our mission is to safely secure and rescue the hostages that are in place there. We mercenaries need to be cautious when we get there. We don't know what they will hit us with. We got 5 minutes left till we reach the point so everyone gets ready to move out. Nobody said a word from what the guy said and started packing up. He looked around the place and nodded and started packing up too. From the side, two guys are talking to each other. So he is going to boss us around again huh? Hey dude not so loud he might hear you. I know it's just he's been bossing everyone around from the start of the mission it's been 10 whole years when S city was destroyed now I bet he's looking for fame since the empire started to go active again after the 10 years of no war. Well, there's nothing we can do about that now we don't even know what they are up to and also he is a big backing you know. We can't mess with him at all, we just have to let him boss us around. Sigh, pirari riring. The light turned red as alarms started ringing inside the cart. Everyone quickly packed their things and moved towards the door. The train slowly came to a stop and the doors slowly opened. All right, guys, let's move out. Everyone then started moving out of the train. You are ash. The wind is strong as snow falls from the sky. The train stopped dead on the tracks and a couple of hundred meters away is a railway station. All right I'm taking command of this team so don't you dare mess it up. We will arrive at our destination in about 5 minutes from here let's move. Leader, there are about 20 people here. All of them slowly but surely move out from the train towards their destination. They arrive at a small campsite hidden behind the trees all around. A couple of miles away was the train station. They all gather there to form the strategy inside one of the tents. All right listen up people. Leader. Everyone looked at their leader that put out a map on a table. They are moving up a lot of prisoners on a train that is going to leave quickly out of the station. We got to move as fast as possible and capture the train before it leaves the station. They are quite heavily guarded there. Leader. Everyone nodded as he said that. All right first of all we start by taking down their main weapons first then we quickly capture the train and move it out of the station we don't have a lot of time because it seems that our scout said that they are starting to move the prisoners on the train right now. Leader. He looked at all of them before looking a the map again. This is a bold move but we're going to have to go loud on this one we don't have the time to focus on a plan because they are starting up their train. Leader. Someone then stretches a hand up. Yes? Leader. Um, sir, why don't we use the train to go there? Sir, one reason is that the train tracks that our train is on are not connected to that station so we can't maneuver our train over there. Leader. He looked around and saw nobody raising their hands so he nodded and closed the map. All right everyone let's move out. Leader. After that, they all move out and heads towards the station. Question mark poff. Following the leader, we arrived at our destination and we saw the station in front of us. I looked beside me. Hey is this plan really going to work? Yet yeah, will work I think even though I hate the leader we don't really have much of a choice here. All right, everyone. Ready yourself. Leader. We all took out our weapons. I have only had an assault rifle in my hand. Hey it seems to be getting fun here. I looked at a guy beside me. He is smiling. I narrowed my eyes as he said that. Now charge. Leader. We all started to charge to the station. I heard guns and magic firing. There is some droids guardian the station, shooting their guns at us. I aimed at them and pulled the trigger. Patatatatata, patatatatata, patches, patches, two droids fall to the ground. I take cover on a nearby wall while looking around. Move move move. Leader. Even though this is a bold move, our leader seems to be cooperative. boo I saw an AA weapon exploding in the distance seems like a team blew it up. Things are going really smoothly for some reason. After fighting our way all of us arrived at the train we moved in and saw a couple of prisoners here. 
mainly girls of different ages and races. I narrowed my eyes as some of the team started helping them. Hey it's okay everything is going to be fine. We need a medic here. I heard someone calling for a medic and saw some of the prisoners missing arms and legs. It's sickening. Tap. Tap. I was startled as someone tapped me on my shoulder. I looked behind me and saw a guy looking at me. Hey we need more help securing the train over there. I looked at where he is pointing and saw a team of four trying to open the door. I nodded and moved towards the team. Clackick. Clackick. God damn it this thing is hard to break. I looked at someone trying to hack open the door. Clililing. Pukki eye. The door light turned green. Everyone there aimed all their weapons at the slowly opening door. What we saw inside was gruesome. What the shit. What we saw was a girl strapped on a chair. Her eyes were covered with a cloth. Her feet were cut and blood was dripping down to the ground and ting. There was a droid with a transparent wing in its hand. Shoot. Shoot. Tatatatata. Patatatatata. Patches. Patches. The droid fell down to the ground and we quickly moved towards the girl. Medic. We need a medic here. A medic came and started treating the girl. The girl looks around 16 years old. I was mad at what they did. I look at the transparent wing on the ground. Is she a fairy? The room is dark with no light on it at all so I can't see much. Gratak. Suddenly the train started shaking. Oi, what's going on? We quickly moved back to where we came from while some stayed behind to treat the others. I saw a window and looked outside. What we saw was. You wow shit. Retreat. Retreat. Tatatatata. Tatatatatata. Boom. 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 A big mesh attacking the other teams. It's heavily armored and was moving towards the train. Gratak. The train started rumbling again. Then a radio call came in. PSSSS. We captured the train and we're going to start running it. Everyone quickly board the train. Everyone outside began to quickly run towards the train. Some didn't get lucky and were killed by the giant mesh. Pip. Pip. Gakak. Gakak. I heard the train started moving and I looked out the window. There are still some left that isn't aboard the train. Oi. There are still some people left out there. I shouted some while some of them also looked out the window. Someone grabbed the radio and started shouting. Hey, there are still people out there stop the train, but nothing came in. The radio was silent and the train wasn't stopping. I looked out the window at those who didn't board the train started getting left behind. Oi! I looked at the giant mesh and its chest open and started radiating something. And then, poo everyone on the ground got evaporated by a laser beam. Stub. I saw someone punching the wall of the cart, and some are gripping their hands very tightly. I'd be lying if I wasn't mad too. Tying. I could see and hear the giant mesh in the distance as it looked at us in the moving train while we quickly departed from the station with snow still falling down along the tracks. 24. Prologue. Running track on the snow part 2. Third person puff. Gatak. 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 Inside the moving train. Gratang. Someone was grabbing someone by their neck against the wall. On whose order did you obey to not stop the train? The person grabbing them was leaking bloodlust towards the guy pinned on the wall. I it was by. Glatak. Stand down. Leader. The leader of the team suddenly grabbed them and pushed them away from each other. Sai let's just go to the front of the train and see who did it. Leader. Oh? Does that mean you have nothing to do with this? Everyone in there looked at the person in charge. I'd be lying if I have nothing to do with this but this is not by my order, leader. He looked behind him and saw someone coming here. A guy with a grin on his face came in and looked at everyone in the room. Ha ha, seriously it's their fault for being slow you know? I had no idea that you all got emotions because of a few sacrifices, guy. Why you little? The leader grabbed his shoulder before he could run at the guy. End it Vas, leader. The group leader looked at the guy named Vas. The guy had a grin on his face and had two people behind him. I will report this to the guild after this, leader. Huh? Do you think you can do that? Even with your connections, you won't be able to do it you know? I'm an S rank mercenary and you are an A rank Bren ha 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 ha. Vas. Grip. Bren clenched his fists as he heard that. Well see you later losers. Vas. Vas then left the room while laughing. Bren looked down and slowly looked at everyone. What happened there is my fault as your leader I will take full responsibility for this now if you excuse me, Bren. Bren walked out of the room, leaving everyone to think about what had happened. Everyone was gloomy. Out of 20 of them who went on this mission, there are only 12 left including Bren, and Vas, and the other two with him that were not in the room.
excluding those four. All that is left are the eight people in the room. Four moved out of the room to inspect and take care of the prisoners in another section of the train while the others stayed in the room and rest. In the room, there are only four people left and everyone stayed quiet until cough. All of them looked at a guy that just coughed. I'm well. Why don't we try introducing ourselves first? I'm Michigan. By the way, how about you guys? Michigan? Question mark. Atto. Atto. Question mark. A guy said his name while the others stay quiet. Michigan looked at the quiet ones. I'm Rush. Rush. Then Michigan looked at the last guy. Question mark. Well? Michigan. Mary. Mary. All right. Now that that's wrapped up why don't we talk about something? Michigan. They all just looked at him. Or oh, come on there should at least be something you guys want to talk about. Michigan. Well if it's about that bastard I'm okay with it. Atto. Si I can bet he used his connection and money to persuade the guild into making him an S rank. Rush. I really want to punch him. But because of that rank, we can't even do anything to offend him. Atto. Michigan and Rush nodded from what Atto said. Ah. Oh yeah. Have you guys heard about a frontier mercenary coming here? Michigan. Yes, I heard everyone talking about it the one that was named the Black Wolf right? Rush. Yeah, I heard that Mercenary is a young girl and she just joined the Frontier Guild a couple of years ago and already an A rank in a couple of months after joining. Michigan. Oh really? Is she like him? Atto. No, I heard that they said what she did was legit. She's been clearing hard mission one after another after joining and never failed even once. Michigan. Seriously? Ray looked at Michigan and he nodded. She was already recommended by the Frontier Guild to come to help us here in the guild. Oh man I can't wait to see what she looks like. Michigan. Well we're on a mission right now so there's no way we will. Ray. Clark Uke. Suddenly the train started shaking. Whoa. What's going on? Rush. Beep. 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 Alarms started ringing all around the place everyone started grabbing their weapons. Glatak. Suddenly Bren rushed into the room while sweating. He looked at everyone there. Everyone we got an emergency on the rooftop move. Bren. We looked at each other and nodded. We follow Bren outside the car and climbed a ladder towards the roof of the train. It's snowing heavily out there. Tank. What we saw was a giant shark-like robot with long arms shapes like a fin and a long snake-like tail with a giant blade attached to it. The size is the same as the entire train car. How the hell did that get here? Rush. I don't know it suddenly landed on the train from the sky. The prisoners and the others are still evacuating to the front of the train we need to distract it. Bren. All of them nod and aim their weapons at it. Fire. Bren. Patatatatata. Patatatatata. Michigan, Ren, and Bren are using our while Rush and Atto use a giant sword. Rush and Atto run to the front while maintaining distance from the robot shark and providing cover to the others as they shoot at it. Tatatatatatata, tatatatatatata, ping, pang, plang, pang. All of the bullets bounce off its face. Shit, our bullets aren't doing anything. Ray, Ray looked at Bren. Bren was having a hard time thinking until leader reinforcements arrived. All of them looked back and saw some mercenaries moving towards them. A medic and two mages. Good timing. We need support over here. Bren. The medic was a girl and the mages are guys and they all started moving towards us. The mages started casting their spells at the robot. Fireball? Gale? A giant fireball and wind shoot towards the giant robot shark. Tang. Swing. Swing. Boom. Boom. The robot swings its tail at the ball of fire and wind and destroyed it. The robot then looked at us. Ting. It started shaking its body left and right. Whoa. Michigan. You are. Rush. Kiara. Hey hey hey. The train started shaking strongly. Step. R. Oh no. You don't. Atto. The medic was about to fall off the train and Atto quickly grabbed her and pulled her back. Sigh. Bren. Tying. Grumble. Grumble. If this keeps up the train will fall. Ray. God dang it. Michigan. Ren Michigan named their weapons at it and started firing again. Tatatatatatata. Tatatatatatata. Ping. Plang. Pang. Pong. But it didn't work. Damn. Ray. Grumble. Grumble. Ting. The robot suddenly rushes forward towards us at high speed. Exclamation mark atto. Not good. Michigan. As the robot was about to hit us something from the distance light up. Ting. Boom. Tank. 
A flash of light flew towards the giant robot hitting it directly in the face. The light penetrated its face until it came out to the other side and made a giant explosion as it hit the snowy ground. Grumble. Grumble. The robot is still alive with a giant hole on its head. It slowly turned towards where the light came from. Swing. But suddenly a bright long light sliced the face of the robot making a giant claw-shaped mark on its face. Tying. Glatak. We all heard something behind the robot. We all looked there and saw a figure. The snow is covering our vision as the train kept moving along the tracks. Yosh. But suddenly the wind stopped. And as the sun started to rise in the distance, sunlight began revealing the figure that we saw. Piyuuuu. What we saw was a girl with black hair with wolf ears and tail slowly turning around towards us. Sigh well at least I made it in time. Her red and blue eyes reflected the sunlight from the rising sun behind us as she looked at us with a smile on her face. Now time to start the battle right? Buzz. Buzz. 24. Chapter 53 Liana's Status and Shark Head? Liana Poff. Arriving at the train just in time I looked at the weird shark-like robot. I appraised it because of curiosity. Ding. Shark Head Jet LVL 252 HP, 1,459,000-2,500,000 MP, 0, 0. Well, it's pretty sturdy I tell ya. I opened my status on the hub in my left eye. Beep. Name. Liana Gender. Female. Chaos Wolf. Age. 16. Qu Job Class. Magic Gunner, AOAC 250%, Greater Than, Evolution Lock, LVL, 356, Next LVL 90%, Re, 28, X Status Point, 24,500 remaining, HP, 356,356,000,000 MP, 17,800,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
The max of the L in this world is so big. Like it's of the L 9999 and that's not all there's also some condition to do a rebirth. I've been grinding like hell seriously but first. Looking at my skill all of them are almost around master class. Eli said that the category is like this, low, 1 to 100, greater than intimate, 1 to 500, greater than master, 1 to 5000, greater than elite, 1 to 6000, greater than master elite, 1 to 7000, greater than ace, 1 to 8000, greater than x, 1 to 9000, greater than y, 1 to 9500, greater than z, 1 to 9999. Yep. Pretty hardcore compared that you have to start at LVL1 again every time I have to upgrade it. I don't even know what the X, Y, and Z stand for. Eli did say something about it. It's the same with my skill class but the difference is that it's percentages instead of levels and the max is around 30 and getting that percent to even 10% takes forever. For special mastery. I think the max is around 100% so that's good. For passive skill and hidden skills, they stayed the same over the last 10 years. First I got acrobatics for doing dangerous stunts for the past 10 years. And I won't say it's a good experience. My perfect evasion now can activate for 10s instead of 5s so that's good at least. For titles. I got one like the Black Wolf I got that from my achievement somewhere by accident and the one who rebirth was a title I got from rebirthing now I'm going to talk about the condition of rebirth it's not only just getting to LVL 9999 every every skill has to be max as well god dang it there is also status battle control skill that I have in my hidden skill I'll tell you all about that later because that skill is pretty complicated to say I think. Looking at the condition of my rebirth and managing to rebirth around 28 times sob this is really really hardcore Eli. I don't even have time to sleep peacefully because of your hardcore training but because of that, I became so strong that I can blow up a mountain with ease Eli was a Spartan when training me I always wondered how my cute lit coffee Eli become a Spartan commander when training I can still remember her shouting at me every day when I made a mistake shivers I don't want to talk about that now welp onto the story Tank, the giant shark like mesh was looking at me, he he let's do this. Liana, wash, I grabbed the weapon attached on my back and aimed it at the robot, Ting, paling, paling. Paling, paling. The robot raised its head up towards the sky then light formed on its head. Sigh whelp. Liana, clackick. I grabbed the gun that I had on my back and aimed it at the robot as it was about to shoot its weapon. Let's see what you got. Liana, and I pulled the trigger. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, 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 boom. Tying, paling. Patches, patches. The bullets I shoot hit the robot's head knocking it to the side as it fired a barrage of lasers, boom, boom, boom. Good thing it didn't hit the train but tank, Psy whelp same old strategy I guess, Liana. I crouched down and aimed my weapon to the front, dash, Liana, boom, I propelled myself to the front while leaving a shock wave of wind behind me as I got closer to the robot, tank, plin bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. Boom. Tying. There's no way I'm going to let you fire that laser. At this train, Liana, as I continue to get close to its feet, I raise my right arm up to the sky while aiming at its head. I have a gauntlet on both of my hands for protection. I made it myself. The gauntlet didn't really have that much armor but there is another use for it. There is a weapon attached to the wrist of the gauntlet. Light started to form on the wrist of the gauntlet on my right hand as I aimed it at the robot's head. Paling. Patches pang. A light shot out from my gauntlet leaving a long string of light behind as it hit the robot's head I then grabbed the string with my hand and pulled it strongly. Streech. Pying. Pak hu an. And I quickly jumped up as the string pulled me towards the robot's head. Yeah I'm using a grappling hook. Step. As my feet landed on its head. Clang. I put the end of my gun against its head and pulled the trigger. Bang. 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 Patches. Patches. Wash patches. As I shot five bullets at the spot I jumped up high in the sky, jet, liana, poo, and propelled myself towards where the other mercenaries are and landed in front of them, patches, patches, boom, 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 tank, grumble, grumble, 
The head of the robot shark exploded behind me and the robot falls down from the train into the snowy ground as I slowly looked back at it and then I turned my head towards the mercenaries in front of me. So anyone wanna fill me in on what's going on? Liana 26 Not a chapter 21 Chapter 54 Problems on the train Liana Poff So anyone wanna fill me in on what's going on? Liana I smiled at all the mercenaries in front of me as I said that all of them kept their distance from me. Well, I can't blame them. I came out of nowhere and destroyed the robot they were having a hard time destroying. W who are you? One of the mercenaries yelled at me, as all of them raised their weapons at me. Me? I was sent here from the frontier to help you guys. Liana. Wait from the frontier? One of them looked at me. Seems like he is the leader. He lowered his weapon and looked at me. Wait a second. Another guy beside him said that as he closely looked at me. Black hair with wolf ears. Wait is she? The black wolf. Claytag. We're almost lost my balance there. I'm still not used to be called with that. Cough well anyway care to fill me in with the problem here? Liana. You are um, yes ma'am. I am Bren, the leader of the squad here. Thank you for helping us. We were just on our way to safely escort the people that we saved to our destination, Bren. I nodded as he said that. Okay seems good so far I guess. P-S-H-H-H. P-S-H-H-H. Oh? Um let me take this call for a second, Bren. I nod as he takes out a radio and started talking. I waited as he still having a talk on a radio. Puss. <laughs> Liana. My ears flick as I heard something somewhere. I slowly looked up. The other mercenaries that looked at me also started looking at where I was looking. What do you mean they are um, something wrong? Bren. Wash wash. I saw something up in the sky. There were two dots in the sky moving at high speed towards us and the dots kept getting bigger and bigger until. Sigh seems like we're not done yet. Liana. Boang. Boang. Something fell towards the train from the sky. The two smash into separate train wagons, each one a couple of feet from me and the mercenaries. Boxing us in with nowhere to escape. Tying. Tying. What we saw was two more of those shark heads. What? No way. The mercenaries started panicking as they all don't know what to do. Seems likely that this might get hectic. Clacking. Suddenly we all heard something detached somewhere. Gatak. 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 I looked at what happened and saw a couple of wagons behind the mercenaries had been detached from the main train. Gatak. 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 Liana. I can see someone at the end of the wagon waving at us as the main part of the train kept going further and further. Did they seriously just detach the train and leave us for dead? All the mercenaries here went pale as they looked at the main train leaving them behind. That son of a bitch, Bren. Crush. I can see Bren crushing the radio in his hand. Welp. I guess it's time for plan B or C. Flick. I flick my right hand and put it at my right ear. Um Meli, you hear me? Liana. P.S.S.H. Yes what is it Leah? Elizabeth. I am wearing gloves on both of my hands as when I flick my hand it kinda worked as a communication device. Designed by me by the way. Eli isn't really here right and was somewhere else. I will tell you that detail later when she got here. I need a pickup right now mind helping me? Liana. P.S.S.H. Oh sure. I'll be there in a minute. Elizabeth. Click. I lower my right hand as Eli closes the call. I looked at the mercenaries in front of me and all of them are still panicking. I looked at where the robot it as they are slowly moving its way towards us. Sigh. Clap. 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 Everyone looked at me as I clapped my hands. My friend will pick us up in a minute so please stay calm. We got to deal with the two of them first. Before she arrives. Liana. What do you mean? Just trust me okay? Liana. One of the mercenaries was about to say something at me but was stopped by Bren. He looked at me and nod. Okay I trust you, we will take the one behind us while you deal with the one behind you since I know that you are stronger than all of us, Bren. I smile and nod. Seems like he's good at this. I turned towards the robot behind me, and narrowed my eyes at it. Guess I got to finish this quickly. Liana. Clackick. Playtang. Pang. I pressed a button on my gun that I still have in my hand. There is a long barrel attached to the bottom of my gun, and as I pressed the button the barrel at the bottom, with the help of a gear, move up and attached itself into the main barrel of the gun. Well, 
It's hard to explain. Just think of it as the heavy BG from Mons hash hashtag ah hun hash hashtag ah I design it that way just for fun. I named it the RMG M1 it stands for Rifle Machine Gun Mark 1. There are two barrels in the gun a top and a bottom barrel. The top one is even bigger than the bottom one. That is also why there are two trigger mechanisms on my gun if you can see it. It works the same as a rifle the difference is. Clackic. It has two different types of shots that I can shoot at the same time if I pulled both of the triggers. I'll just say front and back trigger. I put my left hand on the front trigger and my right hand on the back trigger. And I pulled both of the triggers at the same time as I aimed at the robot shark in front of me. The two barrels of the gun light up and bang. Ta 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 ta. 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 Bang. First off the ammunition of the gun is not regular bullets but pure magic so it pretty much shoots out raw magic, the top barrel shoots compressed magic so it deals more damage, while the bottom one shoots multiple magic shots without stopping. Just say it like the top one is semi while the bottom one is auto, that's easier to explain. Boom. 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 Patatatata. Tying. As I sprayed the robot with magic bullets I looked behind me to see if the mercenaries are doing fine. Tatatata tatata. Click. Click. I'm out of ammo. Here catch. Bren. I can see Bren throwing a magazine at one of the mercenaries. Catch. Thanks. Fireball. Wash. Boom. Tying. Nice shot. Clang. Pang. Damn this thing is sturdy. Don't give up just keep swinging. I can see the mages and gunners shooting at the robot's head as the two swordsmen are attacking its bottom part, their tactic is quite great as they didn't give any chance for the robot to attack, here's some mana potion, thanks, anyone need any assistance, I can see the medic of the team taking out a couple of potions from her first aid kit, it seems like she is the only girl on the team, she's working hard, they have good teamwork, tying. As I was looked at the mercenaries fight their robot, the robot that I was fighting with started moving towards me. Sigh. Liana. I looked back at the robot that got bombarded with my bullets. Its head was full of holes and electricity started leaking out. I smiled at it. Tying. The robot then started rushing towards me at high speed. Well let's see if you can make me fall. Liana. I crouched down while putting my left foot at the front and my right foot behind me. Push. Push. I have a small shield attached to my left knee as protection but it is some other uses too. The shield started lighting up and making a thin glass like layer in the front. It's like a lens shape energy shield. Hard to explain. I put my hands on the back of both my shoes and press a small button. My shoe bottom part then started glowing blue. Placking. Placking. First things first. I'm wearing custom shoes that I had made for fun while testing my creation magic. It is a mechanic that can pretty much stick my feet to any surface. Pretty much like a magnet. It works so I won't fall off that easily. As the robot quickly moved towards me, I braced myself for the coming impact and readied myself so that the robot would hit the shield on my left knee. Joking. I aimed my left arm at the robot. Paling. Patches pang. Plang. I should say that I have grappling hooks on both of my hands. I shoot the grappling hook at it and it hit and the grappling hook started pulling me in but because I was stuck in place it didn't pull me in like last time. The robot stopped its rush as it was trying to get my grappling hook off of its head. Plang. 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 As the string of my grappling hook started reeling in the force started getting stronger and stronger as the string started getting shorter and shorter. Crack. Crack. I can see the ground below my shoes started to crack while the robot was trying its best to get the grappling hook off. I smile. Release. Liana. Click. And as I said that, my shoes stop sticking and, poo, I was propelled towards the robot like a bullet. Yep. I catapult myself towards the robot. I raised my left leg that had the shield in front and in an instant, the shield splendidly hit dead center in the middle of the robot's head crash the shield bashed through making a giant crater in the robot's head as the robot was then sent flying off from the train and hit a hill on the distance before exploding step patches i landed softly on the train and i looked at where the robot exploded the shield on my knee opened a little gap and started shooting out smoke before closing it again rest in peace you shark head liana my shield was not a regular shield but a ramming shield that can even deflect an artillery shell with ease. Well, that's what I think though. 
Now time to deal with the other one. 24. Chapter 55 The Calvary is here. Liana Poff. Click. Tink. Looking at the other robot shark it seems that it was quite heavily damaged. Seems like the mercenaries started to learn how to deal with it. I decided to help and aimed my gun at the robot the mercenaries were fighting. Sadly we don't really have a lot of time now. Welp time to wrap this. Liana. Tink. Wash. You are. You got. The robot shark suddenly jumped up high and then started flying. Leaving a blast off wind behind knocking the two close range mercenaries off. Good thing they didn't fall overboard. Wash. The robot started circling the place. Then I saw its bottom head lighting up. Oh lord. Tying. It's circling back towards us. I looked at the mercenaries. Move. Liana. Bren looked at me and nodded. I looked below me noticing that the train carriage has completely stopped on the tracks. Everyone get out of the train. Bren. Without a second thought, everyone started jumping off from the rooftop. I looked at the robot shark flying towards me with top speed. Sigh. Liana. Click. I grabbed something that was attached to my shorts. It's a metal stick. And I readied myself as. Tink P-U-R-S. A laser shoots out from its head. I raised the metal stick to the front and click. Pious. Wong. Pling. The end of the metal started lighting up and then a long straight bright line formed. Yeah, what I took out is a lightsaber. The lightsaber hit the incoming laser cutting it into two as it hit my lightsaber. Pling. Boo. I can hear explosions behind me as I continued cutting the laser with my lightsaber. Tying. I can see the robot getting closer to me. Bad. It's trying to ram me. I smiled. Step. I take a step back as the robot kept moving closer and closer to me. I was at the end of the rooftop so pretty much I just need to. Step. Jump down. Wash. Step. I landed on the snowy ground as the robot flew right past me. The robot leaves behind a wave of wind on top of the carriage roof. Cree e e eek. I quickly moved away from the carriage as it was about to fall on top of me. Bang. The carriage falls right in front of me and snow flew everywhere making a cloud all around me. Woo! I sliced the cloud with my lightsaber and looked at where the robot was. The robot was still flying in the sky circling us. Hey, is everybody alright? Bren. It seems like Bren is rallying everyone and checking if they're all fine, better move there. <laughs> Bren. Bren looked at me and smiled. You seem to be fine, Bren. I nodded at him and looked at where the robot hit. Damn. What do we do now? I looked at one of the mercenaries talking. Rush stay calm. Like hell. I can. We're stuck here and we don't have any means to even get back. Rush. Now now don't say that. We have her on our side at least. The two of them then looked at me and stood still as they saw me looking at them. They quickly turned their heads away. Well, that's funny. But. Flick. I flick my hand and put them beside my right ear. Eli are you here yet? Liana. P.S.S.S.R. Yes almost there just need to shake them off. P.S.S.S. Yep don't worry I'm coming there right now. Elizabeth. Then she closed the call. I slowly lowered my hand and narrowed my eyes. I hope he lies okay. Hey look. One of the mercenaries said that while pointing up. We all looked up and saw the robot coming right at me. I then started hearing a different noise somewhere else. I looked there for a moment and looked at the robot again. Scatter. Bren. The mercenaries started to scatter but I didn't. I'm just staring at the incoming robot. What are you doing? Quickly move. Bren. I raised my hand saying an I'm okay sign as I looked at the robot. Puss. I can hear it coming closer and closer. Ting. The robot seems to not notice it coming. Bad move Paul. Pure us. Boom. Suddenly a missile hit the robot from the left side. Tying. The robot started to fall down but then. P U U R S. Wash. Another missile came in and hit the robot again. The robot then exploded in the air, and something big went past it. Click. P S S S. The Calvary is here. Elizabeth. Yep, it's Elizabeth. She was piloting a giant black plane. The shape of the plane was like the word W, and it is some features from some series. Wash. She quickly circles the plane around. Tying. Tying. I heard something on the distance and looked there to see more robot sharks moving in. Eli moves in to intercept. Patches. Patches. B R R R R R R R R R R R R R R. There are around six ballistic missiles attached on the wings and more on the inside of the plane and also a Vulcan attached on the front nose of the plane. Boom. Boom. But a bit a bit a butter. The two robots were hit by the missiles and bullets as the plane easily flew past them. 
The plane was agile for its size the size which was even bigger than the robot around the size of a stealth bomber. T.I. Bang. 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 There's also an auto cannon attached to the middle top of the plane that can rotate 360 degrees. A brilliant plane if I must say. It splendidly destroyed the two robot shark heads. Eli turned around the plane by doing roll midair. Is she flexing? She slowly hovered the plane above my position and slowly lowered it down right in front of me. The plane uses VT to land. It's pretty convenient for easy landing. Sigh quite an entrance there Eli. Liana. He 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 I did my best. Elizabeth. As the plane touched the ground Eli quickly appeared on my HUD again. Paku. I can see the AFT cargo door open on the back of the plane and welcome me in. I looked behind me to see all the mercenaries staring at me and the plane with big eyes and mouths opened. I giggled. Hey let's go now. Liana. I quickly moved inside the plane the inside is like a small yet long room. There are long bench seats attached to the left and right sides of the wall in the middle end of the room. There's a small ladder line to the middle of the room that leads to the turret in the middle of the room was. Well, we will talk about that later but for now. It was another small vehicle shape like a motor with no wheels. I looked at the front and saw a door leading to the cockpit. I quickly moved towards the cockpit door but I looked back for a moment to confirm that every mercenary was on the plane. My plane can carry 12 people for its size and weight. As the last mercenaries boarded my plane, I pressed a button on the wall to close the AFT cargo door and went into the cockpit. 25. Chapter 56 Aerial Battle Liana Poff Wahashk Inside the plane Click Click I was checking the controls inside the cockpit Seems like everything is working correctly I'm um, Leah Elizabeth Yes? Liana Eli seems to want to say something to me There seems to be more of them on the radar Elizabeth I looked at the radar and saw three dots moving here Welp guess it's time for battle Liana I pressed a blue button and started speaking. Um, this is Leah talking. We got some incoming enemies heading here. Please put on your seat belts because things are going to get rough. Liana. I then pressed a square purple button. A screen then popped up on a panel. Plane gravity control activate. This plane has a gravity controls built in. It's pretty much a device that helps prevent shaking inside the plane so it is pretty much just like what is used on spaceships to control the gravity inside. Now that that is taken care of, Liana, flick, I flicked one of the switches on top of the cockpit and a screen popped up, the screen showed the view behind my plane, there I saw, ting, 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 yep three shark heads huh, click, I grabbed both joysticks attached to the wall on my left and right side, yep this plane uses two joysticks to move. Just like how you pilot a mesh I think. I grab the goggles I have on top of my head and lower them. Pip pip pip. My goggles started lighting up. And it showed me a couple of screens. Eli turn autopilot off please. Liana. Okay. Elizabeth. Paling. I can see a screen on one of the panels in front of me. Autopilot off. I smile and. Let's do this. Liana. Then started moving the plane to the left. The robot followed me. Eli now. Liana, Roger, Elizabeth, bang, 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 the top turret of my plane started firing at them, boom, 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 the bullets hit one of the robots, engulfing it in flames as it started falling down, as it was about to touch the ground, boom, it exploded, one down, I pulled my right joystick up and my left joystick down causing the plane to do a sharp turn to the left quickly facing my plane towards the two robots that were tailing behind me. The goggles I was wearing then started forming a crosshair in front of my left eye and I could see the crosshair quit turning red as it locked onto one of the robots. I then pressed a button on the end of the joystick on my right hand. Ha ha robot go. Liana. B r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r and the Vulcan on the front of my plane fired hitting one of the robots and pretty much destroying its wings into little bits. Boom! The robot began to fall down to the ground as my plane quickly went past it. The last robot started turning at me just to meet with my plane curving back sharply and click. I click a button on the control rod. Patches, patches, patches. Three missiles flew from my plane towards the robot. Boom! 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 Destroying it in the process. 
As my plane hovered in the air while the robots fell towards the ground in flames I looked at Eli. Eli is that all of them? Liana. Eli nodded. Yes that's the last of them that were targeting us I think the rest of them are targeting the train Elizabeth. Well, that's not good Eli send me the coordinates of the train. Liana. Okay Elizabeth. I then saw the coordinates show up on my goggles screen and I started turning the plane around to flight towards where the coordinates were. Third person poff. Inside one of the carriages attached to the train that was still running on the tracks. Smack. You got drub. Sigh if only you were with them I would have completed this mission easily. Vas. Vas was kicking a mercenary on the floor. The mercenary that he was kicking was one of the mercenaries that were taking care of the girls inside the train. The girls can only watch and cry silently as Vas beat up the mercenary on the floor. Patches. A door open behind Vas. Boss we got company. It's one of Vas underlings. Ha, huh? what now? Can't you see I'm busy? Vas kick uck. Vas kicked the mercenary one last time before moving out of the room with his fellow underling. As the door closed one of the girls moved towards the mercenary on the floor. Hey, are you okay? You gim okay? The mercenary slowly got up and looked at the girls. As long as they do not do anything to you, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. The mercenary was wearing a gas mask so the girl didn't see the mercenary's face but she knows it was a guy because of his low voice. The mercenary slowly sat on one of the chairs in the carriage and began to sleep. All of the girls slowly looked at each other and could only hope that nothing bad happens except for one girl. The fairy girl wasn't paying attention, only looking at the window with lifeless eyes as she slowly looked at the reflection of her body. Grumble. Kira, what was that? The silence was broken as many shark heads flew by outside the train, mainly above it. 24. Chapter 57 Shark Head Hunting While Riding on the Snow Liana Poff Bash Soaring through the sky in my plane I saw something in the distance. Liana, that's the train. Elizabeth, I can see it. Liana, looking at the train running through the tracks I saw a lot of shark heads flying above and landing on the roof of the train. Liana, Leah. Elizabeth. Eli take care of the plane please. Liana. I moved out from the cockpit as I said that. A. Eh? Elizabeth. Elizabeth just looked at me but then she nodded and disappeared from the screen. I moved towards the cargo bay where the mercenaries were. Patches. As I opened the door I can see all of them looking at me. I ignore them and move towards the motorcycle that was in the middle of the cargo bay. Click. Paling. I sat on the motorcycle and activated it. Wash whoosh. I can see the bottom of the motor glowing. There are four safety gears attached to the bottom of the motorcycle to keep it in place. The motorcycle was painted white with a little black on some parts of it. Okay Eli start opening it. Liana, um what are you doing? Bren. Bren looked at me with a questionable face. I just smile at him. I'm catching a train while hunting sharks. Liana. Pirariririrring. Alarmed rang in the room for a second and then. Patches you you are ash. The cargo door behind me opened letting the wind flow inside the cargo bay. All the mercenaries closed their eyes because of the wind. As the wind subdued after a couple of seconds I looked around if everything is alright. Well, everything is a-okay of course. PSSS um Leah are you really sure you want to drop now? PSSS want me to lower the plane a bit? Elizabeth. Flick. I flicked my hand and put it beside my ear. Now the sooner the better I at least have to destroy some of the robots before you move close to the train Eli. Liana PSSS well, I guess you're right but I at least can provide cover for you from above if something goes wrong now good luck Leah. Elizabeth. Yep, I'm moving out now Eli. Liana, I lowered my hand and grabbed the handlebar of the motorcycle with both of my hands. The handlebar is shaped like a, underscore, for better gripping it can also turn into a. Dash if I wanted. Oh also. Click. I better adjust my goggles position on my head for a second. Safety is number one priority after all. Eli now. Liana. PSSS hover bike launching. Detaching safety now. Elizabeth. Picking, 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 picking. Yep I'm riding a hover bike. As the safety gear holding the bike in place was detached the hover bike quickly slide backwards towards the exit and Claytang. Now I am falling while riding on my bike. Now let's go. Liana. I stepped on a pedal on my right foot and the bottom part of the bike light up as the boosters underneath the bike started firing. My hover bike is quite special. It's a combination of a half motorcycle and a half car. 
There are pedals below my legs controlling the thrust of the hover bike. Under my right leg is the accelerator while under my left leg is the brake. Bahash. The bike started propelling itself as it quickly fell towards the ground in order to lower the impact force. I quickly control where the bike is heading and then I looked at where the plane is. I was pretty much dropped at around a hundred feet in the sky. 908,070. Liana. I looked at the screen in my goggles which was counting down on how many feet were left before impact. 3,020 and. Liana. Boom. I landed hard on the snowy ground resulting with the snow flying everywhere all around me. I stepped on the pedal of the bike and. Welp time to catch a train. Liana, you wish. The bike boosters light up and the eye quickly dashed forward towards where the train was. I can see shark heads above me. Liana, my bike has two long weapon crates attached on the back left and right side of my bike. I opened up the crate on my left and grabbed the thing inside. Clackick. I put it on my shoulder, aimed it at the robot above me and pulled the trigger. Oh, don't forget to shout. Fire. Liana, boom. Patches. What was inside the crates were RPGs. I fired the rocket at one of the robots above me and, boom, ting, crash, boom, the rocket hit the robot's right wing and it then turned to the right hitting another robot beside it and then the two of them crashed down on the ground behind me. Well, two down next. Liana, I said that while reloading the rebounds per game with another rockets from inside the crate that I opened, there's still a lot of them flying in the sky. I stepped on the pedal to speed up my bike as I aimed at another robot that was flying towards me while I was holding an rebounds per game in my right hand and my left hand gripping the handlebar. Boom. Patches. Boom. The rocket flew towards the robot and exploded on its side. The robot then crashed into the ground near me. It rolled a couple of times before exploding. Welp the rocket I made was special anyway. It is a combination of an AP rocket and an EMP warrant that would always leave behind a blue particle effect on impact. Wash. PSSS Lee you okay down there? Elizabeth. I put the rebounds per game back in the crate and I answered Eli's call. Yep I'm good. Liana, PSSS okay but I can see more robots coming your way Leah I don't think you can destroy them alone so I'll provide cover for you. Elizabeth. Wait, Eli? Liana, before I was about to ask something Eli closed the call. Sigh. Welp, I do appreciate the support. I looked in front while riding on the snow with my hover bike. Ting. Tying. I could see two shark heads moving towards me in the distance. Click. I pressed a button on my hover bike. Clackick. Pang. Two long-barreled guns came out from the front of the hover bike. Then guns attached to the front of my hover bike as anti-armored rifles also known as R. Just like what it was pronounced it's a gun specializes against armor. Sadly, I have to turn my bike left and right since the gun is mounted and can't pivot. Good thing this is a hover bike. Bush. Bush. I quickly pulled the handlebar up while stepping on the accelerator. Let's go. Liana. Buua Ash. The front boosters light up and propelled the front of the bike up while the bottom part of the bike hit the snow resulting in the making of a snow smoke trail behind me. The gun at the front of the bike was now facing one of the robots in the sky. I can see a crosshair showing in my goggles. The trigger is mounted on the handlebar right next to my left and right hand. I moved my hand there and click pulled both of the triggers. Boom. Boom. The bullet hit the robot and went straight through it causing the robot to explode in the sky. I turned my bike and aimed at the other one. Ting. Woong. R. Crap. Liana. The robot was about to fire its laser butt. B R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R. A rain of bullets came from the sky and it hit the robot. The robot exploded and then fell to the ground. I looked up and saw the plane circling on the sky above me. Sigh. I think I might get a lecture again by Eli after this since I failed to notice that. I can't help it I'm too excited. I then drove my hover bike towards the train while looking out for more shark heads. 23. Liana's vehicle drawing. This is not a chapter only the drawing on what Liana's vehicle looks like. Here is her hover bike. Prototype 1. And here is her plane. Or jet. Nightgale. Mark 1. Well I did my best. There's also some weapon that I haven't mentioned on the jet in the drawing so. Well I will mention it later chapter. I'll also going to change the novel name and other things to. 23. Chapter 58 Alpha Shark Head and Finisher. Liana Poff. Wash. 
Riding through the snow on my hover bike I saw the train in the distance. A lot of the shark heads landed on the rooftop of the train. All of them turned their heads towards me. A yaya, liana, ting, tying, tying. I can see an abnormal one mixed in with the normal ones. It's a really armored shark head. Equipped with a chain gun attached to its head and missiles embedded in its wings. Seems like that is their leader. Alpha shark head jet. LVL, 504 talked about high-level differences. Well, it's not like LVL differences affect anything in this world. Eli told me a couple of times that levels don't matter in this world. What matters is you having more experience and higher stats than the others. Pling. Wash. Boom. I turned my hover bike to the left as a laser beam nearly hit me. Seems like they started attacking. Ting. Patches. 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 The alpha shark head started firing its missiles at me. I started turning left and right as lasers and missiles flew towards me. Boom. 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 They all exploded in the snow below, creating a large amount of snow clouds everywhere. I used that as an advantage to move forward while they blindly fired their weapons everywhere. I saw the normal shark heads start flying from the train. PSSS Leah. I'm going to start firing the Hellfire missiles please watch out. Elizabeth. I then heard something shooting out from the sky. I looked up and saw a lot of missiles firing from the sky. Eli you idiot. Liana. Buua Ash. I stepped on the accelerator and started moving left and right. Boom. 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 I can see a lot of the missiles flying all around me but mainly they are flying into the shark heads that were flying towards me. Pummeled by the raining missiles, all of the shark heads started falling towards the ground one by one. Seriously. Flick. I flicked my hand and put it beside my ear. Eli please don't bombard me when I am driving. Liana. PSSH ha 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 did my best to shoot at the robots instead of you Leah so don't complain Elizabeth. I can only sight it. Well, can't argue with that. I did not get hit by any of them. I won't ask any more questions since we're in the middle of a mission. Just don't do anything like that anymore. Liana. Eli didn't answer so I can only shake my head. I drove my hover bike towards the train again. Ting. I saw the alpha shark head still on the roof of the train. Ting. Ratatatatatata. It started shooting its chain gun at me. Wash. Wash. While turning my hover bike left and right to evade the bullets. Some of them hit the front of my bike but the bullet bounces off. Good thing my bike armor is made out of adamite. Wash. I move closer towards the train while still evading bullets and missiles. Ting. Ratatatatatata. TCH. Liana. The alpha shark head seemed to be focusing its attack as I got closer. Seems I have to do this the hard way huh. Click. I pressed a button on my hover bike and a screen popped up in the windshield of my hover bike. Autopilot on. I slowly got up from the seat and looked in front of me. I take a deep breath. Jet. Liana. The bottom of my shoes lights up and. Poo. I jumped from my hover bike and flew high up in the sky. Ting. Ratatatatatata. Patches. 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 The alpha shark head looked up while still shooting its bullets and missiles at me. I stretched my right hand to the side. Buzz. Buzz. After electricity formed on my hand, I swung my right hand while saying. Lightning wave. Liana. Buuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
A large shock wave hit everything all around the place followed by a very very bright lance made of light that was around 5 meters long, shooting out from my right hand. The light pierced the robot's head. The robot's head that made contact with the light melted quickly, resulting in a lot of molten metal flying in every direction. Pung. 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 The energy released was so strong that it started pulsing and shaping my right hand from the accumulated force of the energy. As the lance shape light started getting weaker and weaker I could feel my right hand begin to slowly stop shaking little by little. As the light quickly died out, the wind came back and I could feel the place starting to light up again. I looked at the Alpha robot. Well, what was left of it? All that I saw was a large hole the size of a wrecking ball with molten metal flowing all around the hole. The remains of the robot then slowly fell off the side of the train towards the ground, it rolled a couple of times before exploding in the distance behind me, buzz, 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 boom. The device on my right hand exploded, maybe because it overheated, ouch, Liana, and the result of the little explosion is hurting my right hand, I then sighed as I looked at my now bleeding right hand. I really need to improve my pile bunker I don't want it exploding in my hand every time I use it, Liana. What I used is of course the almighty pile bunker, it's different for the regular one, this one uses energy to create the drill, or you can say the bright long light, the first step was forming a long and blue colored crystal on the back of my hand as a medium which would then shoot out all the energy from the crystal into one point, I used my mana for this and it is my strongest move for now, nothing. Literally almost nothing can even block my pile bunker. Even the strongest metal adamite is paper when it comes to my pile bunker. Well better get going, Liana. I then moved from carriage to carriage as I then saw Eli with the jet slowly descending from the sky towards the train. 23, Chapter 59 Train Control Part 1 Third person poff Inside one of the train carriages where the girls are. Boom. 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 You um? One of the girls looked outside the window looking at where the sound of the explosion is. Sadly the window is quite blurry so she can't see the outside. Sigh don't worry it's going to be alright. Another girl that was hugging another girl while sitting on one of the chairs in the carriage said to her, Yeah, I know but. All the girls there are arguing one by one, the lone mercenary there was still sleeping. The fairy girl just stayed silent while looking at all the girls talking to each other. Then suddenly the door opened, Patches. All of the girls looked and saw Vas coming in with one of his henchmen following behind him. Vas seems to have a very angry face while looking at everyone there. Why is this happening? It should have been perfect, Vas. Vas looked at his henchman and the henchman nodded. Don't let anyone have a chance to escape, Vas. Yes, sir. Henchman. Vas then moves to the girls. Specifically the fairy. You, Vas. The fairy girl looked at him. You're coming with me, Vas. Vas then tightly grabbed her in his hand. Ark. Fairy. Girl. Hey, the fairy girl seemed to be in pain from her little body being suddenly grabbed by Vas's hand. One of the girls was about to rush there but it was stopped by the henchman who was pointing his gun at her. Ha 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 ha. Now stay put and don't do anything stupid or you're dead. Vas. Vas then gets out of the carriage while gripping the fairy girl in his hand. All of the girls there wanted to help her but they couldn't do anything since Vas's henchmen are pointing his gun at them. Grumble. Grumble. Suddenly the train started to shake for a couple of seconds before stopping. All the girls looked to where the window is. They all saw the view from the window shining brightly. What is happening out there? Liana Poff. Bu you you are ash. I looked at my jet that was slowly flying down while keeping its speed with the train. Glatak, I can see the cargo bay on the back of my jet opening. I see all the mercenaries there looking at me. Bash. Eli slowly piloted the jet down little by little while maintaining its the speed with the train. As soon as it was a couple of meters from touching the roof of the carriage, the mercenaries then began to jump from my jet and land on the roof one by one. After the last mercenary jumped from my jet. The cargo bay closed and Eli slowly piloted the jet to a higher altitude above the train. PSSS Leon. This is Eli. I'm going to do a quick scan of the place now. If anything happens to you call me. Elizabeth. Eli then turned the jet around and quickly flew off in the distance. Flick. I flicked my hand and put it beside my ear. Okay I'll call you if I need your help Eli. Liana. I heard her giggle before cutting the call. I sighed for a moment before looking at the mercenaries. So what now? Liana, 
I looked at Bren, for now we recapture the train from Vass he only has two henchmen if I remember, Bren, we all nodded and started moving down the roof towards the carriage below, Elizabeth Poff, <laughs> Elizabeth, looking at Leah and the others going down from the roof of the carriage I started running scans all around the area, oh, I haven't told you guys yet but I manifested my body and was now sitting on the cockpit chair looking at the view from the window of the cockpit. Sigh, Elizabeth, I've already turned autopilot on so I'm pretty much chilling in the cockpit looking at the train in the distance still following the tracks. Pip, pip, pip. Suddenly the sonar started blinking. Welp guess it's time to shine, Elizabeth. Turning off autopilot, I grabbed the two joystick and turned the jet around. <laughs> Elizabeth. I saw something in the distance and it's a big one. Sai Welp Tactical Maneuver Mode. Elizabeth. Liana Poff. Clathang. Playtang. Pang. Clang. Step. Clackick. Falling down on an empty train carriage. I looked around to see if there's any movement before I waved my hand and all the mercenaries jumped down to the carriage floor one by one. After all the mercenaries are here we all then slowly move towards the front of the train from carriage to carriage. Step step step. We slowly make our way while being as quiet I was at the front with Bren while the others follow us from the back. Bren raised his hand and we all stop. We can hear sounds in front of us. I looked at Bren and he looked at me. We both nodded and slowly moved to the door. As I got closer, the sound that I heard kept getting louder and louder. Now don't you dare move or I'll shoot. I narrowed my eyes as I heard that. I sighed and slowly moved towards the door. The door is a steel door with no window so they won't be able to see me and I also won't be able to see them. I put my left hand on a steel door and closed my eyes. My ears flicker for a second. I slowly opened my right red eye and looked at my right hand. Still hurt but just one more will do. My right eye then started to glow bright red. I clenched my right hand and slowly brought it backwards. You oosh, buzz buzz. Red electricity started forming from my right hand. I then clenched it into a fist and punched the door. Just hope that nobody got hit. Boom. As the door flew by. You got? It definitely hit someone. I quickly moved into the room and saw all the girls and a mercenary looking at me. And in front of me is another guy who, with the gun dropped on the floor, was being crushed between the door I punch and another door behind him. A. Eh? Liana. 16. Chapter 60 Train Control Part 2. Liana Poff. Gratang. 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 Inside the carriage of the train, the mercenaries are looking out for the girls and the mercenary protecting them. Seems everything is okay. Wait. Question mark. One of the girls yells out to us. Please help the fairy. They took her away. I narrowed my eyes as the girl said that. I looked at the door leading towards the front of the train. I looked at Bren that was also narrowing his eyes. I'm go, Bren. No, you stay here, Liana. Bren looked at me with a hint of surprise in his face. Are you serious? You won't be, Bren. Hey hey remember who saved you? I'm not that weak you know. Liana. As Bren looked at me he sighed. Fine just be careful alright, Bren. I smiled and did a thumbs up before going to the door leading to the front of the train. I saw one of the mercenaries who seems to be trying to open the door. Seems like the door is shut tight. Let me do it. Liana. The mercenary backed away as I put my right hand on the door. Clacking. The device that was attached to my left top shoulder turned 90 degrees to the right. I slowly moved my right hand and grabbed the stick attached to the device. Patches. Patches. P U R S. It started to emit light and swing. U U R Ung. Pukius. Smack. Bucking. The door was sliced in half and then I kicked the door and it fell down on the ground. Patches. Patches. Woo Ung. Packer you US. What I have in my hand is another lightsaber. I got two lightsabers on me. One is attached on my shorts and the other one is attached on the device on my left shoulder. Clacking. I put the lightsaber back in my device and the device turned to its original position on my left shoulder. I then moved to the next carriage. Step. 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 As I moved a couple of steps I saw someone right in front of me. Clacking. Gratang. Clang. It's the other henchman Vass had and he is carrying a ra -a, a chain gun. I quickly crouched and put my left foot that had the shield out in front. Mana shield. Liana. Pukas. An expanded energy shield started forming right in front of my shield shielding me and the rest behind me by stretching out till it reaches the walls all around the carriage. 
Ratatatatatatatatata. As the chain gun started firing at me the bullets hit the energy shield and bounced off. I looked behind and saw the mercenaries and the girls looked at me baffled. I smiled at them. All of you should move to the side now. Liana. They all nodded and moved to the side. I then looked at the one that was still firing its chain gun at me. Bling. Plang. Pong. Pang. Bling. Pung. Pang. Pow. I narrowed my eyes as I looked at him. I looked at the shield attached to my left leg and pressed a small button on the shield. Clacking. The top left side of the shield that was shaped like a handle turned 30 degrees to the left and then, patches, the handle detached itself and it flew up. It spins a couple of times in the air before I grabbed it on the handle. Black inning. Batches. Well, what comes out is a long barreled gun shaped like the Desert Eagle with a smooth square barrel right on my hand. I aimed the gun at his chain gun and pulled the trigger. Poo. The gun I have in my hand shoots out condensed energy that leaves behind a long straight line as the energy then flew and hit the chain gun, destroying its barrel and, boom, exploding it right in front of the guy. The guy was sent to the side by the explosion and he hit the wall on the side of the carriage. He then falls down on the ground and stops moving. Clackick. I aimed and shoot the grappling hook on my left hand at him and then pulled him here and threw him at where the other is. As I looked back it seems like there's only one person left. I then quickly run toward where the front of the train is. Hope that the fairy is okay. 30 person poff. Damn it damn it damn it. Vass. Vass was running toward the front of the train while grabbing the fairy girl on his left hand and a gun on his right hand. He was four carriages away from reaching the front of the train. Just a couple of more. Vas. Vas look at the fairy girl on his hand. As long as I got you I bet that I can get a big reward hi ha he. Vas. The fairy girl looked at him with a scared face. She just closed her eyes so that they won't see anything. Just need to get to the front and derail the thing yeah. Just leave everyone behind ha ha ha. Vas. Why you're crazy, fairy girl. Ha? Huh? What do you mean I'm crazy? I'm saving you here so shut up you piece of junk. Vas. Hip. Fairy girl. Vas aimed his gun at the fairy. Now just stay quiet and you'll be alright okay? Vas. The fairy didn't respond and that made him angry. I said okay? Vas. Hip. Fairy girl. Vas was very angry he raised his gun up high. The fairy looked at the gun with tears in her eyes. But then. Pow prakak. A-G-H. Vas. A light came from behind him and smacked the gun out of his hand. He looked behind him and saw Pitches. Plang. Whoops sorry but you're not going anywhere. Liana closing the door behind her while pointing her gun at him. Now get down on the ground and let go of that fairy because I don't know what will happen if I shoot you here and now. Liana. As Liana said that Vass's face started turning red with veins popping out. Well not like you will listen anyway just like any other villain moment. Liana. Liana sighed while looking at Vas. 18. Chapter 61 Train Control 3. Liana Poff. Gratang. Gratang. Now drop her slowly I don't want this to become messy. Liana. I looked at the guy in front of me with the fairy girl in his hand. I don't want to accidentally hit the fairy when I shoot my gun but, looking at the fairy shaking in his hand I don't really have any options here. The guy looks at me with his face nervously smiling. What is he trying to do? Hey. Vas. I keep looking at him with my gun aiming at him. Why don't you lower that weapon in your hand? I have something for you that you might like. Why not you work with me, Vas? I raised one of my eyebrows. Are you serious? I can give you everything you want you to know connection, money, and so much more, Vas. I narrow my eyes as he said that. That's a really typical line I heard from mangas especially villains. As he looked at my face he clicks his tongue before smiling at me again. Hey if you kill me my parents will chase you till the ends of the world you know? Vas. Are his parents really like that? I really wonder. I smiled at him. Well sadly no I don't really care about what is going to happen to you or even what's going to happen to me. You already made a mistake in doing this and there's no way I'm agreeing to that so put down the fairy. Liana. He clicks his tongue again before he looked out the window. His eyes grew large as he kept looking at the window. <clears throat> Liana. I slowly turned my head towards the window and saw. R. Crap. Liana. I crouched down onto the ground as. P -u -u, the roof and wall on top and beside me got disintegrate with a giant laser. The force was strong so I have to close my eyes from the heat and accidentally drop my gun on the floor. As the laser started to fade I slowly opened my eyes. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Boom. 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 Boom.
sounds of gunfire and explosion came, I shake my head as I got up and saw the roof and left and right wall of the carriage was destroyed, the wind flowed inside the carriage as I looked at the view outside, there I saw a giant flying ship firing in every direction trying to hit a small airplane that was swiftly evading every shot, you were, Liana, flick, I flick my finger and move it beside my ear, hey, Eli are you doing fine, Liana, but no answer, I looked at my hand and just noticed that the device on my right hand is broken from where I was using pile bunker, I facepalm myself before turning to, caching, bling, the guy closing and locking the door with the fairy still on his hand, he just did the runaway technique on me, god dang it, Liana, I grab my gun that I drop on the floor with my left hand and run towards the locked door and started gathering energy on my right hand again and punched the door, boom. The door falls down onto the ground and I saw the guy running at full speed and started detaching the carriage. Oh no, you don't. Dash. Liana. I ran towards the carriage as the distance increased between it and the detached carriage I'm in. As I reached the end of the carriage, I stopped and crouched while looking at the carriage in front and jet. Liana. Poo. Propelled me up high and stretched my left arm out towards the carriage in front of me. The grappling hook on my left hand shot out latched onto carriage. I then grapple myself towards the carriage but ta 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 I saw bullets flying from the distance. Jet. Liana. I propelled myself towards the ground below me so that the bullets won't hit me. Bash. Batches. Whoa. You are. Liana. My feet hit the snowy ground below me and with the grappling hook still attached to the back of the carriage, I was pretty much getting dragged on the snow. I quickly position myself on skiing position and let the grappling hook keep reeling me in. Wahash. I saw my plane flew on top of me while still being fired at by the flying ship. I hope he lies okay. I looked at the carriage and, oh, God, Liana, I saw him point a gun at me. Ha ha ha. Things wouldn't be like this if you only agree to my demands. Vas. Yeah sure. Liana, I turned my eyes to the gun in my left hand quickly drop it and grabbed it with my right hand before it falls to the snow, and quickly aimed my gun at him, my blue eye started lighting up and I pulled the trigger, pow, I controlled the power of my gun a little bit, it hit his right shoulder and he screamed, ah, Vas, Vas looked at me with his boiling face and aimed his gun at me but I won't let him shoot, I fired my gun at him while being careful to not hit the fairy in his hand, he walks back and moves inside the carriage again leaving me behind, I used the time to quickly get onto the back of the carriage. As my feet landed on the carriage floor, I quickly ran after him inside the train carriage. Elizabeth Poff. B r r r r r r r r r r t t t. Aiming at the flying ship while firing the volcano on the jet, I kept looking at the flying ship. If I remember correctly, it's a destroyer class. I thought it should still be in development in the Empire. Elizabeth. Well compared with some ships the destroyer class should be a fast moving ship but this one isn't as fast as I thought it would, but still. Puuas, pus, bahash, 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 eight anti-air turrets, four long barreled laser turrets, and some missile pots quite the arsenal for a destroyed class, Elizabeth. It has four anti-air turrets on each side and two long barreled laser turret on the front and back and it has missile pots all around its sides and front. I guess they make it pretty heavily armed with that amount of weapons on a destroyer, but the problem is pa 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 it is a barrier all around it, the Vulcan bullets hit the barrier but they bounced off, pip, pip, pip. I saw missiles coming toward me. I flick a switch on my left and flares shoot out from the jet and the missiles hit it. I turn the jet around and start shooting the flying ship again but this time, laser aim and fire. Elizabeth. This jet is also attached with two lasers on its wings. P-U-R-S. P-U-R-S. The laser shot out and flew towards the flying ship. They hit the barrier and shatter it. I then fired all the rockets and missiles on the jet at the now open barrier. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. The rocket and missiles destroyed its front laser turrets and some missile pods making a huge explosion at the front of the ship. I quickly flew past the destroyer and sharply turned the jet around and fired the laser again on the ship's thrusters. It is one thruster on its back that propels it forward if I destroy it. The destroyer will fall down. 
the laser hit the truster and it started exploding. Yes, that should do it, Elizabeth. I did a fist pump as I looked at the ship starting to fall but wait a minute, Elizabeth. The ship started turning and started flying somewhere. I looked into the distance and oh no, Elizabeth. I saw it heading towards a long bridge in the distance and now that I looked at it, the railroad is connected to that bridge? Is it trying to destroy the bridge so that the train will fall? Elizabeth, I quickly call Leah but, she's not answering did she break the communication device again? Elizabeth, sigh. That's why I said to bring two, I started to think of another idea and I remember something. R, Leah's hover bike. Elizabeth, yeah her hover bike should be near the train now, right? I was quite far from here it will take time going there even with the jet's speed, the ship is also falling very fast so even if I go there I might be unable to do anything but I may be able to slow the ship it down a little. I looked at the display in front of me, I'm running low on missiles, the rocket pods are empty and the laser is overheating and, Elizabeth, I looked at the distance, clouds are forming darker and darker and I can see snow falling heavily there. Is there going to be another snowstorm again? Elizabeth, R, things are going harder and harder. Maybe I should let Leah go all out when I manage to connect to her. Her skill is still active right? I'll do my best here since the turrets on the ship are still active and firing at me and once her hover bike gets to her I'll call from there. I'd better take out all the turrets before it accidentally hit the train though. The train was quite far away from the bridge right now so Leah still has time but the snowstorm will be a problem. I pressed four buttons on my top left side of the panel, detaching rocket pod 1, 2, 3 and 4, Elizabeth. I detached all four rocket pods on the jet's wings so that it lowers the jet weight a bit and I quickly flew the jet towards the ship that was falling towards the bridge. I hope the hover bike makes it in time. I looked at where the train is. The rest of the train was detached from the others and only the front of the train was still moving towards the bridge in the distance so I think it is okay to presume that Leah has this covered. I think. 15. Chapter 62 Saving the Little Fairy. Leanna Poff. Step step step. Gratang. 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 Walking through the silent carriage of the train I looked around. I can't find him anywhere. I remember he didn't go that far. Where is he? Leanna still walking slowly I moved to the next carriage. Wash through the gap of the open door leading to the next carriage I can feel the wind blowing around me and I can see snow falling heavily from the sky between the gap. Another snowstorm huh? Leanna, I slowly walk to the next carriage door and stop in front of it. Leanna, I move beside the door and slowly open it. Bang, 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 ping, plang, pang. Yep he's there. Crouching down I kicked the door open and aimed my gun. I saw him running to the next carriage. I pulled the trigger of my gun as I aimed at him. Pow. 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 It hit his foot but he is still running. He then looked at me and pulled something out a fling. Throw. An oval shape. Grenade. Mana shield. Liana. Boom. Crash. Crack. Crash. I deployed my shield before it explodes. The explosion destroyed the glass of the carriage and then the wind started pouring in from the outside. As I looked toward the end of the carriage I could see him climbing a ladder to the top of the train. TCH, Liana, I quickly ran towards the stairs and started climbing up to the roof. Wuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
The thing they did to me, fairy girl. I can see the beast can go lowering her weapon as the scary guy aimed his weapon at me. Hick hick, fairy girl. Will, it happened again? Like that time? But suddenly, W what are you doing? Stop, Vas. I looked in front and see her moving toward us. W what is she doing? Stop don't. I warned you to stop, Vas. He shouted at her but she just kept walking close and closer to us. Why? Why aren't you stopping? She looked at me. Exclamation mark fairy girl and smiled warmly. Why? She reminds me of my mother because even though she is wearing goggles, I could still feel her warm eyes from here calming me down. She then looked at the scary guy. I looked to and saw the scary guy then pointed his weapon at her. Exclamation mark fairy girl. I was about to shout but my voice won't come out. Why? Don't come any closer? Vas. He is shaking. I can feel it from his arm that was still grabbing me. Is he scared? Just a question, Liana. She stops as she said that. She looked at him. What are you planning to do to her, Liana? He stops. And then he laughed. Ah ha ha ha. You want to know what I'm going to do to her? Vas. His smile is scary. Of course selling her. She will cost a lot you know. Fairy is rare here. I can get a lot of cash if I sell her in the black market, Vas. I shiver and started crying, no, I don't want this, well that's sad, Liana, I looked at her, W what do you mean by that, Vas, well it's easy, Liana, she slowly looked at me and at him, because I'm here to stop you from doing that idiot, Liana, what, Vas, his face turned red as he aimed his weapon at her head, no, fairy girl, don't worry, Liana, she said that to me, I come to save you anyway right, Liana, die. Vas, bang, smack, plang, pang, bush, w what, as he fired his weapon she suddenly disappeared and I was somewhere else, soft, I slowly looked up and saw her looking at me, I was hugged softly between her breasts, it's warm and I could feel her hand patting my head, there there everything is alright now, Liana, tears started to fall again from my eyes, this sensation reminds me of how my mother used to do it. I slowly closed my eyes while still feeling her hand petting my head. Liana poff. Fua. Liana petting the fairy on the head while hugging her little body. I looked at her a bit. She has long blue hair and had tears coming for her green eyes. She seems cute while she kept hugging my chest. I smiled and looked below me. Well under my feet. Uck. Vas. Yep. As he shot at me. My skill activated and I quickly beat him up and saved the fairy. Now he is kept against the floor by my feet. I sighed as I looked forwards. I can't see anything. Liana, the wind and snow were still blowing and falling heavily, blocking the view in front of me. I can't contact Eli and the train is moving so fast. <laughs> Liana, I suddenly saw a light on the distance. What's that? Liana, I then can hear an explosion on that light. I narrowed my eyes and focus on that sound. My ears are twitching as the sounds got louder and louder, as the wind started to become calm and snow started to stop falling. I looked in the distance as I started to see the distance again and, <clears throat> Liana, a long bridge in front of us and a ship falling towards the bridge. Oh for the love of, Liana, I heard something else behind me. I looked behind and, ah, Liana, my hover bike was moving here at fast speed. I guess Eli knows what's going on and send my hover bike here. I looked at the guy below me not moving at all. He fainted huh? The hover bike slowly moves towards where I was below the train. I have to jump huh? Liana. I looked at the little fairy that I was hugging in between my breasts. She looked up at me with tears in her eyes. I slowly took off my goggles and smiled at her while patting her little head. Don't worry I'll protect you but please bear with me for a second alright? Liana, the little fairy didn't say anything but slowly nodded at me. I smile and now looked at the guy again. Leave him or not. I'm thinking really hard right now. P.S.S.S.S. I then heard a radio call from my hover bike. <laughs> Liana, P.S.S.S. Leah you're there? Elizabeth, yay that's Eli talking. If can please get that guy out of there too? It seems that it will become troubling if he dies Elizabeth. Oh really? Sigh. Well. I guess that's that. I quickly grabbed the guy and threw him overboard towards the hover bike below. The hover bike quickly catches him. I sigh. I looked in front of the train the bridge is near now. I was about to jump but then. You are ash. <laughs> Liana. I looked up and saw a random missile coming straight at me. Mana shield. Liana. Boom. Kira. Fairy girl. 
the missile hit in front of me while I deployed my shield. I quickly shielded the fairy that I was hugging in between my breasts as the shock wave from the explosion hit me. The shock wave was quite strong as I was thrown backward toward the front of the train. I hit the ground and rolled a couple of times while still hugging and protecting the fairy form the knockback of the explosion. I keep rolling till the edge of the roof of the train and fell off from the roof of the train but I quickly grabbed the ledge of the roof with my right hand while hugging the fairy against my chest with my left hand. Um. I looked at the front of the train while still hanging on the ledge of the roof and we are now on the bridge. This is bad. 15. Chapter 63 Running and Boom Grumble. Grumble. Hanging on for dear life at the edge of the carriage. I looked below me. And I looked up again. What I saw is a long fall and I don't know how far it goes down but I can see fog blocking the bottom. It's definitely a very deep ravine. Uck. Fairy girl. I looked at the little fairy that I was still hugging in between my breasts. Now. What to do? R. Liana. I can see that I was actually beside one of the windows of the carriage. I can see that the window frame can be used as a support for my feet. I put my feet at the window frame and quickly climb my way up to the roof again. Phew well that went well, Liana. As I'm finally back on the roof again, I looked around and saw that we are still moving on the bridge. The bridge is pretty long and was supported by some towers and cables. The design is quite simple. It consists of four pillars and some support beams below the bridge. Some cables were strung from the beginning of the bridge and connecting in the middle. I looked toward my right and I saw the flying ship plummeting out of the sky towards the bridge. Okay now what to do? Liana. Bua us. <laughs> Liana. I looked beside me. Well besides the bridge. P.S.S.S. Liana. Can you hear me? Elizabeth. I can see my hover bike flying beside the bridge. Did Dila use the megaphone mode? I could hear her loud and clear even though my hover bike is still far away. Wait did my hover bike even have a megaphone attached to it? I shook my head and yelled. Yes, I can hear you. Liana, hip, fairy girl. I think I yelled too loudly as the fairy got startled. R, sorry, you okay? Liana, the fairy looked up at me and nodded a little bit. I looked towards the front again and saw that I'm only one carriage away from the front of the train. I narrowed my eyes and looked towards the falling ship. P.S.S.S. Leah the ship will impact with the train in 30 seconds you better get ready. Elizabeth. Liana. Looking at the possible way of escaping while not letting the fairy nor myself get hurt is going to be difficult. I sighted. I can only rush forward or. I looked behind. Maybe I can. Pastilda. Boom. A random missile hit the bridge bottom support behind me and. The bridge behind me started to collapse. Welp crap. Liana. Guess there's only one way out now. The bridge started collapsing behind me and so, I can only dash to the front ha. Huh. As the bridge started collapsing behind me I quickly ran towards the front of the train while still holding the ferry. Grumble, grumble. The train started to shake. I looked at the ship. It's about to hit the bridge right in front of me. Hold on tight. Liana. Hi. Fairy girl. Crash. The ship crashed right in front of the train. The fairy quickly grabbed onto my shirt while my left hand held onto the fairy so she wouldn't fall and I jumped off the train and landed on the burning hull of the ship. Kriang, the train smacked into the hull of the ship, causing it to derail to the left side of the track and started falling from the bridge. Hoo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo-oo
I then raised my left hand and touched the hairpin on my hair. Cling. 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 The hairpin light up and turned into blue particles of light. The particles then gathered in my left hand as I aimed my left hand on the ship. The particles started shaping into a gun and the light started to fade replacing it with electrical current. Buzz. 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 What appears in my left hand is the rail gun I have. The handgun version that is. Buzz. 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 My left hand started getting coiled around with blue electricity and my blue eye started lighting up as light started forming at the end of the barrel of my railgun. The two laser turrets on the ship shot at me with their high speed laser. The two lasers combined together to form an even stronger laser and flew towards me. But sadly, click. I pulled the trigger. Cling. Poo. The dart from my railgun shoots out and flew towards the combined lasers. Well, Padios. Liana Pling. Poo. The laser and dart hit each other and the laser got shredded into multiple lasers. The dart kept flying towards the ship even though it was still hitting the laser. As the laser faded the dart flew and hit the ship. Crank. Boom. 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 The dart pierced the rear of the ship and penetrated it until it reached the front of the ship, leaving a trail of explosions behind. Boom. The core of the ship then exploded and then split the ship in two causing it to fall down towards the sea of clouds at the bottom of the ravine. Wahash, sigh. Liana, I lowered my left hand as I looked at the fairy sitting on my right hand stunned by what she saw. Well, figures. We just kept watching the ship fall down as the clouds in the sky began to fade away, revealing the sun that started shining behind us. Note, added a major fix on every chapter on my novel from start till now with Grammy hope it works and hopes it will make everyone understand the story a little. 15. Chapter 64 Time to move back and want to do. Liana Poff. Bush. Bush. Making my way back to the derailed carriage of the train it seems quite peaceful. As I saw the carriage in the distance I drove my hover bike over to the side as my jet followed me from behind, the fairy girl is still sitting on my right hand while grabbing my shirt. Well, not like I mind anyway with that cute face of hers. Bush. Bush. I stopped my hover bike beside the carriage as I saw some of the mercenaries come out from the carriage. Oh, it's Bren and the others. As they saw me they started moving towards me as my plane also started landing behind me. Oi. Liana, I wave my hand at them as they come towards me. I got out of my hover bike and walked towards them. You're okay I was getting a little worried, Bren. I told you she would be fine though. Michigan. Yeah yeah shut up Michigan. Atto. I smile and looked at Bren. Are you guys doing alright? Liana. Yay thanks to you no one got hurt, Bren. Bren looked at me with a smile. I nodded. Wash. I can feel the wind blowing behind me. Ah and you brought him back huh? Bren. I looked at the one that was still lying on my hover bike. Yep, he is still out cold and still hasn't woke up. I can hear Bren sigh as he looked at him. I haven't actually heard his name but I don't wanna know. I'll take care of him oh and I see you are okay little one, Bren. Bren looked at the fairy sitting on my hand. As she looked at Bren she quickly turned her head and looked away and clenched harder on my shirt. I can only smile worriedly. Well anyway now what are we going to do now? Liana, and we need to keep moving to our rally point now, Bren. He looked around and then looked at me again. Well we're already far away from the facility and there's no way they will bring another army like that at us again so we have a little breather but now the problem is how are we going to get back, Bren. Bren and the others started to think while I slowly looked at my plane. Well I got an idea, Liana. All of them looked at me as I said that. Well, you will know once you see it, Liana. I then looked at the fairy that was sitting in my hand. Hey, I think it's time to let go now I can't have you in my hand all day. Liana, I said that gently but the little fairy shakes her head left and right refusing to let go. Um, Liana, I'm not very good with someone like this now what to do? Then I saw one of the mercenaries come here. It's the girl that was the medic of the team. She slowly moves right in front of me and then slowly crouched down to where I was holding the fairy. Hey. It's alright we won't do anything to you here let me help you for a moment, medic girl. But the little fairy still shakes her head left and right. Wow, she is really attached to you are. Uh. I never told you my name huh? I'm Lisa nice to meet you, Lisa. I nodded as Lisa said that. I'm Liana you can call me Leo if you like. Liana. She nodded and then looked at the little fairy again. 
She slowly reached her hand towards her while saying to the little fairy to calm down. It took five minutes until the little fairy then nodded a little and now was being held by Lisa's hands. Lisa lets the little fairy sit on her hand as I then started walking towards my plane. Fairy girl. She kept stretching her tiny hand towards me as I slowly walked toward my plane. I slowly turned round and saw. Oh, come on don't look at me with those big puppy eyes. I'm weak to cuteness. I slapped my face with both of my hands and started walking towards my plane quickly while doing my hardest to ignore the little fairy squealing at me from behind. Ugh, now I feel bad. Elizabeth Poff clutches. Liana. Oh, what happened to you, Leah? Elizabeth. I saw Leah feeling depressed all of a sudden as she walks inside the cargo bay of the plane, noting, Liana, I wonder what happened out there. Is what I should have been thinking but I definitely know what happened. Sigh. Well. I know that Leah likes cute things just like how almost every girl likes cute things, myself included. Cough well anyway do you have anything to talk to me, Leah? Elizabeth. Leah looks at me and nodded. Yes I need your help for a moment, Liana. Leah then started talking. As she told me about what to do I nodded. Well, it's quite easy to do anyways. Ah, also, Liana. Seems Leah also wants to do something. Yes? Elizabeth, I wonder if I can scavenge that fly battleship. Liana. Wait doesn't that mean that you have to go down to the bottom of the ravine to do that? Elizabeth. Leah nodded. Seriously what do you want to do there anyway? Elizabeth. Well just curious about how they make the ship and what I can find inside. Liana. I sighed as I looked at Leah who have sparkles in her eyes. This lovable machine lover. Okay but be careful I won't be there for you for some times. Elizabeth. Yay I know. Liana. Leah then quickly ran out of the plane and left me behind inside the plane. I can only sigh as I looked to where she went. Well, I just hope she won't find anything problematic there. And I just raised a flag. Great. 17. Chapter 65 Going into the ravine. Liana Poff. Wash. Yep a little to the right. Yes. Close and stop. Liana. I was waving my hand in the air to guiding Eli to pilot the jet above the train carriage. Eventually she managed to hover the jet above the carriage. The wind is still blowing in the air behind me. It's quite cold but because I have fire magic I can pretty much just warm my body with it I guess. As Eli was hovering the jet in the air I looked at Bren beside the carriage. It's very amazing that you have a high tech AI on your plane, Bren. Ha 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 yeah thanks, Liana. I wish I had one, it would be nice to have someone helping you without stabbing you in the back, Bren. Yeah yeah well hope you get it, Liana. Bren shook his head at me and then walked inside the carriage without saying anything. Oh. I almost forgot, is everyone inside the carriage Bren? Liana, he looked inside to check if everyone's there. All of the girls and mercenaries were inside the carriage oh. Also, the bad guys were tied up in the corner of the carriage. Bren then looked at me and nodded. Welp seems like it's okay to start now. Okay we just need to derail the carriage from the rest and then we will be done. Liana, Bren looking inside the carriage and then commanded one of his mercenaries to derail the carriage. I waited outside for them to finish. Krathang. I can hear something clicking behind the carriage seems like they finished derailing the front carriage from the rest. Now, Liana, I looked at my plane on top of the carriage and made a big eye sign with my hand. The plane then slowly descended down on top of the carriage and clacking, clacking. Two long metal rod with a circular plate at the end of the rod came out below the jet and clang, clang, buzz, buzz. Well. I never actually mentioned it but I have two giant electromagnets attached below my jet for transporting cargo or anything else smaller than my jet. As the magnets attached to each side of the carriage, I quickly nodded. Welp guess that was taken care of. Liana, I then walked to my hover bike as my jet started lifting the carriage with everyone in it. Hey, are you not coming with us? Bren. Yay I got something else to do. Liana. Wait then how are you going to get back? I never said where the place is, Bren, don't worry, my jet will come back to grab me after it finishes dropping you at the place, Liana, okay then be careful, Bren, Bren then closed the door of the carriage as the carriage ascended with my jet, I then took out the radio Eli said to grab and turned it on to call Eli, click, Eli, you can hear me, Liana, PSSS loud and clear Leah, now don't try to do anything stupid down there alright? I'll come to pick you up after I'm done dropping everyone okay? Elizabeth. Yeah yeah, I got it. Well good luck Eli. 
Liana, PSSSU2 Leah, over and out, Elizabeth, click, as Eli closed the call she then flew away from here, leaving me behind with my hover bike. Sigh well time to investigate now, Liana, I then got on my hover bike and drove towards where the bridge was, it didn't really take long for me to get there. I stopped and got off of my hover bike and moved towards the edge of the ravine while looking left and right. Liana, well, at least nothing is attacking me now. I stopped and the edge and looked down. Wash, yeah, I still can't see the bottom because of the fog. I moved from the edge and got on my hover bike again. And I began to slowly descend on my hover bike into the ravine. As I descend slowly into the fog, I started to feel that the air was different. <laughs> Liana, as I went inside the fog it started getting harder to breathe. Uck, Liana, well, good thing that I came prepared for this type of problem. I have a breathing device attached to the top of my shirt. Clutches, I detached the breathing device from my shirt and put it in over my mouth. Well, it was meant to be used in places that have minimal amount of breathable air. Patches, sigh. Well, at least I managed to fix my breathing for now. I wonder why the air isn't breathable down here. I continue descending towards the bottom of the ravine. Third person puff. You are ash. Few PSSS. Liana. As Leah reached the bottom of the ravine, the fog was so dense that it was really hard to see anything. Now ps where might the crash site be? Liana. Leah got out from her hover bike and started looking around. Oh? Is that it? Liana. Leah saw something in the fog. She slowly walked towards the thing she saw in the fog. As she got closer and closer the thing that Leah saw got clearer and clearer. Ah, PSSS found you. Liana, as the fog around her started fading, Leah saw the crash site of the battleship right in front of her eyes. Liana, Liana slowly crouched down and clacking, clack, opening up her shield on her left leg. The gun inside the shield jumped out from the shield and Leah grabbed it with her right hand. PSSS well let's see what I can scavenge here. Liana. Liana then slowly walked toward the crash site. 16. Chapter 66 Another memory fragment. Third person puff. At the crash site of the flying battleship, mainly the hallway leading outside. Kratak. Kratak. Paka us. A beam of light sliced through the door entrance. The light then turned to make a giant circle and then made a giant slice in a straight line in the middle and then it went out. Plathang. Bang. Suddenly a giant force knocked the door breaking it and the door falls to the floor below. Wash. As the fog started coming in a figure was seen walking inside. PSSS well. Plakik. Pus. Wong. It was Leah with the lightsaber in her hand looking around the battleship. PSSS at least some of the ship's interior is still intact it seems like all of the fire went out when it fell here. Liana. Leah then slowly moved further into the wreckage of the battleship. Step. 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 Every step she took echoed through the surrounding corridor of the ship. Liana. Leah looked around her only to see nothing at all. PSSS I have a strong sense of deja vu from this why is there nobody or anything on this ship? Liana. She then saw a large door right in front of her. I wonder where this door will lead to I remember this ship getting cut in half by my railgun. Liana. Liana puff, patches, plang, bang, slicing the door with my lights a bri kick it very hard, sigh, Liana, as the door falls down towards the floor behind the door I walked through it and looked at what's inside, ha, huh. Liana, what I saw seems to be what's left of the middle part of the ship, I can see the other side of the broken ship right in front of me, it seems that both of the broken parts of the ship fell not too far from each other. I looked around the place and it seems I'm standing on the third floor of the ship so I'm not at the bottom of the ship, I can see fog pouring all around the middle place mainly the bottom part, wash, I saw something glowing red right at the bottom of the ship, looking at it closely I can see the fog getting absorbed by the red light, step, step, jump, step, I jump down from where I am towards the bottom of the ship. The distance from here to the bottom isn't very high so I'm okay jumping down. As I landed down on the ground it seems that there is a lot of dust covering the ground below resulting in me making a small cloud of dust as my feet touch the ground. I slowly got up and looked at the red light in front of me that was a couple of feet away from where I was. Wash. PSSS well, that's something. Liana, what I saw there that was making the red light was a red crystal the size of my palm. It was floating while absorbing all the fog around it. I slowly walked towards the crystal while minding my step on the ground. Wash. <laughs> Liana, I wonder what am I feeling now? 
It feels like the crystal is reeling me in. I walked towards the crystal until I was in front of it. I stretched my hand towards the crystal and grabbed it. Buzz. Buzz. Paling. Suddenly everything turned bright and I closed my eyes. Paling. 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 Uck. Liana. Energy point found. Scanning. Memory fragment found. Replaying memory. Then everything went dark. Buzz. Buzz. Uck. Liana. It seems I fell on the ground from the light. I slowly got up and looked around. Everything around me is dark. Deja vu. Liana. I have been to this place before. PFT. Cough well. Let's see. Liana. Looking around I saw a door in front of me. It's a metal door that doesn't have a doorknob in it. I walked to the door and then it suddenly slides to the left revealing the room behind the door. So it's an automatic sliding door? Okay. I can deal with that. Liana. I guess that this is another memory replay. Been quite a while. It's been quite a long time since my first memory replay. I was too focused on my training so this is pretty much my second time experiencing this. I looked at the open door and slowly walked my way inside the room. Well, I just hope that whatever inside this memory won't be too bad. Step. 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 I had people running as I walked inside the door. The place is a hallway made out of metals from the floor till the ceiling. Playtank Finch. I was startled from closing loudly behind me. Sigh. Liana. Grumble. Grumble. I suddenly feel the floor shaking below me. What's going on? Liana. I then heard footsteps coming here. I turned my head left and right side of the hallway then I saw people with full gears and weapons running right past me towards the left of the hallway. They seem to be desperately moving somewhere. Liana. I can tell that something big is going on here in this place. I kept looking at them until they were out of sight. It seems that they can't see me just like before. I decided to follow them since I don't know what to do and what is going on in this place. 14. Chapter 67 Chaos Inside the Memory. Liana Poff. Step. 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 Tatata. Boom. Tatata. Seriously what is going on here? Liana. As I'm moving deeper into the facility by following the people that looks like an assault team there are around five people there. I kept hearing gunfire and explosion deep inside where they are going. Crack. <clears throat> Liana. I heard a wall cracking somewhere. Boom. And something exploded right in front of the assault team that I was following. You wawa. You ga. Comma. The smoke is blocking the view in front. I stop and looked but then suddenly. Picking. Red crystal-like vines suddenly came out from the smoke and attack them. Slash. Uh, comma. Whip. Yuga. Comma. What the hell is that thing? Comma. Shoot it. Shoot it. As the two of them got attacked the other three started shooting their guns at it. Tatatatatatata. 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 Paling. Plang. Pang. Ping. But the bullets just bounced off of the crystal vines. Grab. One of the crystal vines grabs hold on one of the three. Ah, help him. Crack. 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 The one that got grabbed then started getting covered by the crystal and stopped moving. The other two that were on the ground also started getting enveloped by the red crystal. Shit. Run. Run. The last two started running away. They went past me but. Stab. Stab. The crystal vines flew off towards the two and stabbed them in their body. Ah. Comma. Cough. No no no. I don't want to. And the two of them got enveloped by the red crystal. Liana. Crack. 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 I slowly looked below my feet and saw the floor got an envelope by the red crystal too. It seems to not have any effect on me. Phew. Liana. That was quite scary. I don't want to end up like them. <laughs> Liana. I can see something glowing in front. I narrow my eyes and started walking. Crack. 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 The whole hallway is covered with Reese crystals, from the floor to the ceiling, and from furniture to people on the ground. They are all covered in red crystals. Buzz. Buzz. I can see some of the crystals emitting red electricity. Crack. Crack. Wash. I can feel the wind getting sucked in towards where the light is at. My ears then flicked. I can hear something in front. Ha ha ha. Is that laughing? I started moving faster towards the light. I can see an open doorway in front of me and the light is emitting inside the doorway. Grumble, grumble. I can hear something shaking behind me. I looked behind and, oh crap. Liana, grumble, grumble. The hallway behind me started falling apart and that's the moment I started running. Step. 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 Crick. Crack. Crack. Crash. Crash. Almost there. Liana. 
not too far, I can see the hallway collapsing under my feet, as I was close towards where the open doorway is I then jumped to the front as the floor below me crumbled and I managed to get inside the room as the doorway collapsed behind me, ha 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 phew, Liana, well, that was quite scary, I'm sweating quite a lot from running and panicking because of that, I wiped the sweat on my forehead and looked around, ha, huh. Liana, I was in a large room made out of red crystals, ha 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 ha, question mark, I can hear the laugh right in front of me, I looked at who was the one who are hell isn't he, what I saw in front of me is someone that I saw on my first memory replay, the scientist called DRR, ha 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 ha, ah, I can see he has no hands anymore and half of his body is covered with red crystals. Yes, it works. Finally, my work is finally complete. Ah, I can see him looking up. I looked up and, you are, Liana. I can see a giant red glowing beast, the size of about five meters growing with red crystals all over its body. Seriously what is going on? Buzz. Replay complete parts missing, returning, then everything went black. Fifteen. Chapter 68 A short nap inside the plane, Liana Poff, Uck, Liana, opening my eyes I was lying on the ground, R, Liana, my breathing device is not on my mouth, but for some reason, I can breathe, I slowly got up and looked around, I can see the whole crash site and the fog around the place is gone, foo lucky me, Liana, I saw my breathing device below my feet, I grabbed it, cleaned the dirt, and put it back in place on my shirt, now where was I, Liana, I should get out of here now. Pip a pip. Suddenly my communication device started beeping. I think Eli is calling me. I turned it on and PSSS Leah are you there? Elizabeth. Yes I'm here. Liana. PSS so good. You finally pick up. I was getting worried because you haven't picked up after a couple of times trying to call you. Elizabeth. Ah oh, sorry sorry anyway where are you right now Eli? Liana. PSS I'm actually near you now wait for me I'll go pick you up. Elizabeth, oh okay I'll wait here then, Liana, Eli then hangs up the call, sigh, Liana, I looked up and saw the moon lighting up the place since there's no fog anymore, after waiting for a couple of minutes Eli came by with the jet and picked me up, also, don't forget to grab and put my hover bike inside the cargo bay again and after that, we took off to the sky, I looked at the crash site for the last time before going to the cockpit where Eli is. Elizabeth Poff. Wash. Pip. 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 And that's done I guess. Elizabeth. Looking at the view on the cockpit it pretty even knows it's night time. Patch us. Elizabeth. I looked behind me and saw Leah coming into the cockpit. Welcome back. Elizabeth. Yep I'm back now. Liana, what did you find there? Elizabeth, a memory sadly it's not perfect I can only see parts of the memory but not the full extended part. Liana, I see well I guess you just need to find the rest of it. Elizabeth, yep yawn. Liana, Leah started yawning for some reason is she tired? Are you tired Leah? Elizabeth, well, yes I am of course I haven't taken a break since I stepped on the train. Liana, well then you can sleep in the cargo bay then I'll drive the plane to where the others were good night Leah, Elizabeth, okay good night Eli, Liana, Leah then closed the door behind me and I started stretching my hand, Ngwa, Elizabeth, I turned on autopilot mode and got up from the cockpit seat and moved toward the door leading to the cargo bay, patch us, I looked around and saw Leah sleeping on one of the sides sit of the cargo bay without a blanket, sigh I guess I still have to take care of you huh, Elizabeth, we are quite far from where the others are so it will take time till we reach there. Maybe a quick nap will do. Even if I am a goddess I am not like their average goddess. I still need to sleep. I slowly moved to where Leah is and sat right next to her and grab a blanket from my inventory and cover ourselves with a blanket. One blanket is enough for the two of us. I lead Leah's head full to my shoulder and her ears kept flickering on my right cheek. I can also feel her tail wiggling behind me. Leah then started snuggling towards me while grabbing my right arm and used it as a hugging pillow. I giggled. He 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 good night Leah, Elizabeth. I then slowly close my eyes while Leah's lips curved up a bit as she uses my hand as a hugging pillow. I then fell asleep while making a small smile and feeling Leah's body hugging me. When was the last time we slept together I wonder? Well not like I have any problems anyway. Liana Poff, HG, Liana, slowly opening my eyes I saw, Welp good morning, Elizabeth, Eli's face right in front of me, you are, Liana, 
Gratang. I jump from where I was and lose balance and I accidentally fall to the floor of the cargo bay. Ouch. Liana. Who are you all right Leah? Elizabeth. Ouch 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 yeah. I'm all right you startled me there Eli. Liana. I slowly got up while rubbing my head and looked at Eli's face. He 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 well looked who's talking. Using my hand as a hugging pillow. Elizabeth. E.A. Liana. I did that. Oh no. I can feel my face getting embarrassed. I was about to wake you up anyway we're almost there now, Elizabeth. Ah, really? That was fast. Liana. Welp I'm going to materialize now, Elizabeth. Okay, Liana. Eli then turned into particles of light and I can see her in the hub on my eye again. I then started moving to the cockpit and sat on the pilot seat. Click. 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 Turning off autopilot I can see a small military base in the distance from the cockpit window. The sun is about to rise in the distance how long did I sleep? Paling. Suddenly a screen popped up in front of me and on that screen, I saw. Oh no. Liana. Bren arguing with the guy I tied up. Who lets him loose? I can see a couple of people behind that guy while the other mercenaries were behind Bren protecting the little fairy that was shaking in Lisa's hand. Things are about to get hectic. I can see a bit of clearing near them. I can use that place to land the plane. I drove my plane there and I can feel things are about to get hectic now. 14. Chapter 69 Wanna play tag? Liana Poff. You you are Ash Pakak. Opening the cargo bay door I looked below as the jet started descending to the ground. As the jet is a couple of feet away from the ground I jumped down and landed on the ground and slowly walked towards where they are. I could still see Bren arguing with that guy. Come one come on just give the fairy to me. Vas. Sorry but no can do Vas, Bren. Bren then saw me walking and made a small smile as he looked at me. I smiled back at him for that. Just do it Bren you won't be able to keep her anyway I can just provoke your license if you don't do as he said. His smile stopped and his face turned dark as he looked at A. The fat guy beside Vas. Guildmaster using your authority for this while involving a girl I will gladly complain, Bren. Ha. Huh, like you can? A. That's the guide master here? He is a fat pig with that gigantic round tummy. I will add a complaint later once this is over. Ha 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 come here little fairy I will take care of you I swear. Vas. Yeah like that will work. After what you have done if he said that to someone I know I will gladly snap his neck without asking. The little fairy just turned her head away and curled back in Lisa's hand. That was until she saw me. She then looked at me with tears in her eyes while having a feeling of a little animal looking at her mommy. Oh earth. Liana. She used cuteness on Leo it's super effective, Elizabeth. Bren and the others then saw me walking towards them. I looked at Lisa and she seems to be very worried. I looked at Bren and he also looked very worried. You, Vas. And there goes him pointing his hand at me. I looked at him with cold eyes. Yo, never thought you were set free? Liana. Because of you. Because of you. He arrested her. She was the one who tried to kill me. Vas, the guild master. Let's just call him a fat guy. The fat guy looked at me and scanned my body and stopped his eyes on one point. My chest. He the snort. Well ain't she a beautiful girl? Sad that her chest is small, is she witch you Bren? I will forgive you if you let her become my girl, fat guy. Snap. Ooh baby, Elizabeth. I don't know if my vein popped up on my head but Bren and the other mercenaries behind him including Lisa and the little fairy tense up as they looked at me. While Vas and that fat son of a Vic smile with lust on their eyes at me ignoring my cold dead eyes, the place became silent for a moment until Bren breaks that silence. Cough cough I'm anyway sorry Vas but that's not for you to decide and also I won't tolerate this guild master tolerating our savior even I will have to complain, Bren. You are talking back at me? Let me tell you I can provoke your license as a mercenary here and now you know. Fat guy. Uck. Bren. I will forgive you if you hand over the fairy to Vas and that woman to me now, fat guy. Yeah just do what he said Bren I will take care of her I swear as an S rank mercenary, Vas. PFT, Liana, everyone looked at me as I started laughing. Oh, why are you laughing? Just so you know I will never forgive you for what you did to me, Vas. Ha 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 seriously, Liana, I whipped some tears from my eyes from laughing and looked at Bren. Hey Bren can I take care of the fairy for you please question mark tilde. Liana the little fairy eyes started lighting up as I said that Bren and the others behind him also showed some smiles. Hey stop ignoring me, Vas. 
Bren nodded and tell Lisa something. Lisa nodded and walked towards me with the little fairy in her hand. She then extended her hand that was holding the little fairy at me. I smile and extended my hand left hand toward the little fairy and she quickly moves to my hand. I smile and rubbed her little head and she smiled back at me. Hey I'm talking to you, Vas. I looked at Bren and smiled. Thanks. I'll take good care of her. Liana, you're welcome she will be safer if she was with you than us. We can't do anything with our position, Bren. I nodded. Stop ignoring me you bitch, Vas. Vas stretched his hand trying to grab me but I smacked it back with my right hand and looked at him while holding the fairy on my left hand beside my breasts. Sorry but it seems that she chose me instead of you, Liana. His face already said it all. Well compared to the robots I wonder who is stronger? Well, I'm okay for round two you know? Let me see how strong all of you are, Liana. I smiled as Vaz had started turning boiling red. I looked at the little fairy and she seems to be clenching my shirt and doesn't want to let go. I sighed and sighed and looked at him. If you want her you're going to have to force yourself to get her from my hand because there's no way I'm letting you touch her, Liana. Oh, you asked for this, Vas. He then raised his hand to signal his henchmen behind him and all of them started walking towards me with a grin on all of their faces. Bren and the others were also going to move but I stopped them. Let me handle this, Liana. Bren was about to disagree but after thinking about something he nodded and signaled the others to stop. I smiled and looked at the fairy in my hand. Well since you don't want to let go of my shirt it's going to get bumpy so hold on tightly, Liana. The fairy nodded and tightly clenched her tiny hands on my shirt. I then looked at Vas Henchman coming towards me. Sorry this is for the boss, he 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 a pretty girl, let's play together after this. Ooh why wait, why not we play a game now like a little game of tag, Liana. I then grin at them, and of course I mighty, Liana. 9, Chapter 70 They are quite weak, Liana Poff. Come here girl. As one of his henchmen was about to grab me in the shoulder I grab his hand and whoops. Liana kick him in the feet and swing him towards the ground beside me. Smack, his face planted on the ground and then I use my right feet and step him harshly on the ground. The other henchman's looking at me with baffled face before getting angry and started rushing at me. You pay for that, question mark. Pow, Liana, he was about to punch me in the face but I smack his hand away with my right hand and I then swing my open elbow right on his face. Balang, Liana, clack. His face got hit and his body started spinning before planting down on the ground and he stops moving. Weak. Liana. You son of a bitch. Question mark. Smack. Another one came behind me and was about to grab me but I swing my foot towards the back and kicked him in the crotch. Ouch. He fell with bubbles coming on his mouth. That's got to hurt a lot. Swing. Whoa. Liana. One of them came at me with a sword and swing it on my side. Still holding the fairy in my left hand I moved my body to the left and the blade missed me. Well that was. Liana. Strep. Grab. Never mind. That slice cut the strip of my goggles off and my goggles started falling from my head. Before my goggles fall to the ground I grabbed it with my right hand and store it in my inventory. Sigh and I just fixed that a couple of days ago. Liana, swing, paling, smack. I used my left gloved metal plate to stop the sword and smacked it to the side before punching him in the face with my right hand. He then fell on the ground. Oi, surround her and attack her together. Fat guy. A, eh? that fat guy seems to be a little smart to come up with a tactical way. Sadly I'm not your ordinary mercenary. They all grabbed their swords and guns and started surrounding me. All of the henchmen that were using swords started running toward me together and swing their swords at me at the same time. I looked at the little fairy in my hand. Hold on tight, Liana, and jumped up into the air as all of them hit their sword on the ground. Buzz. Buzz. I stretch my right hand to the back and an electric current started forming. I then stretched my hand to the front hand, lightning, Liana, buzz, buzz, poo, boo, -oo -oo. a g h, question mark, a h h h, question mark, ga, question mark, a condensed electrical, I mean lightning shot out from my hand and flew towards where all of them and it made a cloud of dust on the ground and some of the henchmen started flying from the shock wave of the impact. I land in the middle of the dust as some of the henchmen started falling towards the ground. My right A started glowing red as I hide and run around in the dust cloud smacking every henchman near me. Where is she ga? Question mark. 
Send back up send back you, H. Outside of the dust cloud the vass was angry and started yelling at his henchman. Did I pay you to get beaten up by a little girl? What are you doing? Vass calm down Vass the smock is going to clear up soon hey you call for backup fat guy why yes see one of his henchmen grabbed a radio and was about to call for more but smack I came out flying from the dust cloud and kicked him in the face with both of my feet goff you question mark while my feet were still hitting his head the radio was thrown up high in the sky as he smacks the back of his head on the ground and I slowly stand up and grab the falling radio with my right hand and crushed it with my right hand. Well, is that all you have? Liana, I looked at him while still holding the little fairy in my left hand. Seriously all of them are weak it's kinda disappointing. Son of a. Vass. Fire fire fire. Fat guy. The rest of the remaining henchmen aimed their guns at me. I crouched down and activated my shield that was attached to my left leg. Mana shield. Liana. Bang. 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 ta 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 Paling. Plang. Pang. Kyu. Little fairy. Ah. It's okay it's okay they're there. Liana. As the bullets came into contact with my mana shield the little fairy was startled and started trembling. I slowly patted her head and started calming her down. The little fairy started calming down and I sighed. Clacking. Patches. Blackening. Batches. The gun inside the shield jumps out from the shield and I grabbed it with my right hand and started aiming at the henchman that was shooting at me. Pow. 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 One by one all of their guns smashed into pieces. Pow. 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 As the last of their guns was not in pieces the remaining henchmen started getting scared of me. I am not paid enough to deal with this, question mark. You you are, question mark. One by one they all started running, leaving Vass and the fat guy behind. I slowly got up and walked towards the two while still holding the little fairy in my left arm and my gun in my right arm. The fat guy was about to run but, pow, stab, ah, fat guy. I shoot him in the knee and he fell. Well. Now what to do with you two? Liana, I smiled at both of them as their faces started getting pale. 13. Chapter 71 After the little fight, Liana Poff. Step step step. Walking slowly towards them they were shouting stuff at me. How how, Vass. Ah uh, please someone stop the bleeding. Fat guy. These guys are pretty annoying. I slowly looked at the little fairy that was clinging to the shirt on my breast. Sigh are you okay? Liana. The little fairy looked at me and nodded. I smile at her. Wait I just realized that I haven't asked for her name yet. I looked at the little fairy again. Oh by the way what's your name? Liana. She flinched when I said that should I not ask? CC. Little fairy. <laughs> Liana. Cyan. Cyan. Oh what a cute name you have. Liana. As I said that she looked at me with a smile. Or. Oh. That's adorable. Sadly he started shouting at me again and interrupted the moment. Why you you'll pay for what you've done to me, fat guy. Yeah yeah tell that to the judge. Liana. As he kept shouting at me I throw the gun in my hand up high grabbed a random rock below me and throw it at his face. Bonk. Playtack. As the rock hit his face, his eyes turned white and he fainted on the ground. And then I grabbed my falling gun again from the air. Why did I do that? Well, I thought it was cool. I then looked at the other guy, H. Hi, Vass, and he ran out leaving behind this fat guy and some of his people that fainted on the ground behind me. Sigh whelp that's done wanna come and hang out with me Sian? Liana, she looked at me and nodded. Good girl, I had padded her head, and she smiled again. Well, I need to make a report now so onwards to the jet. I put the gun back and move back. As I was doing that I can see some of the mercenaries behind Brent talking to each other. Wow no kidding that she is strong as expected of a real A rank mercenary? Yes as expected of the well no black wolf in the frontier, huh? She's pretty cool there I wish I can do that. In your dreams? I can only shake my head from their rambling. Well anyway, I walk toward where Bren is and open my mouth. Well, we should head back now, right? Liana, he nodded and asked everyone to get moving. He might not annoy me now but I can tell he will later. Might as well get out of here before he sends more enemies. I looked at Bren. Anyway where are you and the others going to do now? Liana. For starters getting back to the city will be a start, Bren. Well guess that's a good idea um can I come with you to the city too? Sorry for asking, Liana. Ha ha ha. Well it's alright for you to come with us you already did a lot for us so it's okay to come with us. Anyway, Bren. He he, thanks. Liana, 
I then looked at San in my arm. Oh, she is sleeping. Well, I guess I better head back to my plane now Sai Ali to tell me when you finish packing up. Liana. Okay we will take care of things here first we will meet up at the front gate just south from here see you tomorrow. Bren. Oh yeah thanks and, Liana, I just realized that all of them that I knocked out still fainted on the ground. Including that fat guy, is it okay for you? That guy seems to be the guild master of your branch, Liana. Ah he was always like that and it's annoying for us too it's great to see his pride get shattered like that since he never shut up I am also planning to move out of that guild to another one anyway, Bren. Okay if you say so, Liana. I then moved back towards my jet while still holding Cyan in my hand. Third person poff. Step. 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 Fuck 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 fuck. Why? Vas running around the place Vas came to a stop, I know, I just asked my father to deal with this, Vas Vas looked at the sky and laughed, ha 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 ha, mark my words, I Vas wild hour, will get my revenge and teach you what happens when you messed with the wild hour family, Vas he laughed as the sun started setting in the distance, Elizabeth Poff, looking at little San in her hand, it's quite funny that she wants to take care of her. Leah why did you decide to take care of Sian? Elizabeth. Oh, Liana. Still walking towards the plane while still holding Sian that is sleeping in her arm she looked at Sian. Well, she reminds me of my little brother and sister, Liana. Oh I never knew that. You usually don't talk about your past life, Leah. Elizabeth. Well, it can't be helped she reminded me of the time where my little brother and sister get into an accident. Liana. Oh I don't like where this is going, Elizabeth. Well at that time they were crying while being surrounded by gangsters. Luca was protecting Myra because of that. They both fainted and Luca got hurt badly when I got there. The last thing I remember is waking up in the hospital without knowing what happens. What I know is that the police found me lying in the middle of all of the fainted bloody gangsters with their bones broken or something. Well, I failed to be a great big sis there. At least they are okay. Nobody knows what happened there so I don't know who did it. But as for the one that did that to Luca and Myra, Liana, Leah looked down with a dark face. I will never forgive them. Liana, Elizabeth, that was quite a story and it just got a little dark of a sudden in that story. Leah's red eye started glowing a little. I might be able to tell what happened back there. Note on the book of Leah's warning guide. Never messed with Leah's family. And maybe her friends too. Or face the wrath of Leah. Well looking at what they were about to do to Cyan I almost lost control there but luckily I managed to learn how to control it from your training Eli. Liana. She looked at me with a smile. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Lucky. I just hope there won't be a day where she snapped. 9. Chapter 72 Cyan. Cyan Poff. Wash. HG. Cyan. Russell Russell. Hot. Cyan. Why is it so hot? I opened my eyes and I saw. Oh yeah? You're finally awake. Elizabeth. Exclamation mark Cyan. Samyon's face right in front of me. I flinched and got up quickly and covered my face with a blanket. Wait a blanket? I slowly lowered the blanket and looked around, I was sleeping on a big chair with a small blanket covering my body. Wait where? Oh, if you want to know where you are you're inside Leah's jet mainly the cargo bay, Elizabeth. Huh? R? I quickly looked around. R, if you want to know where Leah is she is inside the cockpit driving the plane, Elizabeth. I looked at her the giant girl and slowly nodded, hee hee good girl, Elizabeth. She raised her big hand and rubbed my hair. I was about to stand up until, uck, Cyan, ah, I remember, hick, Cyan, whoa whoa whoa, don't cry, Elizabeth, my legs and wings are gone, tears started falling from my eyes as the giant girl started panicking, ah uh, uh, hey I know a way to make you walk and fly again how about that, Leah is good with making stuff so I bet she can fix you up in no time, Elizabeth, hick really, Cyan, yes yes she can, I promised, Elizabeth, I started calming down, still lowering my head my eyes are a bit red because of crying. Ah, I haven't introduced myself yet I'm Elizabeth. You can call me Eli for short, Elizabeth. I looked at her and she smiled, she is pretty nice. I slowly smiled as well, thank you big sis Eli, Cyan, Muju, Elizabeth. She suddenly clenched her chest as I said that, did I do something wrong? Cough cough well anyway let me look into you for a second, Elizabeth. Oh okay, Cyan. She looked at me making it pretty embarrassing for me to look at her, 
Her eyes suddenly glow and her eyes started going wide for a bit before quickly going back to normal and the glow on her eyes started fading away. Wow never thought I see one here, Elizabeth. What? Cyan. She said that with a small voice so I can't hear what Big Cecilia was saying properly. R? Nothing anyway we are going to the city of um what is it called again? R? We're going to the city of Deeran with the others, Elizabeth. Others? Cyan. R? It's Bren and the other mercenaries, Elizabeth. Oh, Cyan. I'm happy nothing bad happened to them they helped me a lot. By the way, Elizabeth. Um, Cyan. You should relax for now Cyan Chan it's still quite long until we get to Deeran City because we are keeping pace with Bren's team, Elizabeth. I nodded and Big Sissy Lai sit down on the next seat beside me and stretch her hand up high. While Big Sissy Lai was doing that I heard a door opening somewhere. I looked at where the sound came from and saw the one that saved me. Ah, Leah you're back. Elizabeth. Ah yes I'm back so. Liana. She looked at me and I started blushing a little. Seems she is okay. Liana. She slowly walked toward me and patted my head. And I slowly closed my eyes to feel her hand. Her hand is nice. Liana Poff. While patting Cyan I looked at Eli that seems to be thinking about something. Did you find something Eli? Liana. Ah. Um. Yeah I did come here for a second. Elizabeth. I slowly moved my face closer to Eli and she started whispering into my ears. Leah try praising Cyan Chan for a bit. Elizabeth. Oh okay. Liana. I then looked at Cyan that was looking at me. Appraisal. Liana. Name. Cyan. Gender. Female. Ice fairy. Age. 16. Job class. Snow fantasy. 10%. Greater than. Evolution lock. LVL. 5. Next LVL. 12%. You are. Liana. This is different from the regular appraisal. I looked at Eli. What is this? Liana. Eli. I need an explanation. She looked at Cyan. Well for starters I maybe did something to your appraisal after you beat them up. Anyway sorry Cyan Chan but I'm going to talk to Leah for a bit now. Elizabeth. Eli quickly grabbed my hand and pulled me to the other side of the cargo bay. She then let go of my hand and looked at me. Okay first of as expected she is a nice fairy a fairy that was considered very rare on the local element of the fairy but did you see question marks beside it? Elizabeth. I nodded. Well your appraisal is pretty special not like the others kinda. But what that meant is that that might not be her real race, Elizabeth. Excuse me what? Liana. I said that maybe someone was trying to hide her real race or something anyway it's also very weird that her class was snow fantasy, Elizabeth. Okay can you tell me what's the meaning of that class? Liana. Well for starters that class can any snow, Elizabeth. Oh just that? Liana. No not just that I mean everything snow and that meant anything made out of snow example freezing water and of course ice kinda hard to explain but she can control the weather with that and even make anything that involved snow. Elizabeth. That's kinda awesome. Liana. So Cyan can do anything along as it involved things that made out of snow? Yes it is amazing to have but it was very dangerous to have to. Elizabeth. What do you mean by that Eli? Liana. Well anyone even a country will want a power to control our weather or make infinite resources like water and ice. Elizabeth. Okay that's not good. Liana. Well good thing she wasn't found out yet or maybe she was already found out but I will try to at least hide her status just to be safe. Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Liana. Well, things are about to get complicated with Cyan with us now but I don't have any regret. Ah, by the way, Elizabeth. I looked at Eli. Yes? Liana. You should find a way to fix her Leah she is kinda pitiful with how her body is now, Elizabeth. I looked at where Cyan is and nodded. Yeah, her legs and wings are gone. Yes but I need to do that to her then I don't like that and it can only be done with regular size people you know. Cyan is very small because she is a fairy I don't want to mess her up. Liana. I don't worry I will do the rest then you can't see her real race but I can. And I know what to do to fix that problem but first maybe you can give her the device. Elizabeth. I can see Eli grinning. What is she going to do to Cyan? Wait. Device? Wait is it that one? Is still in development Eli. Liana. Ha 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 development you head. I saw you playing around with it a couple of days before we got to where that train is. Elizabeth. You go. Liana. Sigh while well, you can easily make a small one right? This is for Cyan Chan you know. Liana. Uck I'm not your slave worker Eli. Liana, ha 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 just do it please you've been slacking off on training anyway if you do this I will let every mistake you did out, Elizabeth. Yes, Liana, uck. Well, 
I guess I won't be sleeping tonight again, and I can see a storm forming in the distance from the window of the cargo bay, is this a sign or something? Because, I don't like where this is going. 10. Chapter 73 Deeran City The City of Dwarfs Third Person Poff Wash Inside the cockpit of the jet, Liana looked at the scenery in front of her. So that's Deeran City, Liana. The city has a huge wall surround every side of the city. She can also see some smoke from a factory inside the wall. Is this a factory city? Bip, bip, bip. As she was looking at the city she heard a beeping noise and saw that the radio comm was light upon one of the panels in front of me. She pressed a button below it to turn the radio on and PSS PSS this is the communication outpost of Deeran City please state your business here or turned around your plane flick seems to be a call from the security huh welp no figure seems to be a guy from the voice on the radio she pressed a button beside it and she started speaking to the caller this is Liana a mercenary and the one that is piloting this plane we're here to request an entry point to the city of Deeran with another company of mercenaries on the ground lead by Bren, Liana, <laughs> Bren, wait a moment and hold your position for further notice Klepik, as he said that he ended the call she cited, seems like we have to wait, Liana, after waiting a couple of minutes she received a call from the security of Baron City and was told of an OK sign they give her the coordinates to the landing platform and she drove the jet over to the destination. Liana Poff, wash, placking, I parked my jet on one of the landing platforms for planes and moved to the cargo bay. I opened the door to see Eli cuddling Cyan in her arms. I raised one of my eyebrows at her and she just made a grinding face at me. I rolled my eyes and moved to the door of the cargo bay. Click, pack, the cargo bay door opened and I moved out of the plane. Whoa, Liana, what I saw was a massive wall right in front of me. The platform for planes was actually in the wall mainly the middle side of the outer wall of the city, looking at it closely it's still pretty tall. I walked out to the platform and moved to the edge and looked down. You are, Liana. Petty high, I shake my head left and right and move to my jet again and saw Eli holding Cyan walking out of the cargo bay door. Well, things seem to be okay right now, Elizabeth. Yeah, Liana, anyway here. Elizabeth. Eli raises her hands that were holding Cyan towards me and she slowly moved Cyan to my hands that I raised to the front. Welp, time to explore the city and meet up with Bren now, Elizabeth. Yes, you alright Cyan? Liana. Cyan looked at me and nodded. Eli then disappears and appears on my hub. Cyan got started from her disappearance but I reassure her that it's alright and she calms down. I closed the cargo bay door and locked my jet before moving towards a giant doorway leading inside the wall. Third person poff. As Liana walked inside the doorway it leads to a tunnel with some stands set up. A lot of them are selling some gears and items. She doesn't have any problem with her supplies because she has it all inside her inventory so she just walked past them and walked deeper into the tunnel while still holding Cyan in her arm. As she walked she saw a light in the distance. That might be the end of the tunnel. Liana. Yep definitely. Elizabeth. She walked towards the light and as she finally reached it she saw. Wah. Liana, Paling, 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 B E E P, a city filled with tall buildings and giant silos up high with a lot of machines or transportation around the city sky and streets. She also saw a tall tower in the middle of the city. She was at a giant platform in the middle of the giant wall when he came out of the tunnel. She looked around and saw a lift that seems to be leading down. She can see a lot of people going to that lift. She then walked towards where he lifts is while admiring the view of the city below and in front of her. Little did she know that as she walked towards the lifts a group of people wearing black capes and white masks just got out from the tunnel. Liana Poff. Placking. Plap pla plang. Pang. Step. 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 Uck. Liana. Stepping out of the elevator with the oh so many passengers I sighted. That was a little cramp. Liana, yay no kidding even though the elevator is pretty wide with that many people going in I can see why it's cramped. Elizabeth, <coughs> Cyan, Eli looked at me with a smile in the hub while Cyan nodded at me. This city is a pretty high tech city, I can see a lot of moving machines be it cars or trucks I can also see some mesh walking around carrying cargo all around the city. Pretty amazing and advanced, well this is an amazing city but anyway it's pretty crowded here. Liana, I can see a lot of people walking in the streets, I can see a lot of different races here just like the other places I see. But, a lot of them are quite, Liana, small, 
Elizabeth. Yeah, a lot of them are small or short to be precise. Well, this is the city where the dwarf races live. That's why there are a lot of small people everywhere. Elizabeth. Oh, Liana. Well, I guess that makes sense. As always, dwarfs are very intelligent in this world. Well, they do like making stuff. Pip, pip, pip. Liana. My communication device is beeping. Who is calling? Beep. PSS, PSS. Um, this is Leah, right? Yes. Who is this? Liana. Ah. It's me, Bren. We're on our way to the center of the town now. Just want to let you know, Bren. Oh, um, how did you know my number, Liana? A, eh? your AI didn't tell you? She was the one who gave me the number, Bren. I looked at Eli. He he kinda forgot, Elizabeth. Cough on away and going to search for a place to stay first. Then I'll meet you at the center of the city, Bren. Liana. Okay then everything is set now we already have a place to stay so we might as well explore a little while waiting for you to come here after that. We will go to the guild see you later, Bren. Alright see you later to Bren, Liana. I ended the call and looked around. By the way, Eli do you know where we can find a hotel? Liana. Yes. I have the map of the city already laid out let me give you the way now, Elizabeth. I nodded and started following the guided direction where Eli is leading me from the hub while still holding Cyan. 10. Chapter 74 Going to the Mercenary Guild, Liana Poff. Well, after a couple of minutes walking around the place I finally go to where the hotel is. The hotel is a pretty decent door building. Plakic. Welcome, question mark. I opened the door and can see the receptionist greeting me when I come in. I walked towards the receptionist's desk and rent a room. My room is on the fifth floor, I nodded and walked toward the elevator, as I was walking I could see people looking at me, or looking at Cyan, I covered her with my other hand as all of them quickly looked away, what's wrong with them, Liana, well they kinda got interested seeing Cyan fairy is considered rare they can tell just by how small she is the receptionist was also looking at her too when we first came here better be careful Leah, Elizabeth, you should have warned me before coming here Eli. Liana. Sorry I forgot he tilde. Elizabeth. You. Sighed. Well, nothing we can do now. I'll just keep walking and not mind the stairs. It took quite a while but the room in this hotel is pretty great. The room is quite large. There is a big bed, and a closet, chair, and table, a window to see the outside and even a big TV. There is another door that leads to the bathroom too. Nice find Eli this place is quite amazing. Liana. Eli materialized herself and landed on the bed with a happy face. He 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 right? Well anyway going to the guild now? Elizabeth. I nodded and walked towards the window. I can see the tall tower in the distance from the window. While we're here maybe we should visit that tower later what do you think? Liana. I looked at Eli and Cyan. Well I'm alright with that, Elizabeth. <coughs> Cyan. Eli agreed and Cyan nodded with a happy face. Alright. Another thing on the to-do list here. We started talking about the city for a while and then after we're done talking and doing this and that in the room we got out of the hotel and moved towards where the mercenary guild is with Eli's guidance. Third person poff. In a dark alley somewhere. Placking. Pang. Stood a couple of people wearing black robes and masks variating in different sizes. This place is too lax. Yes it is how they are stupid. Our goal is to test out this thing. One of them took out a black red crystal the size of a hand. Well. When will we used it? Question mark. Patience we wait till the time of the strike? He ha ha he? Question mark. Out of all of them, one is staying quietly without saying a word. One of them looked at the one that was staying quiet and click his tongue. You are quiet today want to run to you, mama? Ha 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 ha. Question mark. The quiet figure looked at the one that was laughing. Hey, just let her be, just focused on the mission. The fastest was done the better we stay away from her, question mark. Yeah yeah alright, question mark. The others then walked away while the quiet one looked at all of them. She then sighted. She looked up to see a gap of blue sky and the sun was shining down, on two horns that she has on her top masked. Liana Poff. Step. 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 Walking on the road as I was I looked around the place. It's quite crowded here too, Liana. The place is packed with people. Yeah there are a lot of weapon shops here so, of course, there's going to be a lot of people here, Elizabeth. Ah, by the way Cyan are you okay there? Liana. Russell Russell. Cyan. <coughs> Before we got out of the hotel room we are staying in, 
I changed my shirt into buttoned ones that have a pocket that was attached on the left and right sides of my belly so that I can put sand there. This shirt was a little short and showing my belly a little bit but still better than nothing because this is the only shirt I have that has a pocket build in it. I also can't let sand stay in eyes views after what Eli just said back then. Um, uh, I think that's the mercenary guild right in front of us, Elizabeth. I looked in and saw a decent build that has a large logo that was attached right on top of the entrance door. The logo was a shield with two swords attached like an X behind the shield. I see a lot of these types of logos in some rebounds per game games I used to play. Okay, Cyan don't let others see you it is going to be bad if they saw you. Liana Cyan nodded and went inside the pocket on my shirt. Hope they don't see her I can still see her little head popping out of the pocket maybe I should cover it with my jacket just to be safe. I walked inside the guild and saw a large room with tables and chairs all around the place. Kinda looks like a bar for some reason. I can see the receptionist desk was divided into three sections and some people are looking around. I wonder where Bryn and the others are. I'll go call them now, Elizabeth. I nodded and walked toward one of the reception desks when suddenly, whisper whisper, <clears throat> Liana, my ears flicker as some people were whispering something somewhere, who's that, question mark, maybe a new one, question mark, oh, man that guy's here today and it's a she this is going to get ugly, <clears throat> <clears throat> Liana, what's going on now, hey, I flinched as I heard a voice behind me. I looked behind and what I saw is a giant man full of muscles with a giant sword attached behind him with some people following behind him. He is giving me the feeling of a bad guy. Why is there a girl walking here? Big guy. Hey, boss maybe she is lost? Question mark. Hey girl this is not a place where you should be. Yeah better get out before our boss makes you cry ha ha ha. I smell a bully in the air. I ignored them and kept walking towards the reception desks. Hey boss is talking to you. Question mark. Just keep walking, just keep walking. Hey listen to me, big guy. He put his big hand on my shoulder and I stop on track side. Guess I got to have to take care of this guy first. 14. Chapter 75 at the guild. Third person poff. You are um. You 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 are um. Somewhere on a road leading to Duran City a couple of cars are moving along the road inside the car was. Smack. Damn that bitch. Vas. Vas hitting a table inside the car the car that he was inside was a luxurious car with seats and a table with a couple of people in it stay calm Vas no need to be mad fat guy the fat guy was also in the car sitting on one of the seats in the car you don't understand the humiliation that bitch did to me I can only count on father now Vas yes yes Vedrick will take care of her and I will do my part to get her demoted after what she did to me Fat guy. Yay good thing my father was visiting the dwarf city I just need to talk to him and then she is done. I will give her what it's like to taste hell. Vas. Both of them laughed as they imagine what they can in their minds while the car kept on moving towards Durant city while they are like that somewhere in Durant city. Liana Poff. I looked at the person who was grabbing my shoulder with an annoyed face. Yes? Liana, I told you this isn't a place for kids like you get out of the guild. Oh sorry but I have an appointment here with someone. Liana, oh, with who exactly? Question mark. With a guy named Bren. Liana, eh? Bren? Question mark. For some reason, he was baffled when I said Bren's name I wonder end of block 2.